down the street. So we chop it. So we do it. They say when I come feel like down the street. All right. So we chop it. So we do it. Like don't know we like down the street. So we chop it. So we do it. They say when I come feel like down the street. All I'm full of is gonna play back again. And everybody say yeah, 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 yeah. All I'm full of is gonna play back again. See them talking about the big two. All I'm full of is gonna play back again. And everybody say yeah, 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 yeah. All I'm full of is gonna play back again. See them talking about the big two. Street, all right, so we chop it, so we do it. Now don't know me a lot 
down the street. So much a- There we go. Hello, folks. My name is Jason, and welcome aboard the Flight Sim Broadcasting Network. Uh, we should have good audio right now. If you're new to the channel and you want to know what we're about, it's pretty simple. Do it right, learn something, and have fun. Former NTSB and 737 instructor. So if you're brand new, do me a favor. Boop that like button right now. Just like it because we're going to have a full day schedule for you today. I know I said only a couple legs today, but it's actually going to be a full day because we got to get this airplane all the way up to Canada today. It's going to be a late night flight for us all the way up uh, because Monday I'm doing a full day stream with the CRJ, getting it back to Miami before I have to take over and fly the charters to the NHL rangers that's what we're flying so we got gary giving us five by five sean's in the house how are you so if you're uh here in the chat right now let me know um you know say hi and we will get this thing started we're not going to be uh down here too long because we're going to get this thing rolling here sean says audio sounds good what's going on kingston control the howdy just subscribe hey thanks for the sub man appreciate it um you should you know i don't know if i have my I do now. I have the alerts on. I didn't have them before, but thanks for the sub. I appreciate it, but that's great. Members in the house, uh, those members right now that are, are um, you know, chiming in, YouTube membership, you get uh, a lot of private streams. We, Matter of fact, we've got three coming up just next week just on private streams. So you're going to see all of the NHL flights that we do, uh, private streams for sure. Got a lot of flying coming up in the next couple weeks. Uh, usually those mid streams. What's up? What's going on? Who we got here? Uh, Lori. What is that? Lori? Is that you, Lori? Lori, what's up? She's uh, here. I can't see it. Uh, 80 Quartz, what's going on? He says, yo, how's it going, Captain? And Delta 1441 checking in as well. Good to see you. Hopefully your week is going superb. Um, before we get started... I got to start with a dad joke because we always do that. What did the left eye say to the right eye? Anybody know? It says, between me and you, something smells. Now, that's funny. That's pretty funny. (laughs) We always got to start with something stupid like that, right? I mean, before we get this thing going, uh, we're going to do that. Now, again, before we start, if you're wondering what the heck we're about, if you don't follow us on Instagram, please do it. Uh, Coastal Airways, we're all about really creating a realistic virtual airline for a flight simulator. That's what Coastal Airways is about. Uh, Everything from AQP, which is airline qualification training, all the way through your career at the uh, airline. It is all about realism. Everything we do. Matter of fact, there's an MD-80 on an A-check that's down in my uh, Fort Lauderdale, I believe, undergoing maintenance. Can't use it until 24 hours, right? So tomorrow, our maintenance staff said it's going to be up and running again. And our pilot, one of our pilots chimed in. And they were like, really? So it's pretty cool. Uh, Thibs, what's up, man? Says, hey, Jason, could you talk about anti-ice and window heat when you should use them? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, We will do that. Let's go ahead and jump in the jet. We've got a cold and dark airplane. So let me just tell you what we're going to do today. We're flying from Islip, which we are right now, Islip, New York, Long Island. We're going to go to Nantucket and back. We're going to do a turn back in Islip, and then we're going to go up to to Portland, and then all the way up to Nova Scotia. And all of these airports, we have scenery for it. So going to be a lot of fun. (laughs) Sean, that's awesome. (laughs) You, you know, the dad jokes, you got to love them. All right, we're in the uh, CRJ 700 day. We're flying a coastal connection flight. And the really the real, the real reason why I had to do this is because this ends, this route ends for the winter. We're shutting it down. Um, so I had to kind of, we kind of had to do a proving flight instead of Nantucket in that we actually take this aircraft and goes to Indianapolis, back to Islip, and then over to Portland, and then we're done. So that's the winter schedule. But right now we're still in the fall, so we're going to do our fall schedule. Not for any further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to do a power check first. 
So in this aircraft, we're going to actually get some lights here. No, nope, we're not. I'm just going to try to get some lighting here. Hang on just a minute. Let me see if I could get this work. There we go. So the first thing we do is a safety check on this aircraft. Okay. So we're going to do uh, circuit breakers. So we're going to check the circuit breakers. So the circuit breaker is going to be on this side of the panel. So we're going to look to make sure nothing is popped. You come down here and while you're here, you check your, your flashlight, you check your uh, emergency equipment there. That was your first aid. You look at your fire axes there and your fire extinguisher. Make sure it's in the green and secured. Same with that. You got a flashlight on this side as well. And again, you're going to, ooh, hat clip. That's really good. And then you're going to come up and check all of this. I didn't wear my hat today. I normally wear my hat before the stream, but I didn't. I forgot. I have it sitting right here. Yeah. It's a shame. All right, let's jump back in the flight deck and we will get this thing going. Nose wheel steering, you want to make sure it is off. All right, you want to make sure that's de energized. Hydraulic pumps, you want to make sure they're off. So I'm going to go up the overhead and check that hydraulics all down here. Off, 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 and off. Yes. And then probe heat. Next is right there. Make sure those are all pro heats. Good landing gear down in three. Won't have any green channel power on the aircraft. Flight spoiler lever. Just want to make sure that is the up position. And then the flap handle is good. We got our throttles down and set as well. Radar. Want to make sure that is off. Want to flight jump in the cockpit here. Just check the radar. Throw that up. And if I could slide over here, that'd be great. And the reason why we want to check this is because you don't want to turn this the, the power on and fry somebody sitting there. So that is off. You can see it right there. That's good. ADG manual. It is in the ADG manual, and we are set and stowed. Emer flaps, which is going to be right there. You want to make sure it's in the normal position. And now we can throw the battery on. Let's go throw the battery onto the overhead here and right there. All right, battery is now on. Who do we got here? Pops is checking in. How are you? Gary is there. Much better. Thank you. Good deal. Um, by the way, you members, YouTube members, in the chat. Now, Sean, you'd have to help. Uh, I think Nightbot is working. If you could check it for me, that'd be awesome. Um, we have emojis. We have custom emojis. So if you're a, a member on the channel, um, Definitely, I'm going to start saying some stuff for the emojis that we can get going, and then you can see it. All right, APU and electrics, uh, obviously, they're off because we don't need them. Um, we're going to actually do ground power first. All right, so we'll test all that here in just a minute. I want to get ground power on the aircraft first, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's connect some ground power to the aircraft. It is removed, so we're going to go click that, connected. Once that's connected, we're going to come up here. You can see this available light. Let's go ahead and flip it on. On the airplane is going to come alive. Now, once it does that, we're going to get some lighting on so we don't have to. We could throw off our flashlight here. Let's just get the lighting on first, then we'll do our tests and all of the checks that we need to do on this aircraft. Throw the yoke down just for a minute. I just want to get some lights on. Uh, okay, I'm going to flood it just a minute. There we go. Same thing on the back panel down here. We'll flip that up. Come down over here. And our lighting is right there. I integrated lighting. That's what that is. And we're just going to flood it out a little bit. We should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing off. Yep. All right. U.S. Air Force at the Dark Stars Real. That's cool. It's a good airplane if it was. Uh, okay. So we've got the APU. We'll go ahead and do a fire test. First thing we'll do before we do anything is we're going to check for a fire. Now, I don't need, the thing is, we don't need to do any, um, this is going to be odd. So I'm going to have to actually enable this really quick. Flip the fire. Oh, you piece of crap. It just dumped off on me. That's going to be a rough one for us. Oh, I hate that. I, I have the, the track IR just went off and you, there's no way you could get this back unless you restart. So we're going to have to do this old school. <laughs> it's going to suck unless I restart the sim, which I could do, I guess. It won't take that long to redo it, but it would be, it's just annoying. Um, that's a bummer. I hate when that happens uh, because my track IR is not working. What do you guys want to do? We you start the sim here? Uh, or we could fly it up to Nantucket, restart, and then... Um, 
it's up to you. It's fine. I mean, I could do it either way. It's just annoying. I can't use my head to track, and that's really annoying in this airplane. Uh, somebody do this. Command, what is it? Is it underscore in the chat right now? Like, uh, Gary says restart. All right, we'll restart the sim. This way, we could restart it. And I'll just do this while I restart. How's that? It's not going to take very long. I didn't do anything really. Uh, there's a few things that I have to do, but I'm going to go to the main menu and restart the sim really quick just because without track IR it gets really annoying uh, and now while we do that I'm going to show you something in the chat really quick if I click me tar and I click kilo ISP what does that do enter let's see if that does anything nothing there it goes. So what's so cool about this, take a look. I'm going to quit this to desktop really quick. Yes. Um, you can see that's the ice slip weather right now. It's uh, 110 at 5 knots, 10 statue miles, overcast at 600. By the way, we do have a takeoff alternate on this airport. And I'm actually going to close my track IR right now. I'm actually just going to go whoop, shut it down, and then I'll turn it on again. Just going to restart track. It's so annoying. I wish they would fix that. That is so annoying when that happens, right? You, you pull it up, you're like, oh, and then it just shuts down. And the, this is not going to work. Eey, I don't like that. Okay, let's try this again. If it doesn't work, I'm not going to restart the computer. I'll just I'll just have to deal with it, right? Old school. All right, let's turn this thing on, see if we can get it started. <clears throat> but you can see we do have a takeoff alternate today. Uh, you could look at our overcast clouds at 600 feet. That's uh, definitely re going to require a takeoff alternate for us. Sounds good and all that stuff. If you are interested, we have uh, some really cool swag, if you will, on the coastal shop, which I can't pull up right now, but um, it is, I think it's www.coastalairwayshop.com. Check it out. And you do have to probably hit the www just because the SSL is all weird. But that is a cool thing. We can see the METAR. And it's just firing up right now. It's going through its motions. And let's see if it works. Now, while it does that, let's let's do a couple things. I don't want to kill, you know, just sit here and twiddle our thumbs. So I'm going to start up uh, the charts. We'll do a briefing right now. And this way, that's one less thing we have to do when we get in the airplane. We could just, you know, fire it up and go quick. Import flight, flight from Simbrief. We're going from... ISP to ACK. All right, we're going to pull this up. Um, you can see the sim haptic thing right in the middle of everything. So this is our route of flight, folks. We're just going to be flying from Islip all the way straight across to Nantucket. 30 minutes once we're airborne. I mean, it's really super quick. It's it's a 30-minute flight. It's nothing. Um, it's freeware. You know, I wish I, this is a new ACK, but it, it brand, it's within three months uh, release. So it's new to me. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So let's look at Islip while we're here. We're going to be sitting at this terminal. Looks like 150. We're not going to take 15. We'll take the crosswind, probably 2-4 on the out here. Uh, we'll see. Uh, probably going to be that. We could. We, I mean, we have plenty of runway even on 15 right to take, but it's like 5 knots. So we'll take 2-4, I'm sure, out. Uh, once we take off, it's pretty much going to be a straight climb out of there. All right, we're going to do beautiful, well, once we bust through the, the layer, this low low cloud layer, we're going to come over right through the East Hampton VOR, and we're going to go pretty much straight off of Block Island there, over the ocean, feet wet, and then right into Nantucket. I'm assuming Nantucket's going to be landing 2-4. Um, we're not going to land 1-5. I nearly killed myself doing that 
landing on 3-3 in real life, uh, I porpoised the heck out of an airplane. I'll have to show you that. I'm going to do a video on that one day. That'll be pretty funny. Okay, we're fired up. All right, let's go over here. Departure, I slip. It's funny when, when you say I slip. People are like, Iceland? No, it's I slip, dude. All right, we're going to be pushing. <clears throat> we're gonna, Okay, so let's do this the right way. We're going to do 645. <clears throat> we're going to click fly. All right. Yep, there's the file. I appreciate that, Sean. It's freeware, so let's check it out. But uh, I, I checked it a little bit earlier today. It looked really good. For freeware, I was pretty impressed. I'm like, wow, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Very close to uh, what you would expect, even for payware. So, like, I have Martha's Vineyard as well. And let me tell you, there's not much difference. I mean, they're both great. Looks like ready to fly here. Let's get in. Oh, you see that works. <laughs> That worked. All right, good. All right, let's get back in the flight deck here, and I'm going to go click that and get rid of that. Lighting. I get my lighting up again. Sorry, folks. Kind of sucks. I have to do this over again. But one thing I do have to do is just, okay, the lighting's good on that, and we're flooded on this. Now, because you know me, I am going to do it the right way. Okay, so that's part of the channel, right? Do it right. So let's go ahead and throw this. So it's going to be pretty quick, though, because I'm going to go fast. So I've got to put all zeros on this. Man, ah, you stupid. Zero, enter. Zero, enter. And then one more time. And the reason why I have to do this is because i got to get the fuel load right. And our fuel load... In here was 67.97. And there's a reason why we have to do this. 67.97. So like other airlines, you know, you could just hop in and go. Well, you can't do that here. And the reason is everything we do, um, we have to pay money for. So like when we get... All right, I'm going to go ahead and click cold and dark. What are you talking about? I didn't even board them yet. All right, so we're going to do it the right way, like I said. I don't know why I threw everything on like that. Again, up on the overhead, check it out. We already made sure everything was good. Those are off. That's up. That's up. Throttles down, and the radar is in the off position, and it is. So... Come back up here, come upstairs, throw the master on. Great. Come over here. Let's get the ground power hooked up. Ground power is hooked up. Up Upstairs is available. Push it. Now it's in use. Now we'll go ahead and throw our lighting on again. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Just got to do it right. I'm sorry. I'm sure you feel the same way. You're like, you know what? We can't just half, you know, we, we got to do this thing right. All right. Integrated lighting coming in. Flood lighting coming up. Same thing on the back side here. Uh, floods coming up and integrated is set. All right, good to go. Okay, that's where we were. Hello, if I could get the right. Good. Now I'm going to kind of turn off the lighting. Nope, didn't work. Let's try that. There we go. All right, get to your comments. Okay, thanks, boss. Just wanted to make sure I had the right one. Yeah, cool. Okay, good deal. Now, let's back to our flows. We've got flows to do. Um, we basically just did the, the power up. We're going to go ahead and check. Now, this is what I was doing. We're going to check the uh, test, the fire test. Now, a couple of things you could do. Just, just I like doing this. Just take the panel, unhook the panel out so you could see the ICAS, the, the CAS, basically. And then we could go upstairs here and flip the fire. So we're going to do a fire test. You see this fire test, system test, okay. And it's like seconds. So that's why we have to do it like that. Let's go to the flights. And I'm just going to do this now. It looks like we're probably going to be at zero to 47 feet. So you want to make sure that's good. I'm just going to go 47 feet right now while I got this panel pulled up. We don't need that anymore for now. Great. Okay. DC services are good. Dome light. I'm going to have off the reading light. We don't need it. Externals coming to nav, beacons off, strobes off, logo is on. Wing inspects are going to be uh, off for now, and landing everything else is off. 
in op, in op, that's fine. Normal, auto, both, APU, power fuel. I'm just going to open the door, the APU door. Now we're going to check the hydraulics. So I'll show you how we do that. We're going to come down here, throw the hydraulic panel open. Take a look at your hydraulics right now. Everything is off. You want to make sure they're clear. By the way, you don't have any personnel outside or anything like that. 60, 60, 60, 20, 20, 20. You're looking at percentages and temperatures. All look good. Go on the overhead, and you're going to throw this to the on position. That's to the on position. That's on, and that's on. Take a look again. See what you got. I've got now A systems popping in. The uh, 1B system and 3A and 3B are looking good. 3B as well. Everything's up to pressure at 30,000, uh, 3,000 psi. And again, good. Now we're going to kind of throw those to the auto. One auto. You're going to throw that to auto and auto. You could throw that pump off. You can see de-energizes de and no pressure straight across. Okay. Pretty good. You don't want to keep the pumps on in case if it's too dang hot outside. You can overheat the pumps. So just a little word of caution. Air conditioning is coming on. After cargo is on. And we're going to do some checks and tests here in just a minute. Wing, you can see I'm going to do a detect. And as I do that, let's turn the CAS on here to show you what's up. Go to status page. You can see it's ADS heat system test. Okay. So... That's what that does. We'll turn that off. Cows off, wings off, and that is on low, and that is on well. This is our windshield heat. Probe heat's coming on just for now. We've got that. Passenger signs, well, no smoking sign is on. Seatbelt signs are off for now. Arm the uh, the Emer lights. They'll be armed, and the ELT is armed. Okay, I'm really good to go on this so far. We're just going to push this. You can see the RA test. And let's go down here and do a couple things. Ah, crap. There we go. Let's do a couple things here. We're going to go this, through this to nav. To nav, let's go to our FMC while it's doing its thing. All right. There we go. We're going to go to the FMC. Perfect. And I'm going to just check a few things. We've got uh, 5th of October to 2nd of November. That's good. And we are looking really good. Today's date, September 7th. Well, it's not. It's October, but that's okay. Second database, the other database, that's what it was. And our newer database, just from the new uh, Navigraph ARAC cycle, just came out. The date is 6 October 23. UTC is 1051. We're all set there. We're going to go to position in it. And we're going to type in ISP. I think i just drop it over the top here. Now, while we're here... Something really cool. Some folks do this. Some folks don't. But this is the right way to do it. You want to pull up your chart. I'm going to show you exactly where this thing is and where it's hiding. So if we pull up the eye slip chart and we go to the taxi chart, you can see here the coordinates. And you want to see the coordinates here because we're on spot 15. We're in Bravo 15. We're in this range right here. Bravo 14 through 18. North 40, 47, 4, 73, 5.9. So you want to make sure north 47, 40, 40, 47. All right, 40, 47, west 73, 06. So we're about right in this range. Okay, so why would we care about that? Well, because we're going to make sure we're in the right. See, so this is all north 40, 47, 43, 73, 73. Very close. So what did my chart say? Let me look really quick while I'm going to pull out my iPad so I can see what's, what's going on. We're looking at 47.4, so it's close, 73.59. Very close. You can pick any one of these, and it'll work. Uh, you can't. You could do the gate, but in this particular case, I'm just going to load it in the scratch pad like that. We'll go back to the index. Oops. We'll go back to the index page, position in it, initial, and then enter and that is doing its job now and we're going to click flight plan this is a very quick flight okay so in terms of what we have in our flight plan if we look at our sim brief and i'll show you that it's fast we're basically going to hampton libby v46 clammy and we're done so a couple things you could do we can just go to kilo isp to kilo ack uh, right there and then i'm just going to throw it in the route and you can see it populates everything for us, essentially. Um, don't activate it just yet. We're going to go next page. We got Libby, Osser, Flappy, 
depot, clammy, and we are there. There is no departure here. Well, there's the there's the Islip 7, which will probably fly, but we won't need it because it's a it's a vectored. And then we're going to execute that. And then make sure there's no discontinuities. So we want to make sure everything is good. Good. All right, I'm good with that, and we'll get this the rest of this thing set up. And I'll do that right now before we do anything. I'm going to clear this. Look at your comments. Good evening. Who said that? Uh, when Cliff is going to get hired? Cliff is going to get hired next week. Sean, do you have a Cliff? Is there is do we have a Cliff emoji that we can show? I don't know if we do. I think we do. I put it in there. It should be good to go. Okay, we're going to come down here to the flight plan. All right, that's good. We already checked that out. Pref in it. We're going to do the performance initialization, and we're going to make sure we're set. We've got our basic takeoff weight. And I'm going to show you what the heck I'm looking at as we do this. And we're going to start getting rolling here. There's our paperwork. Shoot, let me go ahead and just slide this over so you can see all the paperwork we got to do at this airline. We're looking at uh, basic operating weight of 47. We've got that passengers 62, 185, cargoes 2792. We'll add that in there. Our fuel, that's uh, our fuel. What the heck did I say the fuel was? That's not right on the fuel. It's going to be 8,500 right now. It uh, should be sitting right at 67, and it is. So you can see that that fuel is 67.95. So we're good on the fuel. Come back, cruise altitude 7,000, 17,000 feet, and we've got a zero fuel weight. That's what I'm talking about. Now you take a look at your dispatch release versus what the aircraft is going to or what it's saying right now and i'll pull this up here there we go you can see that zero fuel weight 60 perfect takeoff weight's gonna be about 68 and i've got that on board as well we're gonna take off with flaps eight probably runway two four i'm assuming cell temp 32 degrees and our trim don't know yet we'll have to get that as we get closer let's go to the vnav setup and you know two nine or zero <laughs> very fast for this this is a, a fast it's, good. it's a fast flight so two nine or zero is a little too quick for this i'm just saying uh, you know we're going to be cruising about 0.56 so we're really slow so let's just do 270 let's see how we can go there uh it's it's invalid entry because we're going to go 0.56 on the climb here let's give it that let's let's tell it we'll execute and again next page our target speed is 0.56 so shoot i have to clear that go slant 0.56 that should give us that target. It's not 300. It's definitely going to be like 270 range. So we'll plug that in there. What do you mean invalid entry? What are you talking about? Let's go there. All right, 270 is good. Ex execute. And then again, the descent. Uh, we'll, we'll just hold like 270 on the descent. It's going to be really quick, folks. Like I said, this is a fast flight. We'll go pref in it again. Take a look at our three pages. All right, climb, we've got the winds 198, 16, 184, and then ISA at plus 12. Reserve 16.5, that's just kind of standard with this aircraft. And we're about going to burn about 500 on the taxi. That looks great. VNAV set up. Good. All looking good. We're going to go to the MFD menu. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take airports off, and we are going to turn on... The VNAV, okay, and then on the other side, just click, click the right side, we're going to make sure it is on, okay, so, and then throw airports off, because I don't want it cluttered, and that's the only reason why I set that way, so I just don't want it cluttered. Perf page coming up, we're going to do 32 on the flex temp, there we go, and we've got fuel management. Right there, you can see 6,700 pounds of fuel right now. We're looking at 16.5 on the reserves, and it is a predicted uh, calculation, which is fine. Everything else looks good from here. Look at 145 nautical miles. ETE is 22 minutes. I mean, does it get any better than that, folks? I mean, that's quick, and that's why we love this. All right, I'm going to keep it up there. It looks good. Radio is going to be 122.8. And then we'll check everything else. So let's throw it on the frog page for now and the legs page. Okay, I'm good with this. We're going to continue our checks uh, right now. And matter of fact, time check. I got to get the clock here. We're at 58. Let's go ahead and start boarding. So click over to this. GSX coming in. I'll look at your comments here in a minute. We're going to pair for boarding. Request 
boarding. Request of boarding. Uh, while they're going to board, I'm going to get the fueler coming. We'll go ahead and get that up. We're going to go get that up. Uh, I've got to get this connected. There we go. All right. Max Racing, what's going on, man? How many CRJs does Coastal have? We are going to have four. Mm -hmm. Right now, we have two. Uh, do you want to board crew? Nobody. We're on the aircraft already, sir. Thanks. Okay. Uh, come over here. Let's get our fuel going, and let's get our passenger load and all that good stuff. So passengers today, 62 passengers, all going to enjoy Nantucket. If you've never been there, you are missing out on a whole bunch of cool stuff. All right, so we're going to fill up the forward bin here, and I don't think we want to do that. Let me see what we got. I, I got to play with the numbers here. We got, we got to balance this thing just right, essentially. So if we could do, let's see here, 1984 with uh, 1835, that gives us a 3819. Um, yeah, we could jam it all in the back, but... Um, we might get away with that. What happens if we get a uh, probably way too aft? 38.19. I'm assuming that's going to be a little too aft. Just guessing. Not too bad so far. And then our fuel load coming in at 8,500 pounds. So um, the thing is, if you do it this way, you know, you could do it that way. And then you could see we're right. We're perfect. Let's just keep it at that. Uh, you can look 5.8 on the trim, uh, 60, uh, 26.4 on the Mac. And our V speed is going to be 24, 37, uh, excuse me, 24, 24, 37. Set all. Uh, open your doors, dude. Okay, we're going to open that door for you. Go ahead and get her done. And I'm going to go right back into performance. All right, so we're going to set all that 124, 124, 137. And I'm just going to set this in the sim. You can see that is probably not correct, but that is. So two clicks brings you up to where you need to be. And now all of that fuel we just took on, 8,500 pounds, we have to pay for it. That's the fun part about this. What do we got here? Oh, man, my microphone just kind of crapped out on me. Max Racing just sent the video. If you're wondering, I was going JFK PWM. Okay, that's fine. Good stuff. Uh, that's the one thing, Max, if you get on, one thing I'm going to ask you is be patient because um, you're going to be flying basically one route, two routes essentially for now, but they're fun. They're really fun routes. They're quick routes. They're really fun. I don't think I'd ever get bored of them. That's for sure. They're, you know... The only long ones we have is that Indianapolis route now. That's that's about it. All right, let's go ahead and board this. So we're going to click this. Go start flight. Career mode coming in. Coastal. Uh, flight time up. We're going to pad it. We, I think we got an hour pad on this thing. Uh, time takeoff. We're looking at uh, 30 minutes to go here. It is a 700. We are not Wi-Fi equipped. It does not even have that. We are going to, we're not even going to serve drinks on this flight. It is super fast. What are you talking about? Okay. This is such a fast flight. We don't need it. Oh, I'm glad that works. Max says, all good. I strive towards realism. Good. Yeah, you're going to love it. Yeah, that, and that's the thing. One thing about Coastal, folks, is it's different from any other VA is... We just don't throw jets at everything. It just, that doesn't work. We have to have money to do so. So how do we get money? We got to get pilots on board. That's how it works. I don't get tired around. So good. But we are getting another two. So that's good for you. You'll have four to fly eventually. All right. As it's done, we're going to go slide down here. I'm going to do some checks. We're going to check our anti-skid. You can see the anti-skid right there. Inboard, outboard is off. Flip it back, and that's off. We're overheating the gear bay. That looks good. We're going to test this as well. Overheat test. That's good. Uh, N1s. Test our lamps. As we do that, you can just kind of peek up. All the lights are on. That's good. We'll go ahead and throw the lamps off. Check number two. Two's coming up. All the lights are good. good. All right, here we go. Work. Okay, good. I'm glad it worked. All right, this is why I'm saying it's so much easier when you do it this way. 
just because I don't have to deal with that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Those are coming to arm. That's your reversers. That's up. That's cut off. And 122.8 set. Normal gains coming on standby. And that is coming on. 122.8. Stab trim coming in. One, two. Take a look. Here comes the hydraulic. And let's check our uh, trims. Good. Now we're saying four. What did we say on the trim, folks? We remember. Trims have 5.7. Let's just take a peek at the trim here. 5.5. There we go. It's close. Right there. Perfect. Trim's good. That's good. Coming across down here. Mox coming in. That is now off. Normal, normal. Uh, nav and nav. Brakes are on. Straight there. Yawn amper coming in. Let's make sure those lights are off. They are. Coming across up. That is at zero. You could test the rudder trim and the aileron trim. Uh, if I did that, just take a peek, and you get the flight controls for that. Uh, right there. You push the flight controls in there. You can take a, take a look at the rudder. See that rudder kind of deflected over a little bit? Flip it back one. Just kind of trying to get it centered again. That's pretty good. And then you can try the airline as well. If we check the airline trim, see how the airlines coming out of adjustment same thing here looking at that that's perfect okay good oh i thought we were gonna lose it again all right good to go we already tested the fire okay and i'm gonna go ahead and throw this to one more ting let's go to atc we're gonna flip that it says standby here oh 2000 on the standby off that's good we're gonna actually test it Okay, just come down there. Where are you? Gain. Stand by. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, we're at 2022. Flip it over. We got standby on off. TCAS, TCAS, what do you say? What in the world? Now, I'm not going to turn it on right now, but... All right, what do you got? Nightbot. Oh, Nightbot is hooked up. That's good. All right. Uh, I think good. Okay, folks, that's it. We're just going to get them on here. I do want to test the cast. And TCAS, TCAS, what do you say? All right, there we go. All right, so Boston Center's on 134.7. We're definitely going to tune in that. We would be in New York right now, so just leave it alone. I am going to dial in 134.7 on the radio panel just to have it in the hole. 134. Point seven, and let's just throw that in my. Oops. On the I'm talking about. One thirty-four. There we go. Okay. Walk around. Hey, is there any way that we could... Wow, look at that. That's weird. The toe, the nose is all screwed up. Okay, back it up. Anybody know, like, to get this mouse the right way? Because it isn't. So, like... Down is down. I don't like that. So I want to be able to look at the. It's just weird. I'm not used to this. So my mouse got all like reversed. Like if I want to look down, I have to push the mouse down. It's just kind of weird, I guess. I'm not used to that. <laughs> okay, engine inlet looks good. Just want to make sure there's nothing damaged on the inlet. Uh, there's nothing leaking. If it was a radial, you'd want to see a ton of oil on the ground. But in this particular case. We don't. We got position lights on. That's good. That white light in the tail. That's the position light. 
All right. Looks like uh, we're almost done with the bags, I'm sure. Okay, that looks good. Same thing on this side. Looking at the wing surface, there's no icing or anything like that we have to worry about. It's pretty pretty warm here. Same thing there. Coming across, check the tires. Want to make sure it's not flat spotted, no cords popping out or any, on you, anything like that. Uh, we've got one, two, three uh, static wicks on the ailerons and on the, excuse me, dude, on the, ah, uh, uh, this is so annoying. Like, everything is reversed. I hate it. Somebody tell me how to fix that. This is uh, the, the um, uh, hey, let me in. Why did they shut the door on me here? <laughs> it's not going to work. That's just one thing you want to check here is your probes. Make sure your pitot heat's good to go, and we're done. Okay. All right, folks, we're going to get ready to go here. Let's run the checklist, and let's do this thing. Uh, time checked is 11.09. I'm actually going to get the, uh, the time, just kind of skip the little head. So we could, we're, we're pretty much done with the uh, pre-flight checks and everything. We're ready to go here. All right, safety and power on checks coming up. Here we go. Flight director is on here. Okay, aircraft status checked. We've got circuit breakers were checked. Nose wheel steering is off. Hydraulic pumps are off. In fact, I'm going to turn those hydraulics. I think I've got this one. There we go. This was the safety checks, by the way. Uh, probe, probes are off. They're on now. Landing gear down. Flight spoilers zero. Flap levers set in actual position zero. Radars were off. ADG we stowed it. Battery was on. This is the safety check I'm talking about. APU we've got that. We've already checked. Emergency equipment we've checked. Hydraulic 3A pump on. Okay. Acceptance looks good. I'm just going to not go through any of that. That's just kind of emergency lights with clocks. We've done our debriefing, our briefing, and all that. Let's do the before start checklist. Logbooks are verified and required. Crew O2 masks. That's one thing I didn't check. I forgot that. Just check that and then take a peek at your cast right here on your stat page and make sure that you're still pushing 1840 on the ox. And we are. That's the bottle. That means we're, we're we're doing good on our bottle. Park brake is on. Fuel quantity verified at, at eight and a half. Altimeters coming in at uh, three. I think there's like three zero. Yeah, two nine nine or seven. Just to make sure we got that. Yes, that is correct. And uh, altimeter set departure briefing. I'm going to get with you here in a little bit. And the cast is verified. Before start checklist is complete. Let's do a quick briefing. Like I said, we're here. We're going to be pushing out tail to the west. We're going to go ahead and taxi on one engine. We'll cross, uh, we'll basically cross 3 3 left and then fire the number one engine here. We'll taxi up through here, You're take off on, thank you, which is going to be soon. Once we depart, good morning, um, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard. She's board. yapping now. So I'll have to wait until she's done. Uh, anything below 80 knots, we will stop with fire, failure, fear, sheer. Anything above 80 knots to V1, oh, excuse me, anything below 80 knots, we're just going to stop. Anything above V1, uh, excuse me, anything from 80 to V1, we're going to stop. Fire, failure, fear, sheer. I could concentrate with her yapping. And then uh, anything above V1, we're only going to stop this aircraft if it's coming apart. All right, we'll take everything in the air. Got it? Any questions? If we need to do a... A, uh, a aborted takeoff or rejected takeoff. What we're going to do is throttles to idle. I'll pull the reversers and then we'll get on the brakes manually, okay? Do you have any questions for those listening? Speak now, forever hold your peace. No? I guess, I guess we're good. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button really helps the channel out plus we got to fly the airbus like everybody wants me to fly an airbus i'm a 730 it was a 737 instructor and it's like i don't know how that's going to be tell you the truth uh, yeah, it's going to be weird that's for sure all right i'm going to give you a good old uh fashion a good pa how's that i gotta give you good pa and then we'll get the heck out of dodge how's that we good everybody good with that flight plan coming in let's see what we got Okay, I will be right back with a PA announcement for you. How's that?
Folks, welcome, welcome aboard, aboard uh, flight, flight 5201, non-stop service, 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 service over to Nantucket. Once we're once airborne we're here, 30 minutes, minutes, we should have we should the off-gate off in here in about three, three minutes. minutes. Should be should right, right out to Nantucket. Nantucket. Uh, we, don't we don't have any don't services, have any services uh, planned, planned this morning, this morning just, because just because of the short, 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 All right, folks, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, things going. So I'm going to call GSX when we get a push right now. Make sure their doors are locked. Prepare for push and departure. Yes, everything's open. Okay, what are you talking about? Let's close the door. All right, as they do that, they're going to probably pull away from the jet. We're going to go ahead and start that, start that. That's our boost pumps, and we're going to turn on the APU. And throw the hydraulic pumps to the on position. We should be good. Regained comms. Yeah, I was off because um, the comms were... I was doing a briefing. So when I do a brief, I have to turn everything off. Which is quite fun. All right, let me get my chairs up, ready to go here. Rocking and rolling. With ya. All right, APU starting up. You can... I can hear it. What in the world? That's so weird. That's probably what it is. That's what it was. Okay, APU is lit. I can hear it. Okay. Why is this dude there? <laughs> Did he not put the bags on? I'm just going to get rid of him. Bye-bye. So we're going to set reset position. That's going to clear out our GSX issues. And then we'll just start it again and say, okay. Let's get a pushback. And we're going to go prepare for push and departure. Okay, you hear that? The APU is firing up. That's the auxiliary power unit. It's in the back of the aircraft right here, so it sucks in air and then it exhausts it out. I don't know if you can probably see the heat signature. Sometimes you can see it back here. There it is. See the heat signature? You barely see it on your side if you can see it. What's up, Brian? How's it going, man? It says, is the CRJ much of a fuel guzzler compared to the 7.3? No. No, the CRJ is sips fuel, my friend, sips it. Um, and that's why a lot of airlines like it is because it, I mean, it sips fuel. It's, it's, it, I mean, look at how much gas we, we have about uh, 8,400 pounds. And we did that because we're actually tankering 2,000 pounds of it. So we don't need all that gas like a 737 does. Obviously, it's, it seats. Well, you got to think of that, too. It seats. What the heck is going on with the, the textures? Now, I just updated GSX yesterday. So that's dumb. All right, we're going to go nose to the left, tail to the right. Okay, they're going to lock up the gear. We are ready to rock and roll ourselves. We're going to go uh, start checklist, and we've got it ready to go. Okay, the beacon's coming on. There we go. And hydraulics are now on. So what you're going to do is you're going to click your doors. Set your doors all green, good to go. And then look at your hydraulics, good to go. Electric straight up, good. We've got green on the bus. 
So before we do that, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the power, remove that, and we're going to go ahead and throw the chocks off the aircraft. And now, somebody write this down. We're going to go 1121. I'm going to change the mode to local time. And then we're going to click, if I could get it, which is the ET is basically uh, elapsed time. And then we're going to do that. 721 of the push. So we're going to push a little on the early side, about 10 minutes before we need to. And we're going to go right on back to the stat page. Good. All right, let's go. Pushed. Brakes coming off. You can see right here, I'm just going to push the brakes. All right, let's go. This guy's weird purple. Let's call him up. Long Island MacArthur traffic, uh, Riptide 5201, push, Bravo 15. What is, what's the biggest airplane Coastal plans on owning? Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the front of the aircraft. All right, we're going to go ahead and click start. Start right when first. When your seatbelt light is on, please make sure that your seatbelt is fastened low and tight across your lap. To fasten, insert the metal fittings into one another. So you're going to wait till you're 20% here, and then you're going to add fuel. Lift the upper portion of the buckle. In the event that the seatbelt light is not on, we suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened in case of unexpected turbulence. There are several emergency exits on this aircraft. To familiarize yourself with the emergency exits on this aircraft, Okay, there's the fuel. And that's what you do. You just have your hand on it just in case you need to cut it off. Got a light off. Good light. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth. Secure the elastic band behind the head. Tighten the straps if necessary and breathe normally. Although the bag does not inflate, oxygen is flowing to the mask. If you are traveling as a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask on first and then attend others. Keep your mask on until a member of the crew advises you it is safe to do so. Oh, yeah, sorry, thanks. The echo should be gone now. No, it's not. Sorry, you're going to get that sometimes <laughs> if I don't shut the dumb thing off. Okay, we got a good start. Go ahead and disconnect. Set the parking brake first. Now you can disconnect. Pumps are on, pumps are on. AC packs are on now. We remind you that this is a non-smoking flight, and that includes vaping, oh, tampering with, disabling, no, no, no. or destroying the smoke detectors located in the lavatories is strictly Straight prohibited on. by law. All of this information can be found in the safety card located in the seat back in front of you. Please read it and let a cabin member know if you have any questions. Thank you for flying with us again, and we hope you enjoy your flight. Hey, thanks for the call. Sorry, I had to, uh, I have to disable... When that happens, I have to disable the dumb alerts. I appreciate you know appreciate that. We're going to come into the uh, electrics. No, we're going to come into the flight controls. Flight's coming. Flaps coming. Eight. There we go. One, two. Stop, you dumb idiot dogs. They're fighting each other. So annoying. I didn't go on a walk. I didn't take him for a walk today. I usually walk him every day, but today I didn't, I didn't have time. And so they're got a lot of energy out there, I think. Um, what's I doing? Okay, there we go. We got that done. That's good. Hydraulics are in. Set. Electrics. Right there. Green, green, green. Let's shut the APU off. That's done. Power fuel coming closed. Great. Again, we're only going to start number one, uh, number two first, which we did. Stats looking good. Anti and doors closed as well. Cass is good. Okay. Let's do a check, taxi check right now. Okay, flaps verify eight. Takeoff data is verified. Trim is set. 5.7. Taxi checklist complete. Let's go ahead and throw the taxi logs, cogs on. There we go. A 
Long Island Airport, Long Island MacArthur Airport, uh, Riptide 5102, taxi runway uh, 24, armed. Come oh, on, baby, let's go. It takes a lot of push, breakaway thrust to get this airplane rolling. Now this scenery is from, uh, I think it's Fly Too High. Really good. Matter of fact, I'm super glad they did it. Um, they did this airport. So some reason, taxi and the CRJ seems so cool. It is. It's a cool. I like the airplane. A lot of people don't don't give it a lot of love, but uh, I love it. It's a good air. It's a good aircraft, man. It's. You know, I think I think the passengers, shoot, oh, I think the passengers are like, when they see, you know, aircraft that have rear-mounted engines like this, they're like, oh, it's a small jet, you know, so I don't think it gets a lot of love uh, from it. And, you know, pilots, they don't really like it either, <laughs> just because of the, the autopilot, there's no auto throttle on the thing, you're managing everything, but I, again, I'm old school, so... I, I kind of teach old school. I teach numbers, you know, pitch and power is kind of my thing. You fly by the numbers, bro. That's what you should be doing. Everybody should be flying by the numbers. All right, we're crossing we're a runway. Thank you. All right, we're going to cross this runway. Somebody want to send a METAR out there for me? I don't know if you're on. Somebody could call a METAR. What you do is you press, um, just type in, just one person. Type in um, exclamation point or exclamation mark and then type, just type in METAR and then Kilo ISP. I just want to see what the weather is doing here. Flight model sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. It's very true. It's kind of a wonky thing. But this is like the first... I think the first airport or something like or aircraft. Max says, I'm an Airbus guy. Auto throttles don't bother me. Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and fire it up. Titus, thank you. Thank you. We got it. Let's see what happens here. Unavailable. Oh, man. All right, let me go get the weather from the... Uh, let's try to get the weather on this side. Okay, right now I've got, uh, that's two hours and four minutes ago. It's a little late. I was trying to get an update on the weather. All right, we're going to fire it up. Yeah, we don't, you don't need to do it anymore. It's, 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 it's good, guys. It's not, um, it's not you now. It's the actual ATIS is the BTAR is not off. All right, let's go ahead and fire number one. Number one, coming to start. Just want to make sure that you have at least 40 on the ECS. We got 40 on the ECS. We got a 43 on the pressure. We're going to go ahead and fire number one. Number one, coming to start here. Let's go ahead and see it. Bam! That startup was good. We'll see the shutdown. It's better. SRQ, what's going on, man? How are you, my friend? I hope you're well. That'd be Ben. I did get your message, by the way, bud. You're all right. We're going to pop this in there. Um, let me go ahead and get your... Uh, I want to get your flight looked at this weekend. So you're okay for now. The stats coming in. Okay, good start on number one. I've got to give it a couple of minutes here. So I'm going to taxi long way around. All right, we got two good starts. Vibe's good, coming down, and our cast is looking great. It disconnected. We're good. We're going to come around this way. All 
I know, man. I know school's probably getting to you, too. <laughs> it's tough. I told you it's going to be a tough deal with school and stuff, man. But we'll uh, we'll work we'll work with you. Maybe we do a modified thing. I don't know. We'll see. As long as you're in contact, you know, I think we could we can make it work. All right, let's do this. Let's get this going before takeoff. Takeoff config. You want to check it right there. You see, we don't have it. So let's kind of try this. I don't have takeoff config OK. All right. So you can see, you should see that. OK. So let's go ahead and we got the APU closed. So that's good. Usually it's a trim issue. We get it out of trim like this. We're going to come up on the trim like that. All right. Let's just see if what we got here. We're going to get back to five, seven. And now what I'm trying to ta tell you is, you see this right here? It says uh, reverser armed, right reverser armed, and left arm on the cast. You should see a takeoff config OK, and we don't. Which means a few things, right? we got to make sure flaps are set. They are. Brake is off. It is. And the thing is, it doesn't tell you what's going on. which is not great. Uh, that's on auto. Okay, so when we have this uh, alert that's not on, we're going to have to troubleshoot and find out what is going on. So that's low, that's low. Probes are on. Dome light is off. Doesn't matter, by the way. Hydraulics are all on. That's good. That's on. That's on. That's good. That's good. This is weird. Uh, I'll go continuous. Okay, let's try that again. Flaps, take off that and trim set. Take off, config, verify, checked. It's not on. So we could do a couple of things. You could you could push up the throttles right now just to see what the dealio is on this deal. What are you guys saying? Yep, this month's a little bit more. I saw the FedEx. I did. It was resting on the ground. It's crazy. All right, let's just make sure we've got everything on on the cast ECS is looking good packs are on okay hydros are good and on electrics good one more we're all lit green fuel good fuels pumping flight controls we've checked it and that is good. What the heck? That won't do anything. Flight controls, anti-ice. Oh, that's good. Doors. Green. Cast menu. No. Stats. Okay, this is very strange. You should see a takeoff. Okay, and we don't. So what we could do is we could kind of bring them up a little bit. I'm just going to kind of taxi on the runway here. We'll bring up the throttles, hold the brakes, and see if we can't get this thing to figure out what the deal is. Make sure we're good. Checked. Okay. One, two. Strobes. Gonna take a little more power. Get up this hill. It's a little bit of a hill.
I slip traffic riptide 5201 taxi runway two uh, taking runway two four I slip two four on the pavement Yeah, nose wheel steering is armed. We'll reset our speeds and see if we can't uh, get that to go. All right, too far is on the pavement. I'm taking a look. We'll try to see if we can get get that on. Okay, I'm going to stop right here, and I'm just going to actually set this. Brakes, I'm just going to hold them. And I'm going to set speeds again. No. All right, bringing them up. I'm just going to hold the brakes. All right, we're good. Brakes are off. Toga. Now, obviously, I checked everything like four times. <laughs> so we got a crosswind over to the, from the left side, 80 knots cross check. Rotate. Okay, we got a positive rate. Gear coming up. Wheels in the wells. Speed through a thousand. Okay, I'm going to roll the aircraft, getting into the soup, flap, flap one, climb thrust, climb power set. Two thousand on the climb. Okay, you can see how we're just losing a little bit of speed, so I'm just going to kind of drop that nose about 10 degrees. Let's get some airspeed back. We're going to go ahead and increase about 210 as we're in the turn. We hit that T mark. We're going to go ahead and uh, retract all the flaps. Uh, looks like Boston just called me. All right, let me just do this first. Let me fly first. Speed's checked. Set. Through 5,000. Let's go ahead and keep on the climb on the breakout here. Okay, we're going to go straight to Hampton. Just a little on the slow side, guys. I will call them just a minute. I got to get settled in here. Okay, I'm going to go nav. And we're going to turn it to the on position. Flaps are up. Speeds checked. Flaps up. Here we go. I'll give them a call. Radio. Good. Radio coming in. What in the world? Come on, recall. Step away okay, from the cockpit for seven. about uh, two minutes. American 791, that's approved. Report back. American 791. Want to increase our speed? Boston Center, Riptide, 5201 out of 8,000 feet out of ice slip, headed over to uh, Nantucket. Ah. Dot com, 2150, descent and maintain, 5,000. Let me see in here, me. 5,000, dot com, 2150. Nope. So what I'm going to do is disconnect, reconnect, 
I'll just have to open the client again. That's because of my microphone. It was all goofy. All right, we're through uh, 10,000 feet. Connect. 5201. I keep forgetting what our uh, call is. About There's 10,000 feet. I'll let them know. If you need a deviated vibe. 10,000 feet. You can now turn on your larger portable oh, Roger, dot com, devices. Okay. As a reminder, please keep your seatbelt fastened while you are seated and do not congregate in the galleys or near the lavatories. Let me call them right now. Boston Center, Riptide 5201 out of 11,000 out of ice slip checking in. November 33, Lima, Romeo, Boston Center, Columbia, maintain, flight level 220. Does he not hear me? Microphone is set. No, they can't hear me now. We're good. Riptide 5201, Boston Center, squat 1044. 1044. 1044 on the code, folks. November 33, Lima. Uh, looks like I got you out of there, thanks. One zero four four on the squawk. Center American seven ninety one, we're back in the cockpit. American seven ninety one, thank you. Boston Center in November eight zero three three Fox Charts on the ground at Melanocket with the numbers. We're looking for wings IFR eighteen to Papa Quebec, India. Uh call me back in three minutes. I gotta work on something real quick. I'm sorry, what was that? I said call me back in three minutes, please. I gotta work on something real quick. Okay. I just got a call by the soup. All right, here comes 17,000. 8033 Foxtrot. Uh, was that you calling for the uh, clearance? Affirmative. I'm going to go uh, 280 on the speed. All right, 8033 Foxtrot, thanks. Clearance on request, semi. All right, we're going to bring down the thrust levers right now here a little bit once we hit the climb. Remember, 8033 Foxtrot, clear to right the now. Presque Isle Airport as filed. On departure, maintain 5,000. Departure this frequency, squawk 4764. Okay, there's 17,000 level. 8033 Foxtrot, read back correct. Hold for release and advise ready for departure. Your wings IFR 18 is proof. We'll hold for the lease and advise when ready. November This is going to be quick, folks. It's going to be a fast flight. Request step away for about five minutes. Delta 5709, five minutes is approved. Advise on your back. We'll go, Delta 5709. Doc, uh, 2050, cross fat up at or above uh, 4,000, and you're cleared for the r Yankee runway 10 approach. Cross fat up at or above 4,000, cleared r Yankee 10.com, 2050. Climb check is complete, by the way. Just did it. And Center 55 five, Quebec with the weather and no tams at Orange looking for the RNAV 32 starting at John Z. Okay, right now, airport weather in Nantucket, folks. Right now, 100 at 10. 10 miles visibility, a few clouds at 35. Center American 2782. November 155 Quebec. Okay, clear direct to John Z in the Senate Post discretion. Maintain 11000. Manchester altimeter is uh, going to be 3003. Clear direct John Z. Maintain 111000 and clear the RNAV. Uh, expect the RNAV 32 approach. 55 Quebec. Who else called there? American 2782. Okay, how can I help you? I was just told to contact you. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, if, yeah, it helps if you check in with your altitude, so we know you're airborne. American 2782, Boston Center, climb and maintain, flight level 340. 
American 2782. All right, hold on. Looks like the runway is going to be six, I'm assuming. One zero zero. It'll be perfect if it's six. Somebody in the chat, if you... um, if, maybe I can do it. Hang on. Uh, I'll show you what's going on here. FedEx 141, looks like you've gone ahead and started your descent. Uh, descend via the Roebuck 3 arrival, runway 4 right, Boston altimeter 3003. Roebuck 3 arrival, altimeter 3003. Weather's coming up, I hope. Let's see if it works. Boston Center, Riptide 5201. Riptide 5201, Boston Center. I'm just checking my radio. It wasn't working before. Okay, uh, I don't know why I had a supervisor contacting me to ask if you were on my frequency, but I just told him that you were. That was the only, uh, the, I, don't, I don't know what the issue was, but I don't have a problem with you. Yeah, no, you're fine. I just want to make sure it worked. <clears throat> Okay, good stuff. Uh, there's the METAR right there. You can see winds 100 at 10, 10 miles visibility, a few clouds at 3,500. This is a very fast flight. I'm just saying. We got kind of a crappy cloud cover, which is a bummer. Because you want to be able to see. Clear direct Calverton. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. We are direct Calverton, my uh, thunderstorms, yeah, they, they called thunderstorm. I didn't see any in the forecast, nor have I seen anything on radar. So there's a line, okay, there's a line of thunderstorms just to the south of us. Uh, I'll show you on the weather radar here coming up, but it's where it's no factor for us, folks. It's just Delta 5709, you nice. told me that you were back already, correct? So if I go to cloud cover, we go to radar, you're going to see paint not. just a little bit to the south. See, that's what he's talking about. This is probably a line here. That's pretty much the only thing on radar that we have, period. I mean, there's nothing you can see. It's beautiful over here. So it's just a little south. He's probably getting around those cells, going to Boston, I'm sure. But you can see this is a fast flight, folks. I mean, it's it's pretty quick. We wouldn't even turn off the dang seatbelts. We're, we're going to be starting our descent in like two minutes um, 1622, descend at pilot's discretion, maintain flight level 240. Pilot's discretion down to yeah. flight level 240, Delta 1622. I think we've got a low pressure system. we got a, we got a frontal system coming in. So that's what kind of this is. Normally, you would throw the seatbelt sign off, but I'm going to keep it on just because we're going to be starting our descent here in the next, uh, pretty shortly, actually. Uh, I show Nantucket in 15 minutes, folks. I mean, that's how quick this is. This flight is going to be. In 15 minutes, we'll we'll get down. It looks like if we could de- runway 6, we'll take it. One to two minutes, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Roger, we'll Oh, across America? I don't know, man. I haven't looked. SRQ is back. Welcome aboard. So when we land here, we got to do a turn and head out. Looks like uh, runway six. We'll probably take the ILS in there. Boston um, 39, 1181, 10.5 for 14,000. Charlie, Foxtrot, Zulu, Delta, Boston Center. It's smooth right now. I mean, we're not getting any bumps, but still, I mean, they could keep their seatbelts on for 30, 30 minutes. I mean, from Charlie gate to Fox gate, that's not bad. Charlie Foxtrot, Boston Center. Boston Center, go ahead. Charlie Foxtrot, Zulu Delta, Boston Center. You can't just say you're on my frequency if you haven't called me yet. Turn left head in uh, 330. Uh, that'll be vector for space. Uh, 
Crowley, Foxtrot, Zulu, Delta, Boston Center, turn left heading 330. I'm going to really listen up, just just so I don't want to miss his calls or anything like that. So I'm just going to kind of concentrate. Uh, I, I want to ask you again. I'll get a supervisor to do it since you don't want to play along. All right, let's do this. Um... Uh, there was an aircraft that was just calling me before I was rude, dealing with another very rude aircraft. Uh, what was your call sign again? I think it was American 757. Was that you? ILS 6 is set. It was United 1181. We were just checking in, telling you that we're at 13,000 for 14,000. United 1181, Boston Center, thank you. Climb and maintain flight level 300. Climb and maintain flight level 300, United 1181. Air France 16, descend and maintain flight level 240. It's a tempo 6. Uh, Reptile 5201, descend and maintain 5000. Down to 5000, 5201. Okay, uh, we're going to go down to 5. Landing 6, the altimeter 3002. Roger. 5,000 on the altitude. Let's go ahead and give a good rate. Uh, 757 checking in. Uh, we are at 14,000 feet 90. at the moment. Uh, eight miles from south from Highland. Okay, I'm going to descend there, via the uh, vertical seven, speed. Seven, 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 seven. We'll get the thing pointed zero. down right and we give him a good rate of descent. 5,000 feet. 7,000. 7,000. 5,000. Correct. November 3, 3, Lima, Romeo, cross Calverton, it's Charlie, 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 how to maintain 1, 2,000 and 2, 5, 0 knots, the Kennedy altimeter, 3, 0, uh, correction, 2, 9, or 9, 3, or 5. 0, 0, 2. So, 3, 0, 0, 2 is set, standby is going to be set, 3, 0, 0, 2, set. All right, we're going to go ILS 6, which I've got set here. And... Looks like we've got um, 061 on the course. Dot com 2150 to land 1205, runway 10, clear to land. One zero so clear. I like descending on a constant speed, it's, I mean a constant descent rate. Constant so I'm going to go to about 15, 1600 feet a minute. One six, number one, ready. I have probably been on Number A033 Foxtrot is released for departure. Clearance void at 0135. Clammy. That's 10 minutes from now. Report airborne on this frequency and change to advisory frequency is approved. Kind of puts us over clammy, <laughs> which is fine. Clearance void is not off by 10, and we'll talk to you soon. November A033 Foxtrot. They're landing 6, so let me pull up the ILS 6 here. It looks like. Boston, if I go to legs, alpha clammy. We're, uh, sort of alpha on the west yeah. ramp. We're, uh, ready to we should be good. November 5-7 Charlie Alpha, do you have a wind uh, is showing variable at 3, do you have any particular runway you want to do? Uh, we could do 1-8, that's alright, 5-7 uh, Charlie Alpha. Yeah, that sounds good, November 5-7 Charlie Alpha, runway 1-8 taxi via Alpha, Bravo, cross runway 7. Gorgeous paint though, isn't it? Bravo, 1-8 uh, sure. cross runway 7, 5-7 uh, Charlie Alpha, thanks. Boston TBN four three two Charlie Edwards. Now we're getting to the bumps. One seven thousand. Do you want us on your frequency? Uh, are you IFR or VFR? Uh, we're IFR. Then yep, you need to be with me. All right. Well, we are one seven thousand going to Beverly. Just uh, I was wondering, didn't get to contact me. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, I don't send contact me. I just wait for pilots to follow the code of conduct and contact me usually unless you're in conflict. So number four three two Charlie Charlie. Either way, I got you right or contact. Uh, and you can cross Gasky. Actually, you don't have it. So cross Dream at a maintain 5,000. The Boston altimeter is uh, 3003. Okay, cross Dream uh, 5,000 to Charlie Charlie. Baguette. Yeah, Air France should Boston call Center, it a baguette. Justice 4. Justice 4, Boston. Yeah, we'd like to go up to flight level 380 and make that our final if possible. Justice 4, it is possible. Climb and maintain for level 380. Thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, going up to 380 now, Justice 4. We're in the bumps. We are in the bumps, folks. I said it was going to be smooth. Well, it was smooth. Until we started our descent, that is not so smooth. November, or, sorry, 
sorry, Riptide set two zero one quarter at off tack. You'll find it on the final for runway six. Roger, clear direct off tack. Uh, Riptide fifty two zero one. Okay, so we're gonna uh, off tack. I'm just gonna throw that in there and drop it over the top and then click. Uh, here we go. Boston set of FedEx one forty one repeat. FedEx one forty one contact Boston approach one three three point zero. One three three point zero. So he's sending us direct to the, essentially direct to the radar fix, the uh, IAF, the initial fix. That's where we're headed. So. Uh -huh. Off tack. We got to be there at about 2300, but we we only could descend about five. So, November guess what? Shoots Quebec. on. Shoots on, folks. Shoots on. If you're a member, you should see it in the as an emoji. I want to say shoots on in the chat. Go for it. Down to if you can find that emoji, to approach, five, five, it should be like a parachute. SRQ, Jason, when I was hey, zero, past three, training. Have your radar contact. Uh, can I get first officer Roger, coastal zero, epaulets? I pay for them, yeah. I'll show you where you can get them for sure. You could get, if you become a pilot, you can actually purchase wings. We have wings for you. And, um, down to 3,000, Riptide 5201. Please also store any carry-on items either in the seat back pocket or under the seat in front of you. Boston, number 57 Charlie Alpha, uh, short of 1 8 at left on, we're ready to go. Air print 016, maintain 300 zero zero knots. Or we're good out. right there. So the, the descent rate we've, we've got going on, you can see this banana here? Delta we are going to be well, well before uptack, which is fine. Two nine zero or left of the focus Let's go and turn this on here. There we go. Wasn't coastal connection going to be shark bait? It was, and it still might be. I just haven't had the chance to change it yet, but November, I think coastal Australia, connection will be shark bait. Lebanon, we're ready to go. Which will be hilarious. November, shark bait. Five seven Charlie Alpha, proceed <laughs> on course. Climb and maintain one zero thousand. Runway one eight. Clear for takeoff. I got to find a, a two-letter identifier or a three-letter identifier for that one. Ah, there it is. 80 quarts. You got it. <laughs> uh, SRQ says, so you can buy wings and you got wings and you got something. I don't know what that says. Yes, you can you can buy wings and a and a hat badge. So, Delta see that hat badge zero, right nine, there? You can you can buy that as a pilot. Com, and we have real wings. Uh, CFBO all the way in the back of uh, Alpha. Com twenty fifty. Thank you, eighty courts. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, Alpha to the FBO. Congrats on passing your wings. I four fifteen. Alpha to the FBO for dot com twenty fifty. Thank you. Will you be on for me to be uh, do sixteen? Uh, stand by. Let me see out where that one goes all the way to Boston, right? Uh, Eastern. Uh, I'm. It's hard to say. Uh, to be honest. Roger. November eight zero three three Fox. Uh, sorry, disregard. Uh, Delta fifty seven zero nine. Do you, how do you hear this transmission? We are getting bumped around, folks. I feel the turbulence in my seat. We got the butt kicker on here, so we are feeling the turbulence as it comes through. Okay, we should be flipping. We should be flipping blue needles first. I'm going to decrease the descent rate just a little bit. I'll I'll keep it at a thousand feet. I don't want to go too low. There we go. Let's push them up just a little bit. Air France 16, cross Calverton, Charlie, 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 how to maintain 1, 2,000, the Kennedy altimeter 3003, uh, correction is 299 or 5, don't slow down yet. Wing inspects coming okay, on. Okay, we'll the cross to Charlie, 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 at the 1, 2,000, and the QNH 2995, and we don't slow down yet. I'm Continuous. Descent check, here we go, pressurization set, we've done that already. Altimeters are set. Landing data coming in. Set. 
Cass. Checked. Send checklist. Uh, correction, the J fund to arrival, runway four right, Boston altimeter is uh, three zero zero three. Once we get out of this crap, right, it's going to be really nice. Altimeter three zero zero three, Delta fifteen twenty two. All right, Max. Max, do me a favor. Can you do research to see if that S C S B or S K B is taken? Sierra Uniform Bravo Sierra, Boston Center. We're at two eight zero about. Uh, west of Hancock, entering your airspace from Newark. Boston Center, Delta 709. Delta 709, contact Washington Center 133.72. 133.72, thank you, Delta 709. November 432, Charlie, Charlie, contact Boston Approach 133.0. 33.02, to Charlie, Charlie, good day. Boston Center, United 408 is uh, 10,000 climbing paths. Okay, the speed's coming down a little too much. I'm going to get it down about 220. About right there. I don't want to go below that. So 200 knots. So we're just going to keep it up. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful weather day here in Nantucket. You can see the weather we're going to be flying back to is going to be crappy, but. Yeah, 408 Boston Center, climb and maintain, follow 300. 300, United 408. Okay, we got blue needles. You can see the blue needles coming in like that. Sorry, I'm just so, trying to figure out your call sign. It's not letting me track you. I'm not sure what kind of call sign that is. Sorry, it was for a, a, a celebration. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's not letting me track you. November 155, Quebec. No traffic observed between you and Orange. Report cancellation of IFR. This frequency change to advisor frequency approved. Frequency change approved. Report cancellation here. 55, Quebec. Thanks for the help. Dot com 2150, Boston. Good. Yeah, if you want to load up for 16, it looks like I got support on approach here. So if you uh, if you want to do 16 and you want to start it in the next 15 minutes or so, I'll probably accommodate. Roger, we'll uh, get it filed and put in the uh, put in our F and C uh, quickly. Uh, dot com 2050. So 1513, contact Washington, 13372. Got the airport in sight right there. I'm going to call him. Thank you. Boston oh. Center, Riptide 5201, got the airport in sight. Oh, climbing through, uh, fourth, uh, excuse me, flight level 400 for 450, coming from Cleveland. November 135. <sighs> Sorry, first Riptide, Fit 201, Clear Visual Approach, Runway 6. Clear the Visual, Runway 6, thanks, Riptide, uh, Fit 201. And November 135, Boston Center. Get out of his hair. The reason why I did that is to get out of his hair. He's busy, so I'm going to let him... Boston, number 157, Charlie Alpha. We're, uh, I'm going to let him control, one. and then Directing I'll be two. able to... Just going to fly Alpha, it. Boston Center... Thanks, radar contact. Climb and maintain. Flight level 300. Flight level 300. Uh, 57, Charlie Alpha. Air Canada 757, cross EBDOT at a maintain 11000. The Burlington altimeter is 3, correction 2900 or 2. Uh, maintain 11, uh, cross seat dot and maintain one one thousand. Uh, no one's in sight. Okay, uh, we're gonna come down. Flaps. Is, is not correct because we're looking for the altimeter for Mohan. Flaps eight. Okay, I don't have that. I'm just giving you one eighty on the speed. At Burlington, which is you're gonna be over top of when you transition out of the flight level. So the Burlington altimeter is two hundred nine or two. You can update it for your arrival field when you get closer. Okay, Roger, that, uh, thank you very much. Uh, altimeter for Burlington is 299 or 2 for Air Canada 757. Straight ahead. See it? Runway's in sight. Emirates 2, uh, correction 5, Romeo K back, leaving my airspace. New York Center closed, radar service terminated, frequency change approved. 
Frequency change for the Emirates Fire Round in Quebec. Thanks for having to say. Have a good night. And Boston Center Delta Force, be ready to descend whenever you want us to. Does force okay, I wanted to send down to 1700. 2000 and 250 knots, going slow to 250 now. Kennedy altimeter is uh, 2995. 250, 12,000 at Charlie Charlie Charlie, up from there at 2995 at Kennedy, level 458. Air France 16, at uh, your discretion, you can slow to 250 knots for the cow return restriction. Alright, so I'll show you, uh, Kennedy, slow down now, 160, so coming in. Lima, Romeo, you have lost my airspace near the approach closed. Radar service terminated, frequency change approved. Wow, right now, 15023. This is a nice crosswind here coming in from the right side. Pretty nasty. That would be lovely. The Justice 004, yeah, contact Washington Center 13372. Washington Center, 13372, Justice 4. Thanks. Yep. Riptide 5201, wind 120 at 10, runway 6, clear to land. Cover the winds, runway 6 is clear to land, 5201. Gear down. 138.8. A little bit higher than that, just because uh, the wind. All right, three down. Three down. Here we come. Flat thirty. All right, there it is. We are recording this, by the way, so we're gonna go into flat forty-five here in just a minute. There's fifteen hundred. Flat 45, landing checks coming Air up. France 16, leaving my airspace, New York approach is closed. Radar service terminated. For Thrust reversers are on. Uh, landing gear, down, down, down three on. green. Flaps, 45, Delta set green. Radar service terminated. We have a 21 knot crosswind coming in from the right. I'm going to push the throttles up just a little bit. Let's go. Lights are set. Yeah, Boston Center, Roger. Man, there's a thousand. I'm gonna take over. My plane? Uniform Bravo here. We change your call sign to November three three zero. Uniform zero. And now, folks, you know a lot of people are like, "Oh, Jason, you do a duck under a lot." Yeah, that's true. I do. Boston. Um, I am in visual conditions. Flight director's coming off. There we go. I just fly the aircraft outside here. United 1440 Boston Center, climb and maintain, level 290. Up to 290, United 1440. Who else called? It's 11 knots now, so I'm going to try to get back on that center line a little bit. Uniform Bravo Sierra, we changed your call sign to November 330, Uniform Sierra. Slightly low, which is fine. At 350. Alright, I need you to refile flight plan for me. Roger, we'll November 330, Uniform Sierra, Squawk 3565. Okay, 3565 for November 0, Uniform Sierra? November 0, Uniform Sierra, that's correct. 3565. 30. 3565, 3, November 0, Uniform Sierra, sorry. Come on, baby, get on there. American 791, contact Washington Center, 133. So Washington Get back on the center line. You have the right now, American 791. We do. Brakes. Reversers are out. Center TB. Good landing. Quebec on the ground at orange, like to cancel IFR at this time. November 155, Quebec. Thank you, your IFR cancellation. I want to go down. Have a good night. Kilo. You too, sir. Hang in there. The local time is 8.10 a.m. and it's currently about 64 degrees Fahrenheit. You can now use your mobile devices. Please Shaquille Oatmeal, what's going on, man? Come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign is Hopefully you're off. well. Remember to use caution uh, when opening overhead bins as items may have shifted during the flight. We thank you for the time. That's 1622, contact Boston Approach 133.0. Okay, this is the new scenery that we've got here in Nantucket. 
Looks good. Straight across here. We're going to go on Kilo. And then uh, we'll taxi over to the terminal here. Let's Once we cross here, we'll stop. We'll get, hopefully, taxi clearance here soon, or I'm going to waste all this energy. November 330, Uniform Sierra, thanks. I have your radar contact. Uh, looks like, let's call it 17 miles south of Syracuse. Maintain flight level 360. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. We're on Echo. Boston Center, Riptide 5201 on Echo. We'll clear the runway. Uh, Riptide 5201, you can take Echo to parking, cross from Y15. Good night. All right, Echo to parking, we'll cross 15, Riptide uh, 5201. All right, we're going to come over here. That's off. We're going to go power fuel coming on, and we're going to start the EPU. EPU is coming to start. We'll let the engine cool down, and then we're going to go ahead and shut her off. Nice. That was a, a little sporty, especially with that crosswind. <laughs> you know, you, you even feel it on this air. Even 11 knots, you feel a little bit of... Uh, some crosswinds going on. This is going to be a quick turn, folks, so we're not going to waste too much time on the ground, I hate to tell you. All right. Uh, cleared on the left. Cleared on the right. We're going to come through here. We're going to go Bravo 1. Boston, look at the American terminal. It looks exactly like I remembered it. American 2782, Boston Center. Requesting uh, altitude increase to flight. Nightbot is grumpy. What did it? What is it deleting? Climb maintain. Flight level three six zero. American twenty seven eighty two. Climb maintain three six zero. Chaplu one six five Boston. I remember these days. We're gonna park over here. Right here is going to be gate one. If I call GSX and let them know what gate I'm in. Uh... Or is this gate two? Yeah, whatever. Bus center number three, Joe Tango at 9. Gate two, it is. November three, Joe Tango, Bus center. Hey, brakes coming set. Zero, zero. I'm going to shut level down number one. Zero, zero, three, Joe Tango. Uh, we've, uh, I'm going to show you the shutdown here. That's the shutdown. Okay, number two. Shutdown. Watch the spool down here. Welcome to Nantucket, folks. Hopefully that was fun. That was a fun little flight. Center, and we're Tony going right press, back. High for the Boston Wings, high for 16. Back on 2050 Boston Center. Clear to the Boston Airport. Syracuse, see departure, then it's filed. Climb and maintain. Up. All right, so look at that spool down. That's pretty. All right, let's go ahead and... Um, I, you know, Shelton, I don't know how the Rangers are going to do. I mean... Preseason's difficult to tell, but because they're not giving, you know, they're not giving it their all. They're just kind of like, eh, yeah, we're going to revoke. We're going to change facility. We're at gate two. Reposition here at the current gate. Thank you. Oh, look at that spool down. That's cool, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get the passengers off the aircraft. And we will uh, get this ready, airplane ready to turn. That's coming off. That's coming off. I'm just going to do some uh, cleanup stuff. Should have done that actually before. Local lights are off. That's off. Beacon is now off. Hydraulics coming off. One, two, three, and four. No, everything should be off. Okay, there we go. Seatbelt signs are off. And fuel pumps. I'm going to keep one of them on just because the APU. And the packs are on. Good. We're going to be burning APU stuff. I called you guys over here. So what's the deal with that? Coming there. Chocks in place. Opening the doors. Dude, come on now. 
Wow. So we want to revoke. Uh, no jetways here. I understand that. Request the boarding. Go. All right. Good. As we do that, let's go to the intranet. I uh, just got to get my times in. It was 8, 8 16 local. That bad. Less than an hour, which is great. We're going to be, we got a full day ahead of us, folks. We got another route to go to Islip. Bring me back three scoops, please. Yeah, go ahead in the terminal, you guys. Um, we're going to go back. If you're wondering what we're doing, we're doing a turn right on back to Islip. And then we actually have to go to Portland, Maine, and then all the way up to Nova Scotia. So it's going to be a late night tonight. It's just one of those things. I've got to get this airplane repositioned. And actually, I'll stop that. Great. And one more housekeeping item. We're going to turn off our squat code. Okay. Let's go to the intranet. And I'm going to get the paperwork written with you. I'll show you the intranet and all that good stuff. Let's just see if I can grab it. Here, over to here. Captain, all passengers have left the plane. Yeah, that was quick. We're gonna log in. Okay. Here comes the intranet right there. So we just, uh, how do we do on our landing rate? 203 is a little firm for this, but that's all right. Go oh, shoot. That's why I've got to go ahead and. Um, Wait a minute, it didn't... Oh, no. I'm not there. Oh, I know why. Is it didn't reset it. Ah, all right, I'm going to cancel the flight. I know what I got to do. It didn't take, so I'm going to have to manually do this. That's a bummer. It didn't reconnect. Shoot. Yeah, we're gonna cancel the flight. So I do I gotta do a couple housekeeping things on this side to to tell it we're actually I'll have to record that flight. That is a bummer. It's no big deal, but it still sucks. And that's because I re remember how to restart the computer. Well that restart screwed it up. I I should have canceled A cars. And then went, that's okay. What was our landing rate on that, folks? Do we know? And I'll change this fleet really quick, and then we'll be up and running. Just a minute. Shark bait, that's the aircraft we're in. And the location is ACK. Just like that, we're here. Um, normally, I would, I would send a... A manual pirate, but I'm gonna do that after I'm done with this light with this day. All right, now we're at ACK. That's good. We're gonna click new flight. We are departing at nine o'clock, so I'm gonna write my paperwork down so you can see what in the world I'm doing. We're gonna need an alternate. Remember, I slips a little low on the low side. 5202. Departing ACK, arriving ISP. Departure time will be 9 a.m. That's good. That'll give us plenty. We're going to click plus. My bids. We'll open the, our bids page. 155. That's much better than 200. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. All right. We've got uh, departure. No, no. We are. Wait a minute. Departing Nantucket and heading to Long Island. Yes. Okay. That's my bids. This one I had to cancel. So I'm going to go ahead and obviously I could do a new pirate with this. And I guess we'll have to do this. Uh, flight level 17,000. It was Riptide. No, it wasn't. It was shark bait, block fuel. So I'll just do this here. I'm just, I mean, it's going to be easier. I'll just pull it up. 
Block Fuel was what? Uh, blocked out at uh, 8,500. Not 85,000, 8,500. We used uh, 2,000. Passenger, passengers were 62. Cargo was pushing. This is why we write stuff down. 1835. Route. It was Hampton, H T O L I B B E, oops, Lib, Libby, and then Victor 46 over to Clammy, and then we're done. Okay, no remarks. I'm just going to click submit the pyre up. Hours field is required. Oh, shoot. Okay. Flight time was, okay, if I looked, we pushed at 721, oh, it's because it's a round number, 720, 820 would be an hour, that's 55 minutes, it's 50, it's 50 minutes. So we're looking at zero hours and 50 minutes, it was a 50 minute flight. Everything else is the same, submit it. They're currently not at the departure airport. Ah, I gotta do it again. Okay. Let me let me do it again. I have to go, and the reason why I have to do that is I was trying to trick the system, but uh, apparently it's smarter than I am. That's probably what it is. Current airport, I slip. Let's try this one more time, folks. Save that. Go to fleet. CRJ. Uh, all right. Okay, I want to get a good turn here. We're going to keep the time. So whatever the turn is, it's actually what we need to do. So, all right. <laughs> now we're in Islip, right? Yes. Good. Now, if I come over here and click my bids... Okay, good. I want to file the pyre up. No big deal. We did this already 50 minutes. We did 17,000 feet. Block fuel was 8,500. We used 2,000 pounds. Route, I mean, HTO to Libby, L-I-B-B-E, and then Victor 46 to Clammy. Done. No remarks. Click submit. Oh, aircraft. Required shark bait hours required zero fifty submit the pirate. There we go. Okay, now it just said, All right, you, you, you flew to Nantucket, we're good to go. Pending approval, you see that? Okay, good. Uh, let's go back to operations. Click flights. We are now in pending approval. So let's go over here. And then Pyrep's coming in. Pending approval. We're going to accept that. That should now tell the system we are in. Yeah. Now we're correct. All right. Good. Now we're, we're where we need to be and we filed the flight. So... Good to go. New flight coming up. We've got Nantucket, Long Island. Click new. Click OK. Click my bids. Who, well, low 100, low lead. Jet A must be new. <laughs> All right. We're going to create a Simbri flight plan. Aircraft is shark bait. Click flight planning. Here we go. Uh, we do need an alternate. So let's plan Providence as an alternate. Uh, or HPN, which is probably going to be, you know, Providence is probably closer. So we'll just keep it at Providence. Okay, I got to write all these numbers down. We're 67 people coming out, coming out of here. So we've got uh, pack 67. Bag weight is pushing 2144. In reality, it's probably about 80% of the total passengers. 1801 and total payload 16675. I am certain 
that that's going to change because of the what's today six ten uh, twenty three. Uh, I'm just writing the fuel ticket. Okay, added fuel. I'm going to add about 500 pounds and SW. I click generate. I'm hoping that we can get this done and we can get out of the gate here. We got to do a, a pre flight roll. So, edit. I wish I had a dispatcher. I've been trying to get a dispatcher on board forever. And there's one, one. we have one applicant. What the heck? This is all over the place. I don't like that route, if I can avoid it. Ice slip right now is reporting. Ooh, one mile missed. Yes, we have got to have an alternate airport, which we do. Uh, and the alternate is reporting Providence. Not too bad. Six miles missed. Vicinity showers overcast at four, overcast at seven, overcast at three. But that's way early in the morning. We're good. <clears throat> um, that's actually tomorrow afternoon, to tell you the truth. Okay, scheduled at 67, 45 minutes. Extras, 500 pounds. We're not going to tanker. Let's take a better route at this. I definitely want to go to HTO, uh, the Calverton. That's going to take us up and high and over. I don't like that either. That's fine. We'll just leave it at there. That's better. That's a better route. Victor 34 SEY, HTO to Calverton, and then we're done. Yep. Let's do that. That keeps us kind of out of Boston's hair, at least, for the most part. Okay, I'm good with these numbers. Let's go ahead and click Generate the Flight, and we'll see if we're weight restricted. We might be. What's up, John? How are you? Shaquille says, is this all custom software? I've not seen anything in this in depth. <laughs> would, would somebody like to tell... Oatmeal, what's up with Coastal Airways, dude? Coastal Airways is no joke, my friend. I don't know if you've heard or if you've heard of Coastal Airways and what we do, but we simulate everything, dude. Everything, everything from a full—it's a full AQP. Our training program it takes six months to get through, and we are not weight restricted, so we are good to go on this. We're gonna come in. Uh, I've gotta write some stuff down. Paperwork. Here we go. You know, like I said, everything is paperwork, right? So, okay, we're looking at minimum 6.4 on the fuel, maximum fuel 7.4, plan fuel. If you wanted to know about it, uh, if you look on, like, the Flight Sim Broadcasting Network, there's a video that I've attached, like, when you go to our, our like, YouTube page. If you watch that video, I explain the entire thing. Like in depth, it's three hours of we were flying and I explained everything, all the internal workings of it. Uh, we're at Bravo 2 today and I don't, I've don't. i got to get the fuel on board and all that good stuff. So destination, airport, ice slip, it's looking crappy right now. Time, I'd say about 40 minutes in the air. Temperature, ice slip right now. Let's click import flight. Let's go here. And by the way, if you want to fly for us, um, we are going to open hiring again very soon so go to flycoastalairways.com and uh, check it out if you're interested then apply pretty cool there you go there's our merch too vera sale i won't be doing them 141 starting three days before ah uh, gotcha 141 yo been there all right zero fuel weight good luck by the way man uh, you'll do well. 61. Takeoff weight coming in at uh, 68. These kids got to feed my dog. Uh, landing weight 65.6. Well under everything. And we'll get all that other stuff, all the paperwork done here in a minute. I just want to get this populated and ready to go and i'm going to click download then we're going to come over we'll download that save it we're going to come up here and i'm going to execute that we're going to pre-file this right now nope i didn't want to do that that was not the one i wanted to hit file on vat sim that's what i wanted let's go get the thing filed on vat sim uh, altitude 
twenty thousand is probably a little dang too high for this. Um, we'll go eighteen. We went seventeen coming. We're gonna go eighteen going. File the flight plan. Okay, it's filed now. Fifty two zero three is it? Fifty two oh two. Okay. Okay, fifty two oh two. We've got it. Drop out of that. Drop out of that. I know, Nana. Jeez. Okay, time check, 8.31. We're due to leave here at 9 o'clock, so just about 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and get this thing ready to go. Yeah, sadly, I won't be doing it. Uh, I'm missing it. I got a buddy who's it's dispatch manager for a major carrier. Maybe I could pass the word. I'll need a first-class upgrade, though. You got a first class upgrade, no problem. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Paperwork coming in. We're good. We're deplaned already. You can see we're burning the uh, fuel. They're still unloading bags. Holy cow. So, with that, I'm going to go and get the paperwork done. Our arrival fuel 31, 35, 0. Oh, shoot. I'll show you what I'm doing. Sorry, folks. You can see how busy you are. You're not just sitting there twiddling your thumbs. Normally, our schedule, we have a little pad. But this one, this route is, it's a quick turn. I mean, it's no joke. Oh, my pen. There we go. 5, 8, 11, 3, 6. Yeah, I should have just looked at the total instead of doing it in my head. Okay. Um... What are we looking at? 7-4 on the out here. 3-7, three, 3-7. Seven, three, seven. So not too bad. We'll go 3.70. That's 4. And then 6-7, seven, 7.4. Seven Let's call the fueler. And we're going to get some gas going on this aircraft. We're going to be 67 passengers on the mark here. Performance coming in. Once I get the passengers loaded, then we will enter fuel coming in at, uh, oop, I can't do that yet. I gotta start my A cars. I always forget that. Let's start A cars, pull that in, 5202, and then we're gonna click start flight, and then it's gonna have us there. We should hook up, yep. All right, again, it's gonna charge us all the fuel that we take on, so 7.4 on the gas. And I haven't found a better way to do this. Like, if you wanted to really fuel it, uh, like I said, you can go to the fuel panel and do the fuel. Like I like to do. Like I gotta come over here and uh, I like to do it this way because this is like the this this fuel panel is actually on the aircraft. You'd open this up. We bring this up to seven thousand. They're requesting seven four, but if I was fueling, I'd give you a couple about a hundred hundred more pounds. About right there. That's what I would do. Boom. Let's get the gas going. All right. All set. Flap is going to be eight. Runway out of here. Probably on six. We just took off on. Cell temp. I'm going to leave it. We're going to leave it. I don't know the trim yet and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and get that going. And what we're going to do is going to call up our sim brief. And we'll download everything in a sim brief. Time check coming in at 8.35, and we got to leave 9 o'clock, is it? 9 sharp. Shoot. 20 minutes. Plenty of time. No one's worried. Okay, we're going to go to our index. Pause in it, and we're going to go ACK. Hopefully, I can get up, go into the terminal, hit the restroom really quick. And... Next page, pretty much all the same. North 41 coming in, drop that in there, that's good. Flight plan coming in, we are Kilo A-C-K to Kilo I-S-P. Routes coming in there, execute that. We'll go ahead and check it all out right now. Legs page coming in, A-C-K to Bent. Now I'm just going to go to my flight plan just to make sure we've got it. 
We've got ACK top client SEY, Ben SEY right there. Then we go Jordan, Hampton, top of descent, Calverton, and then we're in probably going to be, we'll have to figure that out when we get there. So good to go on that. Legs are good. We've got the progress page already entered. We already did our MFD menu, so uh, uh, we're, we're set. We got VNAV and the other guys good on the right side as well. Radio set index coming in. The only thing that we do have to change is our. Hold on. Uh, VNAV. That's what we need to change. It's really high. Obviously, we're not going to cruise this high. 0.6 is what we're going to cruise at. So I'm assuming it's 270 again. Slant 0.6. Zero, we're gonna dump it in there. Hey man, what are you talking about? Oh, there's two there's two slants, that's why. Drop that in there, we're gonna click execute, same over here on the cruise. Drop that, execute, come over here, and I'm just gonna change this to uh two seven zero on the descent. Execute. That's done. Pref coming in. We've got 67 passengers, cargo of 28, fuel 744. Uh, flight cruise altitude 18,000. We have to change that. 18,000. That's 1,800. And you could have done flight level FL 180. So you can do this too. And that would take it. Just like that. Okay. So alternate cruise 17.0 fuel. I've got that. I just want to make sure my paperwork says 61. Yes, 61. Let's go ahead and board them. And we're going to get our clearance. What right, we get the boarding process going. Boarding boarding completed. Let's go ahead and request boarding right now. Click on flight. I've got to set this up. It's, it's we're set up for um for gate one so we wouldn't have a bus really we just go right from the gate here okay flight time 30 i'm gonna say flight time 50 minutes time till takeoff it's about 25 minutes cruising altitude 18,000 feet next nope 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 yes we're not gonna serve drinks we're not serving meals next we're boarding flight plans coming in fetch from the server click ok Come on, what do you mean? Oh, that's why. I have to do two things. I have to disconnect, reconnect, and then I have to go 5202. Connect. File the flight plan. We're going to fetch from the server. Connect. Connect. ACK to ISLIP. Flight plan filed. Boston Center is still online. So we've got everything set up. We'll execute really quick. Go to the legs page. I like that. Guess what the pilot's going to do? I'm going to hit the terminal. Well, actually, I would just hit go to the back of the aircraft before they started, and then I would start. i just go to the bathroom there. 30, I won't even go in the terminal. There's not enough time. 3785. That's the cool thing about the CRJ. It's built for this. I didn't know if you knew that, but it is. 7570. Good. Gate Bravo ACK. All right, Jason. Stop doing paperwork, dang it. All right, let me go. I think it's Notability. That is Notability, yes. He says, what app do you use for annotating your PDFs? I've been trying to find one that fits my needs for a while. I love Notability. It's one of my favorite apps. I use it all the time, especially when we fly like this. Um, you can see what we've done. I'm going to get outside the aircraft here, and I'm going to say, excuse me, folks. We're going to go ahead and uh, walk in the terminal. How's that? Let's go to the terminal. We can't see anything in the terminal, but it's still cool to go. And you can see right here, Nantucket. That's pretty cool. I like it. Pretty good for freeware. All right, folks, I'll be right back. I'm going to go hit the restroom. I'm going to walk in the terminal, hit the bathroom, come out, and then we'll uh, get the airplane going. And, yes, we got to be on time. <laughs>
Here we go, folks. All right, one question I have for you. If we provided you some value, do me a favor and hit the uh, subscribe button if you haven't yet. We want to provide value in this channel. We do it right. We learn something. We have fun. That's what we're about here. On the Flight Sim Broadcasting Network, we're going to be flying the NHL Rangers. we got some charters coming up, lots of charters for the hockey season. Okay, I'm strapped in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, reset everything. Let's go to the overhead panel here. Let's do our flows really quick. We got an op left boost pump. We're going to have to throw that on right now just because we're going to start everything. Nav's good. Logo's off. Everything else is good. Hydraulics coming on. on auto, auto. Crew, I'd like to welcome you aboard our flight. Okay, we are going to come up one, two, it's going to be about 100 feet, that's good, Cal's off, windshield's coming on, low probe's coming on, uh, seatbelt sign. Okay, 7,500, that's coming off, flip it off, shit, if you are seated in an emergency exit row, please read the exit seating responsibilities in the safety card in the seat back. Okay, good you. here, good sure here, 67, 30, 8, 19, required. did we say? If you are not able or prefer no. not to perform these Let's actions, change it. please let a flight attendant know so you can be reseated. Now's the time to get out any last minute text messages if you need to, but we ask that once we depart from the gate, you put away any laptops or tablets. Thank you and welcome aboard. Okay, 1801. 39.45, so I'm going to shove it all the way in there. I do like uh, 39.45 all the way in the back. Enter that. Our fuel load is going to be right around 70. What do we say? 74? It's right now as we have 75.70. I'm going to enter there. Click set the payload to sim. All right. Our trim is 5.7 on the trim. Let me go ahead and show you the paperwork here. We got to get all this paperwork done. So trim 5.7. Our V speeds coming in at uh, 132, 132, 142. Full power today. We're not doing any reduced, nothing like that. I'll give you a good here weather brief. I mean, a good briefing here in a minute. Hopefully I could get there. Okay. Temperature is 68. All right, and then our clouds are overcast, of course. Hey, Sean, if you're around, if. Uh, let me, uh, you know what? So if you guys do a METAR, you can find what the METAR is for this airport. I'm just going to tell you right now. Right now it's 10012. Visibility is 10 statute miles and clear skies. Same what we came in. 3001. Runway 6, Gate Bravo, shoot, Gate Bravo 2, Oil Corny Hydraulics, good, I'll, I'll check all that, but that looks good, and then last, everything up there looks good, that's all filled out, ready to go, all right, folks, we're ready, let's go and get our clearance, Boston 134.7, Let's go to radio again. I'm going to pull up 134.7. Actually, turn one. I should just fly heading 120. Let's hear that puts you. 120 and descend and maintain 4,500. All right, heading 120, 4,500 for flight 225. KR 3099, contact Brawley approach 123.95. Descending via the Deer Park 3, our nav arrival, sending to flight level 270. Chaplain 433, Boston Center, cross Deer Park, got to maintain flight level 190. Cross to maintain Deer Park 190. We call them up. United 1458, descend and maintain flight level 210. Descend and maintain flight level 210, United 1458. 
Call him up right now. Maybe not. One three nine Papa, clear to right wounds, climb and maintain five thousand, runway five, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, direct wounds, five thousand, one three nine Papa. Boston Center, rip time 5202 at uh, Nantucket, looking for IFR over to Iceland. Rip time 5202, clear to the Iceland Airport, as filed. Maintain 2000, expect follow 180, one zero minutes after departure. Departure will be on this frequency, squawk 3435. Okay, has filed up to 2,000, 3435 in the box, riptide 5202. With service to New York, our flight Delta 5370, Boston Center, descend and maintain, flight level 240. We ask that you make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your larger devices are... Delta 5370, descend and pause discretion, maintain, flight level 270. ...and verify it is low and tight across your lap. Your tray tables and seatbacks must be in the full upright and locked position for departure. Flight attendants, please prepare... Jet Blue 2184. All right, so we've got uh, 2,000 on the altitude. Delta 525 straight ahead. Straight on up. Charlie to the parking, and you can use Tango as well. Have a good one. Okay, we didn't, uh, he didn't say okay, clearance parking. is correct, so we've got to kind of wait. Uh, I've got uh, 849. I'm ready to go. American 1937, contact Boston approach 133.0. Why are they still learning bags? You've got to be kidding me right now. Can't believe 2184. Does that a game crash going cancel I didn't understand a word of that. Say again. Uh, we just had a game crash. Please go and cancel IFR. Oh, okay. Have a good one. Yeah. Let's do a quick rock around here. I'm hoping that... Uh... Pro Flight 225, Fox President heading, join the localizer. Descent and maintain 2000. I hate this mouse. Chris it's all goofy. Pro Flight it's all goofy. All right, looking over here, I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four on the statics. Engine's looking good. You'd have your ear protection in right now because it's so loud here by the EPU. Tires look good. We didn't dent flat spot. You is fourteen fifty eight. You may see traffic holding over the seat. Good. Clear maintaining follow a one nine or zero no factor. All right, the trim looks good. Position lights look good. Elevators looking good. Rudders looking good. Yeah, forty fifty eight. No, that's actually not at all what I said. I said you will see traffic bags. holding over seats at flight level one nine or zero. There no factor for you. Maintain flight level two one zero. Good on the wings. Right, here we go. We'll Come on, folks. There's not that many bags. Holy cow! What is there? Thank you. Katari fourteen. Leaving the airspace. Radar service terminated. Frequency change approved. Okay, that, that guy's got still loaning bags in the front. November 7, uh, correction number 5, 7, Charlie Alpha, contact Cleveland Center, right, 100, looking good 18, here. 7, 1987, have a good one. Uh, all right, we're coming up here. It's all goofy. This whole thing is goofy. What's the center? JetBlue 165 is back. JetBlue 165, Roger, right, thanks. See? Like, up is down, left is right. It, it's just annoying. Profile Look at that cabin. Beautiful, isn't it? Here, one one miles from right. Foves, maintain 2,000 or above until established. How's the, the new CDU working? Gary, it's, I love it, man. Approach. It's working really good. Maintain 2,000 or above until established clear dial at runway 5, for flight 225. All right, let's go like this. We're going to click reset. Reset and... United 735, you on this frequency? I think we can make it out of here. And by the way, what's up with GSX? Do I have to reinstall a stupid thing? Because it's I've got pink textures. I've never seen that before. I think we can make it out. We can make a turn over here, and we'll be fine. We don't need any uh, tow bar for this. We'll close it up. You know, at 1458, traffic no factor. Descend via the J-2 arrival for runway 4 right. Boston altimeter 3003. Okay, coming in here. Aircraft coming up. We're going to go ahead and click. Closed. 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 Envoy 2319, contact Cleveland Center, 119.87, so on. What CDU is this? I'm using a, um, a new CDU down here. Maybe you can see it right here. This is an iPad, and I've got my CDU, and I've got all three of my aircraft. i got a 737, this aircraft, and then uh, the MD-80. So all my all three aircraft that we fly, I have it on the CDU. It's really yeah, nice. Yeah, it's 1472 Boston Center. Hello, uh, 
Yeah, it looks like you're going to just be with me for such a short amount of time. You can monitor advisory. Yeah, I figured. But I contact you. Uh, 391472. Thanks, anyway. Uh, yeah, thanks for the call. Store. We're ready to go here. Yep. 853, I'm ready to roll. Doc on 2150. After Checklist coming in. Or actually, upon reaching seats, you're required to Logbook set, airport, crew. Oh, shoot. Let me just get this upon going. seats, we're required to, the, uh, to Boston by the uh, JFN2.com 2150. Red flight C25, the wind uh, 170, 80, 90, 100. Boston, yeah. Center, November, Fox, on the ground, press Q, clear, only one nine, and we'd like for you to cancel Perfect. our IFR flight plan. Okay, coming Fox, in, Beacon's on. Uh, I'm not going to start the engines yet. Uh, <laughs> thank you, sir, and thank you for your service. Have a great evening, November, HR, 3, 2, Fox. O2 is good, park break is set, fuel quantity is verified. Altimeters are set, yeah, park break is complete, cast is set. What is this guy dog barking about? Jeez. She she like wants to come in and then when she comes in she's like, Oh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> so I had my my son just fed her, so that's good. What? If I let you in, I'm not letting you out. You're stuck. <laughs> Should I let her in? Uh, SRQ back also Jason good it was it was a crazy week but it was good hang on just uh, just a minute Boston Center Riptide 5202 we're uh, clear to start Riptide 5202 Sega are we clear to start I don't are you asking me if you can start your engines I don't control that I know yeah, I just want to make sure the uh, the clearance was was good on the readback. Oh, I'm sorry. If I didn't tell you already, your readback was correct, and uh, and uh, you can expect runway six if I was ready to taxi. Sorry about that. No, you're good. Readback correct. We'll expect runway six. Rip type two zero two. All right, I gotta get this dog. I'll call to descend via the J Fun two arrival for runway four right. Boston altimeter right is uh, three zero zero three. Descend via J Fun. Two four right altimeter three zero zero three dot com twenty fifty. American twenty four sixty Connect Washington Center one three three point seven two. One three three point seven two American twenty four sixty. Yeah, seven thirty five Boston Center. Boston Center, you have 735, would you? Yeah, 735, Boston Center, hello to Center Maintain, level 230. Center Maintain, level United 1458, contact Boston approach 133.0. Contact Boston approach 33.0 for United 1458. Yeah. My dog. That's my dog for you. Let her in. I just got Black Shepherd. <laughs> nice. They're awesome dogs. All right, folks, we're ready to go here. Let's get out of here. We're we're still on time. I got 8:57. Perfect. 
Flight 225, a warm welcome to Burlington, Vermont. Where do you part tonight? Thanks much, and uh, head to Heritage tonight for Flight 225. Pro Flight 225, straight ahead to parking. Good night. Straight ahead to parking, Pro Flight 235. Thanks for out. Okay, folks, if you're a YouTube member in the chat right now, um, if you hit shoots on, you should see a parachute icon. Go ahead and put Boston that on. We're going to go ahead and start up. FedEx 1039. Okay, let's go ahead and fire up. 1039, Boston Center. Climb and maintain. Flight level 360. Those are on. Here Climb we go. We're going to start the right one first. Push FedEx 1039. I have 13 months GSD. He's going through one to two year old Velociraptor stage. <laughs> Makes me laugh. I have two new poos and they're huge. 20. And she's like, oh, yeah. She likes to bark and I love her to death, though, but she's like. Funny. All right. White needles. Here we go. We got a good start. Number two. And we're going to leave it on one engine for now, and then we'll start it off when we get uh, sure Juliet. Jetboy 433, affirmative cross Madison, out of maintain 1 1000. The Bradley altimeter is 299 or 8. Trip 5 7 in the trip. In the event of a loss of cabin pressure, an oxygen mask will drop in front of you. Set the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you, and place it firmly over your nose and mouth. Secure the elastic band behind your head and touch And Boston Center, Delta 58 with you, climbing out of flight level 33, uh, 130 for 140. Delta 58, Boston Center, climb and maintain. And let's see, do you want to do 330 or 350 for direction flight? Give me 350 for Delta 58. Delta 58, climb and maintain, follow level 350. Three five zero for Delta fifty eight. A life vest is located in a pouch under your seat or between the armrests. Dot com twenty one fifty. Contact Boston Approach one three three point zero. Good night. All right, let's go. Boston Approach for dot com twenty fifty. Have a good one. To inflate the vest, pull firmly on the red cord only when exiting the aircraft. Breaks off. Automatically, you may blow into Nine o'clock even. I gotta write that down. The vest is equipped with a whistle and a light. If you need to, your seat cushion can be used as a second. Okay, let's go. Device. Please make sure to exit the aircraft as soon as possible and leave your belongings. Once again, all devices must be in airplane mode. And um, must go be ahead and check. Security. It's probably going to be runway 6 for plan. Via the J -Fun to, uh, uh, correction, descend via the Ocean 5 arrival. Runway 4 right, Boston altimeter 3003. I remind you that this is a non-smoking flight. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the smoke detectors located in the lavatories is prohibited by law. All of this information can be found in the safety card located in the seat back in front of you. Please read it and let a cabin member know if you have any questions. Thank you for flying with us again, and we hope you enjoy your flight. APU's coming off. Power fuel's off. Alright, we'll see you later, Nantucket. That's probably the last Delta Nantucket flight of the year. Probably approach one, two, three point nine or five. Because we won't be back here until the summer. Probably approach on one, two, three point nine or five. Um, are you guys in chat, if you want to check the weather in United Islip. 735, descend via the Roebuck 3 arrival, runway 4 right, Boston altimeter 3003. Go ahead and um, via the Roebuck 3 arrival, uh, hit, the, um, hit the exclamation point, METAR Kilo ISP, and I will be right back. Bus Center, FedEx 1273 Heavy, crossing 11,000 one, one, for 14,000. FedEx 1273, Bus Center, climb and maintain, flight level 340. 340 for FedEx 1273 Heavy. 
Hey, I'm Boston Jeff with 433. The frequency you gave me is just leading me to an automated weather uh, thing for bar borrowing tips. It's 123.9 or 5. Is that not working? 123.9 or 5 is not working. I'm just giving us an automated weather. What weather station is it? From the flight deck, we are starting our really check it. to out of the uh, Nantucket Airport here. I show about a 30-minute trip. It might be a little bit bumpy down low as we get closer to New York. Should be smooth in the cruise. Once again, thanks for flying the uh, watching the flight sim broadcast network. Sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. Thanks. All right, we're going to head to fire up uh, number one. Okay, you ready? Let's start number one. Number one, come to start. Tip was 44 for flight in the airport. We're getting automated weather for our mass frequency. Okay, we got a good start. We would look at the H... Uh, Uh, we got good pressures there as well. Fuel's in. Cleared on the right. Number one three on November Papa contact Boston approach one three three point zero. One three three point zero. Oh, right in. Good uh, start. Sorry, Jeff Lou, four thirty three second. Packs are on. Yeah, it's just giving us Wellington airport information and Bradley. Okay, I don't know what the problem is, but other aircraft have been able to contact him with no problem on 123.9 or 5. So that must be a problem on your end. You'll have to turn on the volume and use text or figure it out because I, I don't, I, uh, no one has ever had that issue before. Uh, Two good starts. Manual override. Well, Senator, very good evening. TBM 850, what's your level 250? November A50 Whiskey Hotel, Boston Center, Roger. Flap set eight. Triple 165. You're leaving my airspace. New York, uh, sorry, Moncton Center is closed. Radar After start, fuel check. So Anti-ice is off. Rudders, the anti-ice is good to go. Uh, We've got uh, uh, probes and windshield on. Okay. Nose wheel steering is arm. Thrust reversers are on. CAS is verified. Taxi, flaps, takeoff data, and trim is set. The only thing is, we don't have a takeoff. That's what I'm saying. We don't have a takeoff config OK, which is a little odd. Uh, that's OK. Shoots coming on, buddy. Shoots in the chat. If there's any members, YouTube members right now, there's an emoji. Go and throw the shoots on. I want to see shoots on, folks. This is my parachute. That's what this is. I'm putting my parachute on. Got last time. I'm not going to forget this time. We're all set. Okay, good to go. Checklist is complete. Four takeoff. Takeoff config checked. We've done that. Takeoff fuel quantity balance. Uh, we're good on the fuel. We have 7.4 in the tanks. And we need less than that. So we're good to go. Cross feed is on manual. Flight controls are checked. Takeoff briefing is complete. Same thing as last time. There we go. I've got to get those parachutes working in the chat. <laughs> I think next week we'll have a little more. Uh, a Monday we'll have a better one for you. Boy, for freeware, this is really good. I'm, I'm not kidding. This is really nice. Uh, really quick on the flight controls just to make sure we've got our stuff set. One, two, up, down. Trim is good. Rudder and aileron are set. Sats coming in, doors closed. Boston Center, Riptide 5202, holding short, runway 6, ready to go. Riptide 5202, proceed on course, climb and maintain 10,000, runway 6, clear for takeoff. On course, climb to 10,000, clear for takeoff, runway 6. 10,000, he cleared us, that was nice. We'll proceed on course, so right after we take off, we're going to go ahead and turn... Uh, to the correct heading, and I'm actually going to go to, we're going to depart 
and make a left turn on course. How's that? Okay, lights are on. We're good to go. Everybody's okay. Your strobe's coming on. Pink. We have 5G AMOC. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Climb check. And toga. Set. Takeoff thrust is set. We are rolling. 80 knots on the cross check. V1, VR, get a lot of rudder in there. There we go. Okay, pilots are ready to climb. Gear up. We'll see him in later. Turn on course, he said. Speed, 1,000. Here we go. Speed up. Let's go and roll it. 200 feet. Clamp thrust is set. 10 degrees on the nose. Clamp thrust set. Flap one. Beautiful right there. The thing about this aircraft is you can overturn this, overbank it, flaps up really quick. And Boston Riptide 5202 out of uh, 2800 for 10. Riptide 5202, I observe a primary target over Nantucket. Just make sure your transponder is in the trolley, please. Sorry about that, it is now. Riptide 5202, thanks for the contact. Climb and maintain, flight level 180. Okay, 180 on the climb, Riptide 5202. Dang it, Pyrep denied. <laughs> Screwed it up. What a pretty airport. Pretty, pretty place, this thing. Okay, 18,000 speed hold. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and increase our speed now. I'm going to accelerate 240, 250 on the speed. And we're going to go nav set. And we are climbing here. Navigation is set. We're going to bent first. For 850 Whiskey, Whiskey, you will, uh, sorry, Whiskey Hotel, rather. You will be flying, flying through area of moderate to extreme on. precipitation for the next 75 miles if you need to be advised. I will let you know. Uh, it looks like it's all below us. Okay, good. That's good enough. Thanks. Nose off. Recogs are on. Those three are good. All right. All right. Let's look at the weather radar just in case. As we're accelerating, we're climbing 18,000. Climb check. Here we go. I'll show you folks a little bit of Nantucket, maybe. Nope. We're gone. It's over. There it is. Way down there. <laughs> See you, Nantucket. Until next year. We are done. All right. Here we go. Uh, let's see. After takeoff, gear and flaps are up. Fuel cross feed is auto. Bleeds are on. There, Thrust is set. Flip. Thrust reversers are Delta off. 50, yeah, Climb check complete. Like to step away for about five ten minutes. We're getting bounced around pretty that's good. Yeah, that's folks. Cruise report back. We'll go. That's why you keep your harness on. When you get ten thousand feet, we'll call them. Let the flight attendants know that we passed through ten thousand. They can't do anything though, so we would we would already call the flight attendants and said do not serve on this because it's such a short flight. There's no no service, and we would have told the passengers to. So I'm going to take my harness off, my parachute, just this one. Dang it. We keep our lap belts on, though, because it's bumpy. This is such a fast flight. I am going to check the, the, the radar. And we'll see... How we do on that? That's off. All right, I'm going to show you the radar here just shortly, and see what's going on. 
Jason, what's your thoughts on the ATR? Um, I mean, it's okay. United 735, contact Boston approach 133.0. Good day. 133.0 for United 735. Thank you very much. Have a good night. We're getting bounced around pretty good, folks. It's uh, turbulence out here. You can see we're just passing Martha's Vineyard right there off the, the wing here. That's Martha's Vineyard. Martha's Vineyard, as they call it. Uh, what's your thoughts on the throttle tech? The, I really want to get the throttle tech. I want to check that out. That would be a, a good one to, to check out and have have a go at. That'd be pretty fun. The reason why we're we're we're, we're holding two five zero is because we're bouncing around pretty good. Uh, so when we get that through that fifteen thousand, we could accelerate just a little bit, which I am going to do right now. So we're just going to have to pull it down just about two sixty. You don't want to go above turbulent penetration speed on this aircraft, so on any craft, aircraft for that matter. Flaps are up. That's good. We're looking at, uh, we got to get going on our descent very shortly. We're looking at 22 minutes, folks, to Islip. That's how fast this is. Uh, did you give me a METAR yet? Well, no. It is FedEx 1039 heavy. Okay, let's go flights. We're going from 17 to 18,000 here. Go Coming ahead. up. I'm going to turn yeah, the lights off. Wait for about a few minutes. One, two, Back, three. Nine, okay. Uh, you'll be... Uh, how, how, how long are you stepping away? About four minutes. All right, let me know when you're back. Coming right. out. Looks like we're smoothed out right now. We're going to kind of accelerate a 280 and hold it. What's the departure time out of Islip? Um, it's a, it'll be, I believe it's right after we land. I, got, I, I don't have the schedule on me, but it's going to be pretty much right after we land. But 30 minutes. I'll have to look. How's that? I know we've got a break built in before we go to Portland, but I don't know where. i got to pull that throttle back just a little bit. I'll find it for you, though. How's that? And how do you know about 5G AMOC? Are you a are you a uh, dispatcher? <laughs> We're looking for one. Dang it! I've got to get. I, I I have this dispatcher. He applied. He's a real world dispatcher. Uh, and we just can't. We yeah, can't get. We just can't get our schedules aligned. Which sucks. Proceed right, Roebuck. Roger. Maintain follow two one zero and proceed direct to Roebuck for Jeffrey one eight. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, airport. We're going to go ice slip weather. I'll write up the weather for you, folks, so you can see what I'm doing. Weather in ice slip right now is reporting the following. All right, weather in ice slip is 100 at 05, so it's looking like we're going to go on 6 here. Uh, nine statute miles. We have six overcast at 500. Temperature 20 over 19. Dew point is 3295. Runway 6. No auto brake on this aircraft. Landing distance here in Islip. I think it's like 7,000. Yeah, it's 7,000 feet. So we'll throw that there. Ref coming in at... Sorry, take uh, care of a couple of issues. Brickyard, where are you coming from? Ref's at 138. Uh, 57.31, flight level 290. Um, Flap's going to be 45. Okay. Brickyard, 57.31, Boston Center, right? Okay. So we'll set up for the ILS-6. It's going to be an ILS overcast at 500 feet, so let's go ahead and get that uh, pulled in for us. We're going to click in uh, hide that. We are going to go flights. We are going to unload this. We're going to import the flight from the brief, pull it in, and that's what we're doing right now. We're going to go to SEA to Jordan, HTO to Calverton. We're going to fly the ice slip 6 approach. 
So we'll probably go southbound. We're probably not going to have, uh, it doesn't look like we'll have, they'll probably dump us off right before there, and we'll have to vector ourselves in. But right from Calverton, we can fly this procedure turn. We won't. We'll kind of just vector ourselves in and then flip it. Because we're going to hit, like, you, you, sir, and then we'll have to do this procedure turn. But that's if we were flying it published. <laughs> but we're not. Uh, Sean says, did you say what the CDU app name is? I had to step away for a few minutes. Oh, I forgot. I think it's a Ava, Ava something. Ava, how about AVIA server? It's Ava, Ava.com. Check that out. Or Ava CDU. If you type in Ava CDU, you'll see it. All right, folks, let's go ahead and speaking about CDUs, let's go ahead here. And let's see what we've got. We've got um, our arrivals, and we're going to be... Reptile 5202, descent up pilot's discretion to maintain 8,000. Kennedy the altimeter, 29 or 9 or 4. Okay, 8,000 on the altitude, Riptide 5202. All right, so we we could fly the 1-5 RNAV, but let's see what that is going to do for us in terms of ceilings. Uh-uh, it's too close. 414 feet, I don't like that. <laughs> the ceilings are a 500. I want an ILS approach so I can get in there a little bit. Um, I'll take the ILS 6 or 24, looking at 100. So if we were to think, go information and runways. If we take 24, we got a 3 knot well, tailwind. Is, uh, Let's take runway 6. It's a 4 knot crosswind, it's nothing. Eight thousand feet, we are cleared. We'll start our descent here shortly. Um, you see, it says forty-nine nautical miles, but he's giving us a descent at our discretion. So I think we could. I don't want to be high and fast, so we could take runway six. I don't know what runway he's going to give us, but I, I would like runway six. Uh, it'll put us where we need to be on the ILS. We could get down to 200 feet with no HUD on this one. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. You are good for an SA Cat 2 with your AMOC compliance. For, for the turn, any delay passing 06 will get you stuck in ISLIP. Takeoff minimums one statute mile. Well, we're gonna have to take off. Let me. Uh, do we need a corporate pilot? No, we don't, John. Sorry, man. Um, one one big thing about that. Are you looking? How would you? It, would you apply to be a dispatcher? You know what you're talking about. <laughs> if you want to, we'd love to have you on. It'd be awesome. Contact Washington Center one three three point seven two. Well, the problem is, better. if we did an SA, this has got to be approved for Autoland. I don't think it is, is it? We do have a HUD. We don't have a HUD in the aircraft. I mean, we're simulating that we don't have a HUD. So I'm going to start a descent right now. I don't want to get caught. So Better. let's go. Vertical speed. Yes, here we go. All the way down. 133.72 for FedEx 1273 Heavy. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this in there. i got to set my minimums really quick. Couple 118, descend via the Roebuck 3 arrival. Runway 4 right, Boston altimeter 3002. <coughs> I did descend via the Roebuck 3 arrival. On this, and the 737, we would we would be able to shoot zero, zero, two, an SA approach, but I, I don't think we can without a, contact Boston approach, a HUD. Um... Fair care 5732, descend via the Roebuck 3 arrival, runway 4 right, Boston altimeter 3002. 2 9 or 5, sorry, 2 9 or 9 or 5. 2 9 or 9 or 5. Send me the Roebuck 3 uh, 4 right, 3 uh, I gotta think what I'm doing. Here we go. Nope, don't want that. 5202, leaving my airspace. New York approach is closed. Radar service terminated. Frequency change approved. Hey, thanks for the services. We'll see you in a bit. Uh, Riptide 5202. Delta 58, leaving my airspace. Moncton's closed. Radar service terminated. Frequency change approved. All right, frequency change. We're on our we're on our own essentially. We're handed off uh, on the dark side. What are we doing? Whoop. 
We'll see if you have some sort of tech pubs and or version of off specs. We do have an off specs. We have, we have off specs for sure. But I don't think we have it in the 737. But we could do a cat one approach. If we had the HUD, we could do a cat, cat, you know, SA cat two or three. <laughs> but, you know, on this aircraft, we're going to simulate we don't have one. So we're kind of stuck with a cat one approach on this. You can't do it. I don't think this done, does an auto land. So we're kind of stuck. But we do. You're, it's interesting you mentioned that we do have. Um, op specs for the 737. It is approved for CAT 2 and 3 SA approaches. Which is cool. Right? Um, yeah, that, thank you. 80 Quartz has it right in the chat there. That's exactly right. Alright, so what we're going to do um, is has us going to the Hampton VOR and then up to Calverton. We're going to skip that. And we are going to go right into the heart of this thing. Looks like they're looking for radar. Now we're pretty much over the buildups, if there was any buildups right now. Uh, we're going to fly the ILS-6. Uh, we're not going to go Calverton. We're just going to take vectors. So after Hampton, what we'll do is we're going to fly... We're going to kind of skip Calverton, so we're not going to fly there. And we're going to go not to form Moo. I don't want that either. Yoser. We can fly to right to Yoser. It's going to be tight, but we'll vector ourselves in. It's just going to cut a few minutes off of our route. So after that, we'll execute. And I just kind of cleared that out right there. Now, by doing that, you know, over Hampton, we're going to be 2-9 or 9 or 5. That's what we said. Yeah. Okay, descent checklist coming up here. i got to do my flows, and then we'll descend. Okay, we're coming in. That's good. Landing lights are on. I'll throw the nose on. Taxi recogs on. And everything else good to go here. <clears throat> And honestly, folks, if you want to apply, please do so. If you want to fly for us, definitely try to apply. You'll need uh, 200 hours. If you want to fly, you need 200 hours ver verified VAT sim. And then um, we could invite you to fly a couple of approaches or one approach. you got to film it. All right, after take, uh, excuse me, descent, pressurization checked, altimeter set, landing data is complete. Approach briefing complete. We already talked about what we're doing. Uh, and then... Good to go. I'm actually going to go ahead and set my reversers on right now. This is one of those things I always forget about when flying this bad boy. And we'll set that in our DH. we got to bring that up to uh, 200 feet. We're going to make life a little interesting here. Where are you? RA test, good. It worked. I like to see that. Coming down on the speed just a little bit. We're doing good. Hamptons, uh, 8,000 feet. Shoot's coming on. Through 10,000, you'd have to put this on. I forgot because I'm busy. That's what I'm saying. On this flight, you wouldn't even. My gosh, you would. Did I miss one? No, I missed one here. Yes. What are we at? Ten thousand. Okay, crossing through ten thousand. You let the flight attendants know what's going on. There we go. Got this stinking harness. It's a, it's just a good if you ever have, if you ever have these it's a good uh, habit to get into. <laughs> you put seatbelts on, <laughs> of course, in a simulator it really doesn't matter. But all right, we're good. Nine thousand feet. We're coming through eight thousand feet over Hampton. Uh, One hundred eight three. Looking at my legs page really quick. Yo, sir. Then runway six. 
and we have got to get uh, that set. Just want to make sure we've got ILS runway six dialed in, and we do. Okay, I'm just kind of taking a peek. You can see what we're doing there. Come on, DH, get up there. We're going to go uh, 200 feet now. Uh, Sean, do you can you do me a favor? Dang it. If Sean's still, can you look at the schedule and see when our next flight is? We, we've got to get out of here uh, because it might be an issue with takeoff for sure. 250 on the speed. That's where we are right now. Altitude capture coming in. We're going to keep our descent down to 1,600. Uh, about 3,000. Yep, that keeps us up above the MSA. And I'm going to keep doing this. Throttle coming up. I hate when this thing happens. I'm looking down, I'm looking over. I gotta start a descent. One eighty. One ninety. I gotta get it up to two hundred. There we go. Two hundred. Alright, there we go. Okay, speeds in. Over there, vertical speed. We might get a little bit bumpy stuff coming up. We'll start our descent right now. Looking good, about right there. I'll have to look at the site. Give me a few minutes. Yep, you'll be good. Should be fun. Yeah, with this, what, this flight? I don't know. The takeoff, it's going to be an issue if the, uh, I think at ice slip. Uh, folks, what they're saying is, you can't just blast off out of an airport. So if we look at, um, it's going to be in the takeoff section on the charts. And I'm going to show you what we're talking about if I can. I got to really prep for landing here. But um, I'm going to show you what he was talking about when he says, you know, we might have an issue with the departure out of here. So if we go to the taxi page and we go to the takeoff note and you could see runway six what do we need to take off as you look down here both rvrs are required or controlling what do we need to take off take off right here so you come down here and you would say okay we have center line lights or rclm these are lighting this is lighting adequate visual reference if you have that one to two engines you come over here and say okay we need one we need that. We need one. One nautical mile. If our op spec tells us something different, we're okay. Um, but, again, our op spec says we can take off with RVR down to 600 RVR. But that's with a HUD. <laughs> okay, so we don't have a HUD now. It kind of throws a wrench in a little bit. Uh, should be fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thib says, yeah, we're not spirit. <laughs> No, we're not. We are not spirit. We we do it by the book here. Ah, it's funny. We are not spirit, sir. <laughs> I love that. That's pretty. Yeah, I'm getting a little fast, Jace. Got to slow the speed down here. <clears throat> it's gonna be a fun approach, though, folks. It's 500 overcast. Uh, we've got uh, 200. Our Alternate is going to be Providence if we needed to. We can shoot into Providence uh, and then it'll really throw the schedule off. Let's hope it doesn't. We, we don't have that issue. Okay, so what we're going to do is kind of vector ourselves around. We know what we're going to do. We're going to kind of do an extended base leg. We got an MSA at 2,100 feet to the south. That's where we're going to be. Uh, airport elevation is 100, and we've got that set. If your op spec has lower than standard minutes for takeoff, you should be good to go based on the lower than standard requirements. That's true. And our op spec is, I think we can even go down to 300 on our op spec on departure, but that's using a HUD. That's the issue, right? So we're kind of stuck. 
because this aircraft doesn't have one. So what do we do, right? So I would definitely call dispatch and say, even our op spec says like, okay, so let me give you an idea. You know, this is a really good question because I just ran into this. We, we departed out of um, Albany two weeks ago. Visibility is crap. I mean, it was, the visibility was terrible. It was down to, you know, it was down. It was like, a, it was less than a mile, right? I think it was a like quarter mile or something like that. Now, according to the chart, we didn't have the visibility to go. Okay, this is an A320, no HUD. And then we blast it off. So I think the op spec can overrule as long as your centerline lighting or whatever your op spec says. I think we're good. I think we're good to go with that because I'm like, okay, we are definitely under like what I just showed you. So if we're under a mile, we still can go. And I'll show you folks what our op spec says when we land. I'll show you the op spec. Uh, so I think we're okay. Yeah based on the lower than standard requirements. And, and remember, when we wrote the manual, it was written for a 737 with a HUD. So maybe we install HUDs on this airplane. Maybe we say, you know what? We do have a HUD on it. And now we could fly whatever. We could fly category... Uh, yeah, that ain't going to work. There we go. This HUD is kind of wonky. I didn't simulate one, but we'll just pull it up for now. I like simulating the fact that we don't have one. We do on the 7.3s. Can we get a little closer? What I'm going to do is turn that downwind leg and just kind of vector us in. There's 3,000. 2,900 coming up. That's perfect. we got to get down to 16 on the inbound course, so... Not too bad. Um, what's it's supposed to be under? Yeah, does that HUD on the CRJ work? Or is it just a basic one? I, you know, what's a good question, uh, Oatmeal. We could... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I could set it up. It looks like it might work. There it is. You know, how about we, we take off? Let's take off with it and see if it works. How's that? All right, heading select, here we go on the downwind. Now we're going to start our descent down to 1,600. And does somebody want to get me speed? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're good. I'm just going to start a slow descent there. There we go. Uh, Islip International Airport is going to be... Somebody want to do a METAR for me in the chat so I can see it? I think I just found out. 10.30 p.m. Okay, so right now it's 9.36. We've got about, when we're down on the ground, we're looking at 40 minutes. So, uh, 40 minutes flight time. And I, I apologize. Dang it. You guys got to tell me this is not set. <laughs> There we go. 5202. Here comes the speed. Now it's set. Okay, we're flying a downwind. Let me call him up. Islip traffic, Riptide 5202 on downwind runway 6. Islip, uh, 10 out. We got the blue needles hooked up. So what we're going to do is actually going to go to the nav source now and get rid of that. And we're just going to go localizer you can see that and then course I'll set my course at zero five and nine that's my heading no 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 that's heading back there we go old school flying folks old school flying Thank you, Sean. I appreciate you, man. All right, what do we got? One zero zero seven knots, nine miles visibility, same as last time. Thrust coming in. Two. Where did we say on the course was uh, zero five nine? Good. 
Uh, looking at south side of Long Island here, it's beautiful. Probably Smith's Point area. Look at those low clouds. Oh, nice and foggy. You would expect this here in New York because of the... It's getting to fall, and when fall in, in the coastal areas like this, you expect a lot of this sea fog that rolls in at night with steel air. You kind of get that in New York, and Long Island's notorious for this. I used to fly out of here a lot. So I know we And same with um, Nantucket, by the way. It was the same thing. All right, we're going to come down just a little bit, get down to that 1600. Heading select. Here we go. Yusuf, sir. We'll start slowing down the aircraft right now. We're going to swing it in at 1,600 feet. Flaps coming in. Slow down to 160, 180 on the speed. All right, here we go. Flap. Eight. Vertical speed dropping down a little bit more. There we go. Out captures coming in, 1900. What's the time round trip? Oh, you're in uh, Southampton. What's the time of round trip, you said? Boy, this is going to be an ugly. Get her down there. All right, let's do this. Heading select. Speed's coming in. I got to get about a 30 degree push uh, right there. Slow it down, bring it up. Kick that range in. That's a good, good intercept. We're at 1600 feet. Here come the throttles. Uh, temperature is 18 degrees. We're still good. I didn't talk about the de-icing. Sorry, I didn't get a chance to. Set. Once we hit you, sir, we're going to start our descent. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Flaps coming down 20, 160 on the speed. Get ready for the gear. This is all going to happen really fast. Gear coming down. Approach in. Heading select. Roll it in. I want a 30 degree hookup. All right, not too much. Where are you going, airplane? Jeez. Straighten her out. Don't be chasing needles on me. Okay, we're hooked up. Throttle's coming in. Flap 30. Speed's coming in. 140 on the speed. Just about right there. Okay, we're hooked up. Flap 45. Speed's checked okay landing checklist coming in gear down three green flaps 45 landing gear set okay there's 1200 feet i'm going to be on the gauges the whole time there's 1000 1000 set sink rate is 1000 wow. on the speed 142 Missed approach would be 600 right turn direct Calverton. I've got the airport in sight. Aircraft is mine. Here we go. Long Island traffic, riptide 5202 on final runway 6. Lights good, speeds good, reversers are on. Not too bad, slightly low. Correcting on the uh, correcting, correcting on the thrust and the descent profile. A little on the slow side. There we go. Good. Whoa. A little bit of a dump there. Just holding the altitude. There we go. We're visual now, folks, so I can do a duck under here. I know a lot of you are like, ugh. You're doing a duck under. 30, 20. Come on. 1,500 feet. Put it down. Nice. Okay, here we go. Two reversers in the hole, and we're extended. 
let the thing roll out. Maybe I can get off on that runway. 60 knots coming out of reversers on the brakes. Go taxi down this runway. Nobody's using it. We can do it. There we go. One five left. Here we go. Welcome to Islip, folks. Hi, right, coming up. We're going to taxi down here to Echo. You know what? I didn't get a dang. I'll do a replay. Um, we'll do a replay on our last leg. How's that? I didn't get the approach. I should have, unfortunately. <laughs> I was too busy. Well, we made it down. wasn't too bad. I mean, that's good. That's good. Here we go. Power fuel come and start. Doors open. Starting the APU. Welcome to Islip. Okay, Echo's coming over. We'll go ahead and turn down Echo. And now, again, a pilot's going to look at the clock and go, okay, what do we got? 9.44. Sean said we're due out of here at 10 something, right? So I'm going to try to hustle to the gate as fast as I can. So I don't have to. Uh, it's more time, you know, hanging out, not in the cockpit. <laughs> Honestly, to get up and stretch. All right, we're talking about gate Bravo 15. If I don't see it, so that's weird. Okay. I'm going to have to figure that out. Where's my gate? Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to shut down number one. Let me just finish this turn, and I'll close it down for you. 10.30, so I'm looking at the clock right now. We've got good time here. Good, good time. It's going to shut number one. Number one's idle. Sorry, folks. I'd want I want you to see the spool down, but I'm gonna I gotta taxi the aircraft. I'll get there in a, here in a minute. Let's go see it. Spool down. Coming up. Get out of my way, fire guy. There it goes. Look at how cool that view is. Pretty sweet. All right. Fire chief. <laughs> Dude's in my way. I'll try GSX one more time. Okay, APU is running. Now we are going to hook up ground power here. We'll stretch our legs. We'll look at the clock. And we'll call our dispatcher and get the, the briefing and all that stuff. And we'll deplane them. Brakes. Thrust levers. Pulled. Seat belts. Beacon is off. Those light taxi recogs. Seatbelts off. Well, welcome to Islip. We're going to go ahead and do our uh, shutdown flows and then get the aircraft ready to go over to Portland. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and just do this. One, two. That's cut off. On the overhead, beacon, good to go. Hydraulics off, two, three, four. Probes, I should have shut those off when I had the chance. Okay, well, that's good. All right, let's go ahead and get this uh, deboarding going. Throw the chocks in place. We're gonna go ahead and set the... Uh, click request deboarding. All right, now, just want to give you an idea. If you push this button, see how it's now it's in? Now you can shut the APU down, and that's in use, and we can throw the boost pumps off. All right. 
Let's open the doors. One last thing here, we're gonna come over and we can pop our brake. You can see how the temperature is zero one, so we gotta cool them. I mean, it's not that bad. Throw that to standby, brakes off, we're done. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, record the times. That's coming off. Hey, hey, Mello. Hey, what's going on? He says, hey, I'm from Brazil, congratulations. Hey, that's awesome. Welcome from Brazil. It's awesome. It's cool. I wonder what time it is. What time is it over there? 9.48 in. That was 48 minutes. I mean, exactly 48 minutes. We pulled out of that. We pushed out of that gate. Um, exact. All right. We're going to go ahead and click uh, this. That's going to file the flight for us. Now you heard that. I just heard the alert. We're going to come over here. I'll show you the paperwork, and then we'll start getting the second one going. I wish, I, honestly, I wish I had a dispatcher right now because I don't. I could just grab the packet, look, get the airplane ready to go, stand up, stretch the legs, which I'm going to do. This is going to be a late night, folks. It's just going to be a late night. we got two more legs to go before I put this thing to bed. 2710, 2725, zero in the center. We're looking at uh, 5435. Uh, station is Islip, aircraft number 100, Charlie Sierra, date 10-6-23. Don't know anything yet, uh, more than that. Let's go ahead and get the uh, paperwork all ready to go, and we'll get our next flight hauling. So Sean says we're due at 10-30. That's great. I just shut the APU down so we're not burning fuel because I don't like burning fuel. I'm a boomer. <laughs> I'm a Captain Boomer, I would be called. I'm one of those guys, that, especially when we have to pay for it. I'm like, don't burn the gas when we have... Ask my pilots, they know. They'll tell you. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing going. How's that? Uh, we are going to pull in our chrome... Let's go ahead and get this pulled up, and then we'll get the next airport ready to go. And I'll show you what we're going to do in the intranet. Now I'm not rushing as much. I mean, I still, we're still looking at uh, about 30, 40 minutes before we go, so that's good. We'll click this. All right, how did we how do we do on our dashboard here? We have 163. Did you guys see that on the on the descent? 163 was good. We're going to go click new flight. We are in. Portland now. We're going to go to 5203 is the next. Um, that, that's not the right one. This is the right one. This is this is the, the one I did yesterday uh, just to do a proving flight to see what it would take. We're going to Portland International Airport in Boston area. So we're going to click this plus key. It's going to add it to our bids. And you can see kind of what we're going to do. We're going to click my bids in here. And that will get us to, looks like a VFR day, maybe, over there. All right, there we go. We're going to create the sim brief. Now, I'm going to write some st some stuff down. And I'll do it with, with you so we can see. Flight number is 5203. We are departing Islip, going into PWM. Uh, departure time is 1030 local. Cancel that. 1030 Local time packs, don't know yet. So we're going to click Create Sim Brief. We're going to throw our aircraft in there, and there it is. So probably going to be none. We'll have to check that when we get a little closer. 10.30, we're looking at passengers, 68. Bag weight is uh, 21.76 with a cargo, 16.79. Total payload, 16.775. Comp fuel, 25 minutes on this one. Additional, we're going to add about 500 pounds just for contingencies. We are in the southwest and generate. The sim brief is going to be pulling up for us. And you can see kind of our paperwork. Man. And while that happens, I'm going to unload this. Click flights. 
unload. Okay. Into this. Let's go edit the OFP. And then just check Portland, and let's look at the weather here in Portland. We're looking at weather radar over the Portland area. It is probably... Ooh, shoot. Look at this coming in. Ooh, baby. That could affect us. All right, if we, if we delay too much, that might affect our flight. We'll see. Portland right now reporting. Yikes. All right, we're going to need an alternate. Three statue miles to Rizzle. One, three, zero at five. Two statue miles. Light showers and mist. Uh, what time is it right now? Folks, we're looking at uh, 324. By the time we take off, it's going to be about roughly four. So five. It's so about an hour flight. It'll be about five when we get there. So we're going to be pushing this range. Two satchel miles, light showers, mist, overcast before. We need an alternate airport. So we're going to need an alternate into Portland. We do fly to up to, um, we have an airport up here that we can service, that we do service, and that is going to be Bar Harbor. Now, I don't know if it's going to be any better, but that's where we would go for operational issues. Oh, yeah, that's good. I mean, it's overcast 1900 greater than 6. We, we've got that all day long. So we would, we'll schedule that as an alternate because that's operationally where we would go. We're probably going to be weight restricted on this one, just letting you know, uh, just because we had a lot of weight in the back, but we're probably going to have to pull that out. Good stuff, Captain Portland. We'll need an alternate regardless. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Uh, it's because, what, are they closed? I'm simulating time. I'm not simulating real time. I'm simulating time of the sim. Does that make sense? I know it's weird, but um, otherwise we'd always be closing. But yeah, we're going to need an alternate, and we're going to go to Bar Harbor, which is good. See what I mean? Like, if we had a dispatcher, they could just give us the, 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 the sheet, and they would... We're going to do it like you have office hours. So the dispatchers say, okay, I'm... These are my office hours today. I'll be available for three hours. And then if a pilot was like, yeah, I'm flying, flight, whatever, um, they could they could jump on and, and, and get us releases, which would be I think it'd be fun. That'd be pretty cool. All right. So we are going to throw a little bit of weather in there just for contingency. Uh, I'll take knock that extra off. I'll we'll put some weather fuel we're going to go minute minutes, and I want to do about 20 minutes of just contingency hold fuel, if you will. And then you would write down in here, you'd put, you know, something like that. Uh, the route's okay, kind of keeps us away from Boston. So it's pretty much straight up and then cutting the SOGS 3. It's just right here. Merit, um, they're saying the Sea Dog 4 arrival. Merit to Hartford and then the Sea Dog 4, that's okay. Kind of keeps us away from the weather a little bit, which is fine. Pops, you're still here. Yeah, it's, and that's, that's the reason you got it. And normally it'd be, you're right, it'd be closed, but because we're simulating the time of the schedule. That's kind of why. Looks like Merritt Hartford, um, we went up to the SOGS, the SOGS 4, we went right here. We could go this one, kind of takes us right in there. It's different because if we're going to be flying runway 1-1, it's probably better to go the other route. The Sea Dog arrival kind of puts us right into the runway 1-1. At least that's what we landed yesterday. So let's see what they're doing right now. It's probably going to be 1-1. One, one. Uh, yep, 1305. So that's going to be better for us than going up and then over and then around. So it's just kind of more direct, especially with 1-1 one, one, with that uh, runway. Okay, everything looks good here. If we are okay, you're okay. We've got to get a takeoff alternate out of this airport. So welcome to the wonderful world of... <laughs> of dispatching <laughs> we definitely need to take off so we're going to go portland uh we're going to go actually providence rhode island so it's got to be at least 50 miles away and you can see if we look at that weather ew, it's overcast four overcast seven overcast three yikes so i mean technically we have it six miles missed vicinity showers overcast four i don't like it that's not very good 
at uh, Providence here. Maybe we can go a little higher, or maybe we can throw like Hartford or something like maybe Bradley. Or even Boston, for crying out loud, right? Not IAD, a moron. It's got to be fifty. It's got to be fifty miles. What's Bradley saying? Bradley better. Overcast at six, right in this range. Overcast at a thousand. The Northeast is terrible right now. What about Boston? Does Boston give us that? Boston's way more than fifty miles away. I think it's. But that's at normal cruise. I don't know. Do we want the board filled? Yeah, I mean, even then, uh, let's just let's take Bradley. Bradley will work. BDL, it's good. Click find, and that's just basically we don't need extra. Why? Why are you doing that? We don't need any extra fuel. It's just saying what BDL, isn't it? Uh, they want us to go all the way to IED, which is way over here. Why would we do that? This is a takeoff alternate. This is not. Anyway, that's what we'll use. So if we had an engine out, that's what it's saying. We could fly to Bradley and be okay. It doesn't have to be. I mean, it's, it's right there. It's got to be. It's close. This one's a little iffy, but this one's good. Overcast at a thousand. We we got that. It's marginal. We can do it. All right, Bradley, it is. I'm making a decision. Uh, click generate. Let's get that going. Now you remember I said we're going to be limited by weight, and we are. So the only thing we're going to put in is 1760 now, because of the fuel we have to take. Right, so we got to take more fuel. We're going to have to have less bags and everything so 1760 we're dumping the cargo we don't need any cargo for this so we wouldn't take any cargo on this flight all right let's go view let's go view pdf and while i bring that up we'll get our paperwork done and get it ready to go okay i like to scroll down first as a matter of fact i annotate this so let's do our fuel figures first Minimum fuel required is 9.6. You see how heavy we are now? 10.1. We're going to take 10.1. It's on Jet A. We're on Bravo 15. Uh, so we're looking at 5. I was going to say 5.1. That'll give us 10.2. That's fine. I'm good with that. All uh, right, so 9.6, 10.1, 10.1, we're going to land with 6.9 on the fuel, plenty of gas in case, you know, the cap, you want captain's fuel, want a little bit of a pad there to help us. All right, now we'll do zero fuel weight and all our weights. And we'll get that going. I'll slide this over here so you can see what we're doing. So 60.1 on the zero fuel. We're at, we're almost full. Takeoff weight is 69.7 with a landing weight set at uh, 67. By the way, folks, if you're new to the channel, you want to do it right, learn something and have fun, do me a favor. Hopefully we provide some value for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for us. It's going to help us out. Uh, it gets us closer to our goal. Um, uh, people want to see me fly the Airbus, which I don't know why they would. <laughs> Now I'm going to be a fish out of water on that one. Probably worse than the than the MD-80. Uh, airport. What the heck? Airport is ISP. We're going to PWM. By the way, really cool scenery in Portland. You don't, you don't want to miss that. You want to stick around for that one. Bravo 15 out on the gate here. Time is probably going to be 1030. We've got to put our times in there. Oil quantities. We'll check our oil quantities today and our hydraulics after this run. Everything else is good. Looks like outbound runway six flaps are going to be eight and we'll probably do a 32 trim. Don't know yet. And I don't know where speeds. Let's go ahead and jump in 
I'm good with that. If you're good with that, everybody's okay and comfortable. Penn, how are you, my friend? Can we get more direct route, which would give us less trip fuel, and we can still keep the cargo and make money on the payload? You know, that's smart. That's a smart deal. Um, we could. What time is it? We, we could, but look what time. <laughs> I'm running against the clock. This is what I'm saying. This is why we want a dispatcher. Dispatcher can go, all right, let's go more direct route. Let's get away from the weather. Let's do this, which we need. So, folks. If you like to dispatch, if you want to dispatch, you don't need to go through the whole training program as a pilot. You could go through a dispatcher program, which is pretty, pretty quick. Couple of questions on a test um, after an interview. If you go to flycoastalairways.com, uh, please, there's a little, if you scroll all the way down, Father, read the page, but if you scroll down, you can see what we're about. We're pretty much, we've got a pretty direct route. I mean, Looking at the route, I don't know how, I mean, we could optimize a little bit better, but we're, we're kind of stuck with this. So I want to go to airports, uh, flights, we're going to unload it, and I will import the flight now from Simbrief, and then click that. You can see, yeah, I could, see, I could try to get a cut, maybe we can go direct Hartford, that'll help, maybe we can cut that and go right to Sea Dog. And that'll cut this little dog leg. But again, it doesn't help us because we still have to carry the gas, right? So maybe to get more direct, we'd, we'd go like Merritt Hartford or Merritt to Sea Dog straight up. Might help shave five minutes off the route. Something like that. We'll see. If Boston's not on, New York Center's on right now. So will it hurt a lot too much if you do fly? It's going to hurt, Gary. It's going to hurt. You know that. You had to say that. Is you know, <laughs> is flying the Airbus going to hurt? Yes, it will. All right. We're putting in 67. Let's go ahead and start the boarding process now. Uh, we will cancel this. We're going to go end flight here. How did we do last time? We said neutral, 57%. Ugh. They had a cancellation for an unspectral reason. What are they talking about? Whatever. All right, we're going to ISLIP PWM, fly with career mode. Uh, we're going to take off in 20 minutes, sir. 25 minutes. Flight time is going to be an hour and 10. It's probably less than that. 29,000 feet. It is 68 passengers. We, we are going to serve snacks on this one. And let's start boarding. All right, so what we're going to do is call in our catering truck. Our catering is going to come in. We will open the door for that. And we're going to go to performance page. And let's plug it all in here. And before I do that, you guys, I got to get this done. ACARS is running. So I got to pull ACARS. Remember, I told you we got to get ACARS in because it charges us the fuel. Click that. Click that. We're going ISLIP PWM. Load. That looks good. Start the flight. All right, there we go. Here we go. We're triggered. All right, so what we're doing is passenger load right now, 68. We are almost a full boat. Enter. Forward cargo. Forget it. We're going to just dump it in the back at 1760. 1760. Enter. Fuel out of here is going to be 10.2. And you guys know how I like to do it. I like to do it the real way, so we're going to come over here. Nope, that's not right. If I can get there, it would be awesome. There we go. Flip this on. Open the valves. Bring it all in. 10,200 pounds. <laughs> that is so funny. Can't wait. Yeah, you know what I'm going to try to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to see if I can schedule one of my buddies. He's an Airbus captain. He's a 320 captain. And if I could schedule him and we could do a shared cockpit, I think that would be awesome. I'll sit as his FO and we can uh, have fun. All right, 10.1. What did I say we're going to put in? 10.2. All right, I'm going to have to throw that switch. Now, here comes the money. All I see is money as it comes in the aircraft. All right, catering truck should be here, I hope. Yep. All right, we're going to go ahead and get catering because we're doing snacks and stuff today for this route. No, you don't want me to do uh, 
You don't want me to do a shared cockpit with it? He can teach me how to how to fly the aircraft. I don't know. Is that what you're saying, Gary? No? <laughs> that guy would have just ate the door. All right. That's done. Let's go ahead and call up uh, Simbrief. So we get that Simbrief pulled in. Export selected formats. It won't be until a thousand subs. Yes, I think seeing you fly it right would be cool. <laughs> you guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. All right, let's do this. Um, I'll show you. Oops. Right there. There we go. Okay, let's get this thing going. We're going to go to index. Position initialization page. We're in ISP. ISP. Click that. And again... Um, looking at our import flight, import sim brief. You see how busy you are? Like, this is no joke, folks. When you're doing, when you have two, it's a little easier. But you are busy. Don't ever think for one minute that you could just go, oh, I'm just, I'm not, I can not do any. If you have a lot of pad in your schedule, yes. But stuff like this, you, you don't. You know, we, we don't have a lot of time here for this stuff which is a lot of fun. All right, we're going to go to iSlip. I got to look at the uh, coordinates again. And I will change the fly live. Re re remind me to do that because I didn't do it last time and it was late. And I'm like, what's going on here? All right, so we're looking at uh, Bravo 15, 40, 47, 73, 59. 47, 70, 47, 42, 73, 5.8. That's perfect. Let's throw the GNS in there. We're going to kind of pop that right in there. That's good to go. And then we're going to go to flight plan. You can see Kilo ISP. Oops, that is not right. ISP and PWM. PWM. So Portland, Maine. Click the route. It's going to throw it all in there. We're going to execute that right there. Let's see what we have. We have... Departing legs, Merritt Hartford, and then we have a disco. It's a Sea Dog. Maybe we can get a couple cuts through. We'll execute that. That'll help us save us some time at least. Okay, one to five coming in there. I'm gonna check check my my uh, flight plan. So when we do this, we kind of look at our flight plan, look at the legs, and make sure you, it's all good. Okay. Gentlemen, I would love to welcome you aboard our flight. Merritt when you Hartford, find seat, please be sure to place your Kevin, Sea Dog, and the overhead bins and smaller items underneath uh, the front of you. Unless you're in the front row, please place all of your okay, items. I've got to do my the runway update. I forgot to do that one twice already. Okay, leg wind is coming in. That's good. We are going to do if our V nav data as the same. Point seven four. What do we say? Point six nine. Point seven zero. To allow other passengers to find their seats as well. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, please read the exit seating responsibilities in the safety card in the seat back in front of you. Please make sure you are willing and able to perform the actions required. If you are not able or prefer not to perform in. these actions, please let a flight attendant know so you can... Okay, passenger weight, so 68 packs, 185, cargo 1700, fuel at 10,200, I gotta put that in there. 290, 115,000, 115, that's good. Everything drives up to what we said on our paperwork. Uh, we've got the gas at 10.2. I've been saying it is the road to the bus. <laughs> we have to block the subs at 999. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You guys, it'll be fun. I think you'll like it. And I don't get don't I'm not going to get used to it, trust me. I, it's just one flight. 5110. Every milestone like that, I'll have you pick something that we do. 2 2 10. Excuse me. All right. That's done. Let's go behind here. I'm going to shut off everything. Shut those valves down. Bam, bam, bam. That's off. Kill that. Right on back here. Okay. Back to the pref. This, I have to tell it, it's 10,200. Now, I know you're saying, well, why would you do that when I have to just do this anyway? You can see I can load the payload right now in the sim. 
All right, we're looking at 5.9 on the trim. Speeds, 132, 32, 42. 132, 132, 142. All set, ready to go. We're going to set all. Good to go. 10-12 on the time. Okay. Ah, almost done. I still got to hit the restroom. So, how's that? Ooh, three miles now. It's going down. Missed. Yikes. Guys are going to love this flight. Whew. We we're chasing weather. That's what we're doing. The, the problem is the weather is coming. So we've got a front coming in. It's 42 minutes. That's not too bad. Overcast. All right. Hey, Sean, could you put uh, the METAR up for me for ice slip? Oh, shoot. I did it. Stupid. Okay. I didn't want to do that, but I did it. Let's see if I... Okay, we're good. I recovered. Good. Go flights. Airport's coming in. Airport's coming in. Weather right here. Ice slip weather. I show ice slip one zero. A couple more things I got to do, and then we're going to program. One zero zero at zero eight. We are loading, right? We're loading the passengers. I know. Oh, stupid. Close the door. It's probably yelling at me like, hey, uh, we can't board because you're stupid. Even though that's dumb, they should be able to load. Okay. They're out of there. We're going to start loading passengers. We should be fine on the time. Okay, thanks, Sean. Appreciate it. We've got one zero one zero zero eight ten statue miles visibility. Okay, visibility is ten. Sky. Shoot, you know what I did? I didn't. I didn't do what I needed to do. Sky is scattered. It's breaking up here. Scattered at uh, zero zero six. And we got a broken layer. Temperature is 18. Wait a minute. What's the temp? 19. Temperature 19, 2.19. There's your fog. That's why 302991. Wow, that dropped pretty quick. Okay. I'm good with that. Let's get this airplane ready to go. That is programmed already for us. Clearance 125325. Ready to go when you are. Well, I'm not. 125. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard Three, flight 5203. Which service to Maine? Our flight time will be roughly one hour and ten minutes. Now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your large devices are now shut down and stowed. Please fasten your seatbelt and make sure that all trade. 125325. Right, upright and locked position for departure. Flight attendants, please prepare cabin for departure and What the heck flight are we? New York Center Flight 52, excuse me, uh, Coast Riptide 5203, looking for a clearance over to Portland. Riptide 5202, New York Center, hello, Senate. Oh, no. Stand by, I don't have a flight plan yet. All right, so that's what Richard, I was saying. Thank you. Like, Flight 2271, holding short, 13 off, ready for departure. Like, what am I doing? I forgot to do this. We're going to come over here. We're going to click uh, that. That's going to load everything into our dealio. We're going to come over here and file on VATSIM. Here we are. File this on VATSIM. We're going to file the flight plan. It is all good in the remarks section. Okay, that's done, that's done, connect. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Pops, <laughs> Pops just became a member, that's awesome. All right, 520, 
What are we? 5203. Appreciate that, by the way. I did hear it. Did you guys hear the uh, alert? I heard the alert. That's awesome. I slip Nantucket back to I slip back to Nantucket back to I slip Portland. <laughs> no, it's only I slip Nantucket and back and then up to Portland, then over up to uh, Canada. We're going all the way up to Canada tonight. Well, we're going to try. We're going to do it. We've got uh, 1018. Are we boarding? What are we doing here, folks? We're just sitting there. I feel the need. The need. Ow. That's speed. loud. Ow. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Because no alerts. Well, I just heard it. So I had to take my here. You know why? Because I don't have it on. So I'll turn the alert on right now. Enter flight 2271 leaving. But now you're going to hear an echo. That's the problem. You're going to hear an echo. So I had to turn the alerts off because of the air traffic controllers. So that's why. If I'm not on ATC, I can turn it on. Jeff Lieutenant 84, descend and maintain tree. I joined Patreon, forgot to mention it. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate that. By the way, our patrons request boarding. Deboarding completed. Catering service request for fueling. Request boarding. Here we go. Our patrons, by the way, have the same exact uh, memberships as our members do at YouTube. So um, pretty much the same thing. All of the all of the flights that you see are like private. Our private uh, streams will be broadcasted on YouTube, and patron will see our patrons will see it as well. So um, all the downloads. If you go on our Discord, I hope you go on our Discord channel. You can see the bot throw in the discord link make sure you sign up and you'll be a member in our discord and there's downloads in there for you as a patron and a youtube member so you can download flows and all sorts of stuff that we have for you and the behind the scenes stuff too so anyway that's cool all right uh 10 19 what i'm gonna do is we've United got about 10 minutes Thera, at and i'm gonna go ahead two, and zero, zero. Sir, at Make sure, yeah, 5203. We're set that. We're going to file the flight plan right now. Fetch it from the server. And now I will file the flight plan and call for clearance. Let's do that. What's your clearance, Clarence? Maybe you can map a button your stream deck to toggle alerts quickly. That Frontier would be a good flight shot. 2271. Yeah. Turn left heading 270. I would appreciate that because, you know, you guys, you guys got to see that. It's, it's awesome. I got to get the alerts. That's the next thing we have to do. Sean and I worked this out with the chat bot. Now we got to get the alerts working. New York Center Riptide 5202 at Islip, looking for IFR over to Portland. I had to remember where we were going. Riptide 5203, New York Center, standby, Park West. All right, so we're standing by. We got 10 minutes. I still want to stretch my legs really quick. Hit the restroom before our next flight, and we're gonna rock and roll. There it goes. So, did you get the alert? Did you guys hear the Need for Speed alerts? Chef Lieutenant 84 cleared a direct assault, cross assault at Tree Thousand. Clear. Let me know if you heard that. Zulu runway one three left approach. Okay, while he's doing this, I'm gonna get ready. Because uh, again, I'm just sitting there twiddling my thumbs. You know, on, Frontier on. flight 2271 cleared. Oh, direct Lana, in. climb and maintain 17,000. What's going on? What happened to the CRJ? It's going to Nova Scotia back. No, no, we're not. No, I'm flying that on Monday. It, full schedule, just like I'm doing today. You guys are lucky. Auto on. I have to get this airplane back to Miami so I can get it. I could fly back to New York. Uh, for the Rangers, because we're we're doing hockey. Uh, that's on. That's on. Low, low. All set, ready to go. Looking for clearance. Clearance. Oh come on, bro! I got about ten minutes to go here, man. All right, let me do this. Riptide two zero. Question: Riptide fifty two zero three. Clearance available. Advise ready to copy. Now we're ready to copy. Riptide 5203, clear to Portland Airport. Long Island 7 departure. Her radar vector is Merit, then as filed. Maintain at 3000, expect 17000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure is this frequency, squawk 6615. OK, 
Okay, Long Island 7, Vectors Merit 3000, 17 and 10, 6615 in the box, Riptide 5203. Riptide 5203, read back, right? All right. Okay, reback is correct. We're good with that. We're going to go ahead and kind of get out of this. Riptide 5203, right. you can expect runway like 24 for departure. 24. Okay, we'll expect 24. Riptide 5203. All right, so runway 24 on departure. Let's go ahead and check our legs and see what we got going on here. Check 1084, six. wind 110 at Niner, runway 13 left, clear to land. Long Island 7, execute. Clear to land, 13 left, jet Lieutenant 84. Execute. Sorry, I'm just syncing up everything. Here, I had to change it. Gate 115, please. America okay, we're looking at uh, Romeo, one thing, click Gold. radio, Alpha we need 6615. Cross 13, Romeo, continue Golf Alpha to the ramp, American 311. Okay, what I'm going to do um, right now is get you guys a good, this is not going to work, what's going on here? Why is the camera shifted on me? That is not how it's supposed to be. Unless I screwed up somehow. It's supposed to be like this. Nope. It's supposed to be like this. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> okay. I wasn't going crazy. Okay, let's do that. That's why. That's why. Andy, what's going on? He says, Andy, does it matter? But just letting you know your documentation you wrote, flight 5203 filed as 5202. Really? Shoot. Let me see what I got going on here. 5203. Let's change this. ISP to Portland, PWM, 5203, and I will change, that's now good to go, let's go ahead and change, it should reflect that up on top, I slip to Portland, yes, okay, let's see what I got here, flight plan is, what the heck am I, 5203, all right, I'm 5203 on all sides, thanks, appreciate, that's what you guys are supposed to do, is tell me what I'm screwing up on. Okay, I'll be right back. Go ahead and give you guys uh, a little brief. Folks, from the flight deck up front here, we're looking, uh, welcome aboard flight 5203, nonstop service over to Portland. Once we're airborne here, it looks like we'll have a time about 42 minutes in the air, gate to gate. Portland right now, 63 degrees, overcast clouds. Uh, we should be smooth during the cruise, might be a little bit bumpy on the climb and the descent. Uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep you posted. Thanks for uh, flying and watching the Flight Sim Broadcast Network. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and uh, we will see you in a bit. Okay, folks, here we go. Living the dream. Control code 5202. Cam, what is going on? Cam MD80. What a name that is. <laughs> what a name. That's a good one. MD80. You got to love that. We are flying a lot of the MD80 coming up next week, folks. Tons. 
And Jason's got to shut up because I got to actually do my my job here and work. All right. That's good. Coming down here. Looks good. Pasture signs are on. We're going to get ready for a push just for a second. That looks good. I'm going to reconnect that. That's good. Flight director is on altitude. He said 2,000, I believe. 3,000 on the altitude. Let's go 3,000 here. 2,4 on the heading. Heading bug come and set 240. I'm going to go ahead and change his frequency now. His frequency is 125325. 24, 24, 24. Okay, all the way back. I probably went 120. What? I'm doing two things at once. 125, 325. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Dump that in there. There we go. All right, folks, I'm going to get up. And stretch them. Delta 15 turn left heading 220, descend and maintain 3000. White left needles are set. Delta 3000, Delta 5240 on the heading set. United 1993, reduce speed to 200. Right, we're going to run the checklist. We're going to run the checklist. I'm going to get up, hit the terminal for a minute. We've got uh, no time. Nope, I'm going to have to wait. i got to push. Before start logbooks, United check crew ox. Lurch. Act Checked. and maintain one four thousand. The Harrisburg altimeter two nine or eight eight. Checked. Still at ten eighty uh, eighteen forty. Crew O two mass verified. Park brake is set. Fuel quantity. No hey, park brake is coming. FedEx set. FedEx five seven tango heavy with your flight level three seven zero. FedEx fifty seven tango. Fuel quantity Canada. verified. Altimeters are set. FedEx two three with the Apache two nine nine five 18, actually 000. going up just a little bit. FedEx twenty three New York Center. Hello. Two nine nine or one. What do we have? 29901 is set. Parch briefing is complete. CAS is verified. Before start checklist is complete. Yeah, All right, let's go. Evening. It's 1030. I want to get out of here. So bathroom's going to have to wait. See what I mean? Like, if you're trying to nine or eight, eight, with two people, it would have been easier. Roger. Roger. From 37. Commander, please. Seatbelt's coming on. Matter of fact, I gotta move my seat up. There we go. Air France 137 second. If we just wanted the altimeter. Air France 137, altimeter 2992 on the flight level. Okay, let's go. We're boarded. Ah, oh, come on, get those bags in here. Let's do a walk. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do a rock around here. Uh, see what I mean? Up is down, left is right. I don't like it. It's all goofy. It's hard because I'm used to the other way. So, you know. Air China 9 or 8, 8, ident. Been a favorite of yours for a very long time, huh? The MD-80. Good airplane. I love it. I love the MD-80. I mean, you, you know, we do a lot of flying on this channel with it. Because we have to. <laughs> <laughs> the charter flights. Matter of fact, I'll be flying the MD-80 across country to, uh, next week, folks. Those uh, are members. Those members, uh, membership, will see Air those China flights radar contact, on miles uh, north private streams. We actually Broadway stream those live. Now, some of those are going to be pretty darn early in the morning. Probably like 6 a.m. departure, my time. So that's 8, what's that, 8 a.m.? Uh, United 1993, Eastern. turn right, heading 250, intercept the localizer. Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and jump in there, and let's shut it down. Turn right, heading 250, intercept the localizer. All right, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Closed, closed. Stairs, closed. Start up the APU. APU's coming to start here. Starting. Here come the weather. The weather's rolling in. <coughs> Awesome. Yeah, once you get familiar with it. <laughs> 5 a.m. my time. Yeah, it's early. <clears throat> so you're Pacific. you got to be Pacific, right? you got to be in the Pacific region. All right, APU is fired up. Looking good. I'm just waiting for the alarm. We've got available light coming in. Let's go ahead and uh, disconnect the ground power. 
and it is removed and so is our let's go ahead and call GSX give us a push Shepard 1501 radar contact say altitude 1032 we got a roll Chef Blue 1501, New York. Chef Blue 1501, clear contact, fly level 8000. Chef 1501, clear, direct Robbinsville, climb and maintain, uh, fly level 280. Climb and maintain 280, direct Robbinsville, Chef Blue 1501. Ready for push. You guys ready to go? I am. Let's get the heck out of here. We got two more legs. Get out of my way, dude. What are you doing? 1993, five miles from Buzz, cleared ILS, runway 22 left approach. ILS, 22 left, United 1993. Delta 1551, turn left, heading 090. What is going on? Delta 090, Delta. This guy just smashed my airplane. Car all over United the place. 1993, Here it comes. I'm gonna have to install GSX again, I think. So I got this pink guy. What's up with that? I'm in LA. I thought I thought so. I thought you had to be Pacific. Been back. Lurk here. Good flights and landing. I see you got your stream situation with the emotes on Discord and stuff. Nice, by the way. Thanks for the space specs into stuff yeah um ryan man um i'm gonna actually do another rebuild here coming up in uh next you know december i'll be buying a whole bunch of new equipment for my uh new computer i'm building another one for Air France 137 leaving my airspace boston center's closed to monitor unicom one two two point eight have a good night thanks for your service and have a great evening Bella. Boston is closed. Come on. Why is this guy driving like this? What's he doing? <laughs> no, dog. I cannot get up. Are we good? All right. If you're going to delay me this much, Air China let's see what it says. Cross Come on. Act and maintain flight level 220. Hook me up to the tow bar. I might have to reset it and just do it myself. FedEx 57 Tango cross new. It shouldn't take this long. And maintain flight level 270. Fuel cross truck. News at 270, heavy. There we go. Nose, we want to go nose to the left, Taylor. Delta 1551, turn left heading 070, intercept the localizer. Your livery Zero, looks Zero, fantastic. Well, I appreciate Delta it. 1551. Thank you. Yeah, this is um, the Coastal Connection livery. We've got, obviously we're based in Miami, so very, very tropical looking. I appreciate it. We've got a, a couple of good... This guy's drunk. This guy's drunk. Somebody tell this guy to get out, get that GPU out of the way. <laughs> All right, somebody get the time. We've got uh, 10:36. Dang it, we're six minutes behind schedule, which is not great. But we could probably make that up because Boston won't be on, so we could probably get a cut. And if Boston is on, we'll get a cut anyway. All right, break some and off. Let's go. Push. All right, we're gonna push start number two. Starting at will here. Number two, coming to start. The weather is coming in here, folks. Yikes. Those are on. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the front Once we hit 20, we're going to add the fuel. Fuel's in. Jet Blue 1501, climb and maintain. There's a light. Climb and maintain, flight level 360, Jet Blue 1501. Tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. Let off. Release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. In the event that the seatbelt light is not on, we suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened in case of unexpected turbulence. 
There are several emergency exits on this aircraft. Delta 1551, five miles from Venice, cleared ILS from the core approach. Your nearest exit may be behind Clear you. ILS approach. If you need to evacuate the aircraft, floor level lighting will guide you. We got some weather right over the top of Iceland. Delta 1551, wind 120 at 9 runway 4, clear to land. I'm expecting some rain here. Pull the mask towards you and place it firmly over your nose and mouth. Secure the elastic band behind your head and tighten the straps if necessary. And don't worry if the bag is... Okay, we got a good light. Oxygen is flowing to the mask and you can breathe normally. If you're traveling with children, now's the time to pick your favorite one. But secure your mask and then you know, you know, okay, you know, you know, break set. So a member of the crew advised you to stay true. Electric. In the event that the pilot decides to Looks good. We'll shut it off. Number of APUs coming off. Right. At, uh, I believe. I can't get you, dog. I am now stuck. Drop the straps around your waist and buckle up the front. Pull the strap to tighten. To inflate the vest, pull firmly on the red cord only when exiting the aircraft. It's United 1993, Oops. cross runway 22 right at November and contact Newark ground 121. Getting sloppy on my flows here, folks. Taxi gone, flaps eight. Flight control. New York Center, wind one four zero at four, runway two two right at Mike Clear for takeoff. Rudders. Let's do this. Let's take off, runway two two right, nine two zero seven. Okay, here we go. We've got uh, this is coming on. All right, after start, we got fuel check valve. We've done that. Fuel's looking good. It's 10-1 uh, right now. Rudder is set. Nose wheel steering is armed. Thrust reversers are on. And our cast is checked. After start is, che is complete. Flaps. Verify flaps 8. Takeoff data verified. And the trim is set. Taxi checklist is complete. Let's go ahead and give them a call. Looks like we'll go down uh, Sierra over to Echo. New York, Riptide 5203, taxi. Air China 988, turn right heading 280, descend and maintain, flight level 220. Right heading 280, descend flight level 220, Air China 988. Riptide 5203, runway 24, taxi via Sierra, Bravo, Bravo 4. Echo, cross runway 33 left and runway 33 right. Okay, uh, Sierra, Bravo, and then we go Echo, and we'll cross two, two you said uh, two four, correct? Riptide 5203, runway 24, and you may cross runway 33 left and runway 33 right. Okay, we'll cross uh, 33 three left, 33 three right for uh, Riptide 5203. So we're going to go down Sierra Bravo and then Bravo 2 to Delta. Why would we do that and not go down Echo? It's kind of an odd run, huh? Andy says, flying these streams want to make me fly the CRJ fun but demanding airplane. Yes. So is the MD-80. Are you flying the MD-80? That's another demanding airplane. FedEx 23, cross news at and maintain flight level 270. Cross news at 270. Now guys, uh, Islip Airport, you see this area? It's Air like a little pit. Cleared, direct Modena VOR. A lot of, uh, there were some restaurants there. It was pretty cool. You know, honestly, this is probably one of the last streams we'll do with the CRJ this year. You probably won't see it come again here for quite a while because we're going to be busy flying the MD-80. So, and the 7-3. Boston Center's closed. From Unicom, Have a good night. 228 heavy sail. I don't know why he wouldn't just take us down Echo. It's so much quicker. We're 
Roger. United 207, radar contact, the altitude. Roger. All right, guys, we're going to go down this route to Bravo. United 207, cleared at direct correctly, climb and maintain 17,000. I'm going to parallel this runway, and then we're going to go all the way up to Delta, and then we'll cross. Delta 1551, taxi via Bravo to the ramp. Have a good night. Bravo to the ramp. Appreciate your help. Have okay, great. see this right here? This used to be a runway. And uh, I remember standing on the ramp and a Southwest Airlines, and this was like maybe 5,000 feet tops, and a Southwest Airlines 737 <laughs> landed on it because the wind was howling. I mean, it was probably 30, 30, 30 knots, but it was blowing up and down that runway. So he chose to take that runway with the uh, with that performance and that well, was quite fun i'll never forget it i was like is he landed on three three at the time it was it was cool it wasn't three three i thought it was it was a more of a east uh west runway but it was cool attention aircraft on frequency new york center will be closing within about one zero ten minutes all right Oh, that was funny. <laughs> I just read that comment. That was great. <laughs> uh, are you talking about the MD-80? <laughs> it's making that noise? What do you mean? Are you talking about that jet or are you talking about another jet? <laughs> oh, I love it. You'll love the 80. I'm telling you. If you, if you like old school kind of flying. All right, here we go. We're going to start number one. The problem is it's just like it doesn't spool up. That's the, It spools down great, but the spool up is kind of crap. All right, we're going to cross this runway here. 624. New York Center, JetBlue, We're about 80 miles east of the Coil VOR. Uh, we're going to stay over the Atlantic. If, I know you're, you're shutting down, but uh, just checking in. Flight level 350. Fuel in. Triple nine zero seven, New York Center. Hello. Unfortunately, yes, you can monitor Unicom. One two point eight. Have a good night. We'll see you on Unicom. Have a good night. Appreciate your help. Long Island. New York Center, United twenty five eighteen. Heavy with you. United twenty five eighteen, New York Center. Hello. Okay, we got a good start. ITT's coming up. Alerts are off. Engine start valves are still open. Isolation valve is good. Bleeds are now closed. Good start on one. Okay, clear left. Clear right. All clear. I think you guys are going to love the MD-80 as we fly a ton of these. Uh... Okay, guys in the chat, those members, shoots on. Here we go. I got to get you a good, I'm going to get you a good emoji uh, next flight for Monday. FedEx 23, leaving my airspace, Boston Center is closed, to monitor the Unicom 122.8, have a good night. I couldn't even go to the bathroom. FedEx leaving my airspace, Washington Center is closed, to monitor the Unicom 122.8, have a good night. taxi off the dang taxiway, how's that? Have a good night, Jeff, we'll you one. All right, we're strapped in. Okay, let's get the checklist out. Let's get going. Takeoff config, we've checked it and verified. Flaps are eight. Trib is good. Fuel flow, I forgot that. Fuel flow is coming in manual. Brake temp is checked. And flight controls are good. Takeoff briefing is complete. Ignition. And we're going to go continuous on this puppy. And, and then and runway and heading. Good to go. And anti-ice. We have cowls off. We have probes on. And our windshields low. We're ready to go. Now you got Cliff. There it is. There's Cliff. Yep, that's a Cliff emoji. <laughs> Pat.
parachutes. Here we go in the chat. We got it. All right. We're going to stop right here, and then when we fly the MD-80, obviously Cliff will be a major part Air of that. Air Canada 9 or 88, cross Clipper at and maintain 1-2000, the Baltimore altimeter 2 9 or 8 6. Guys, I'm working overtime for you. That's for sure. Cross Clipper, design and maintain altitude 2000. <sighs> Long Island 7 is pretty much straight out. Runway heading. Let me call him. New York, Riptide 5203, holding short 204, ready to go. Riptide 5203, wind 1407, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Cover the winds, 124, uh, clear for takeoff, Riptide 5203. Okay, taking a peek, looks good on the left side. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. We're going to have a crosswind coming in from the quartering tailwind, essentially, from the uh, left side today. That's not very... Let's give you a good lineup here. United 2518, cross Geno, at and maintain flight level 230. Cross maintain general at flight level 2. Okay, runway heading after the departure. Here we go. United 2518. Coming up 50. Wait, 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 wait. Now click. And toga. Toga set. Thrust is set. A little bit of crosswind. One, rotate. Whoa, slow down, Tiger. Slow down, Tiger. Okay, got a positive rate of climb gear coming up. Minimums. A little bit of turbulence as this sells right over the airport. 500. A little bit of bumpies. Speed check coming in, 1,000 feet, flaps coming up, 2,000 on the hold. Ooh, I just let the passengers know. 3,000 on the hold, flaps up. And New York, Riptide 5203 through 2,400 for three. Riptide 5203, radar contact, clear, direct merit, climb and maintain, 17,000. Direct Merit 17000, Riptide 5203. Left or right, does it matter? Uh, we're going to go this way anyway. Did you say uh, 17000? All right, here we go. Climb thrust coming in. There we go. Kind of going the long way around. All right, speed thrust coming up. We're going to go ahead and just turn about 210 on the speed here. Air China 9 or 88, leaving my airspace. Washington Center is closed. Monitor to Unicom 122.8. Have a good night. Kind of get it, getting us away from that Monitor cell. Monitor one two two point eight. China nine eight eight is for ETC. Good night, sir. All right, we're gonna have to just slow that climb up to about ten degrees. There we go. Got to get some speed. Speed hold. Speed, 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 speed. There we go. Keep on that turn. Keep turning. Keep turning. What do you say it was? Oh. Kind of getting through these clouds. 
Okay, nav coming in. Nav set. Autopilot's coming on. Right about now. Autopilot is engaged. Let's go ahead and increase our speed now to five. Good evening, Air Force 54 Heavy, pull up 360. Air Force 54, New York Center. Hello, Force 1 closing here in just a minute. You can mount the unit. Time wants 2.8. Have a good night. Very good night, Air Force 54 Heavy. Riptide 5203, leaving my airspace. Boston Center is closed. Monitor Unicom 122.8. Have a good night. Over to Unicom 122.8. We'll see you. Riptide 5203. Thanks. Okay, there's 10,000. Here we come. United 2518. Unfortunately, I'm closing here in just a minute. You can monitor Unicom 122.8. Have a good night. 22.8 for United 25. All right, we're over there. I want to keep the harnesses on. Let's do our climb check. That's coming off. That's off. This is off. Okay, two through ten thousand. Let them know. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now passed ten thousand feet, so you may turn on larger portable electronic devices. This is also a reminder to. All right, gear and flaps are the up. Of the flight and do not form a line near the laboratories. Cross feed is now auto. Bleeds and APU. APU is off. Bleeds are on both. And it's normal. Thrust is set on climb, and reversers are off. We're going to go ahead and get a shortcut out of here. Um, once we hit merit, I'm going to go ahead and get it cut. We're, it kind of takes us to Hartford. We're going to go right to Kevin. So I'm going to bypass. we got to make up about six minutes. If we can make up six minutes, we're in good. Good night, Pops. The... With the name of the FO in FS2 crew. <laughs> uh, Cliff did me proud yesterday flying into SNA. He performed flawlessly. Did he really? Good for him. <laughs> I'm glad he performs for you and he just doesn't for me. Yeah, um, Cam, the, uh, or Andy. Andy, Cliff is. Cliff is our FO for when we fly the MT-80. <laughs> and he, he screws up all the time. So, you know, that's where we get Cliff from. So if you ever hear us referring to Cliff, that's it. That's that's Cliff. Cliff or Rooney. <laughs> all right, guys. We've got Portland. I'll give you an update on Portland. We're going to get a shortcut. You see how we take Merritt, and we're going to go from Merritt to, um, we're going to go straight from Merritt to Kevin, and it's going to give us a little bit of a shortcut, and I'm going to increase our speed now, 270 on the climb speed. Now, this is just like a level change. I've got the altitude now. We're going to keep on going, keep on trucking, 290, I think, on our climb today. 290 straight. We're going to go from just making sure we're going to keep on the climb. Yep. Okay, that's good. Come over here. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do is we're going to go from, okay, and also alerts are coming on. Uh, right there. Okay, alerts are on. You should be able to hear it. All right, we're going to do so you can see we got Merritt, Hartford, and then Kevin. I'm going to bypass Hartford and go straight to Kevin and then execute. And what that's going to do, it's going to kind of cut this dog leg. 18,000. Here we go. 29092. Straight up. We'll do that on this side as well. Light's coming off. One, two, three. I've got my strobe lights. you got to be kidding me. Getting sloppy. That's a pyrep denied right there too. Now we're out of the, we broke out of that uh, cloud layer, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Whoa. Whoa. All right, that's not gonna work. Let's just reset that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna show you what we're doing. Kind of the shortcut we're taking. So right now we had Merritt Harford, so we're gonna go from Merritt straight to Kevin. 
then over to Sea Dog. So it kind of just bypasses this little dog leg, and it, hopefully we can save some time uh, as we start cooking here on the cruise. I changed from open mic to PTT mode, and it seems to work much better. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what... Well, you're probably right. I probably need to do that. But... Um, but I, you know, again, it's maybe I, I don't know, maybe I can. It'll probably be better. I just have to map it somewhere. Does that make sense? I have to map it somewhere good. And it's just probably the key press. So maybe I'll just try that next time. How's that? All right, let me go to leg data really quick. I just want to make sure we are going to be, our flight plan is saying what it should say. 290, yeah, that's our, our filed flight plan. And our pref, if we look at our prog page. Okay, folks, I show uh, Portland at 31 minutes. That's how fast this thing is. Yeah, 31 minutes coming up. Uh, we're getting into the bumps, maybe. Nice. Uh, outside air temperature. Whoo! Total air temp, negative one. So guess what? We've got to turn on the uh, engine anti-ice. That's coming on. Cal anti-ice right here. Somebody asked about it. So we're going to throw the Cal anti-ice on now. And what we'll do is we'll come down to uh, the anti-ice here. You can see we have Cal lights. We are doing that and what that helps that obviously prevents icing from forming on the engines so that's what that does for us okay so if you're ever wondering well what the heck you know we're under 10 degrees and in moisture we're in visible moisture so hence that Okay, looking good. We're going to go ahead and expand the range. And I'll tell you what we got coming up. We've got... We got a long... Man, we got a big flight next 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 week. We've got... Um, we got an MD-80 trip. Wow, multiple MD-80 trips. Where the heck is my schedule? We've got... And I've got to book it. I'll be booking the private streams. What is going on, Jordan? <laughs> Haven't forgot our work. Just been a little bit busy as the second session has started for this semester. So everybody, uh, Jordan in the chat, J Aviation, uh, he is the mastermind. He is our uh, he is our repainter. He like does everything, and he's working on something really cool. And he he designed Utah One, which I hope we're going to get out here in December. So we'll be rolling that out of the hangar shortly, and he's working on another special delivery. Uh, it's going to be really fun. We can't tell you anything about it because it's a surprise, but uh, it's cool. It's looking really cool. And I know he's he's beating his head against the wall because it's a, it's a radical design, but it's it's pretty sweet. I think you guys are going to love it. Um, it's cool though. I mean, let's see. What should we say, Jordan? I think everything on that airplane that he's painting now has symbology to it. Everything. There's a symbol on it. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's going to be cool. I'm excited. And I just wanted to check in the stream. Say hi. How are you, sir? All right. I use the autopilot disconnect button on the right side of the Boeing yoke. Yes. That is true. 28 for 29. We're going to level off and uh, start our cruise portion. And we're, it looks like we're still in this soup. Yeah, at 29,000. But it looks pretty smooth. It's feeling smooth as the uh, storm is advancing. It's coming. All right, here we go. Uh, let's just check our flights, our sim brief profile. And we have point... We should be cruising today at 0.69. We're actually pushing to 0.7. <clears throat> now, coming out of the gates. Right in the soup. 
And this aircraft is really good. I might squeak it up to 0.72. We have plenty of gas. Now, I'm not going to do that too much just because I don't want to, you know, we'll hold it at point, uh, how about that, 0 0.7, 0 0.71. All right, we're at cruise altitude. We're still in the soup, so I would actually keep the seatbelts on just because, I mean, it's pretty smooth, but we're looking at cumulus-ish clouds. Yeah. If we could get out of this crap, we'll be in good shape. All right, uh, Thibs. Okay, so 10 and below, you want window heat on. Yeah, always. Window heat always stays on, bud. So in this particular aircraft, and even in the 737, so you want to make sure you have window heat on. So for us, this is window heat, low, right? It's windshield right here. This this windshield you see, that is on low. That should, should be that way on the CRJ at right now. And now we have probe on. Obviously, we know that. That's pitot heat. And then now we have cal ice on. Just because we are under 10 degrees Celsius, even plus 10, with visible moisture, you have to keep it on. Now, this particular aircraft has an ice detection system, which is really cool. 737 does not have that. So you would see ice building up on the windshield wiper here if we had ice. So that's one of those things, you know, you never want to just say, oh yeah, the ice detect system's gonna bail us out. No, it's not. You know, you gotta keep your eye out and it looks pretty smooth. I might consider turning the seatbelt sign off. Let me see if there's any uh, turbulence forecast here. Uh, usually when we're in the clouds, yeah, there's a lot of turbulence <laughs> forecasted. <laughs> we'll just hold it. We're just gonna hold right now just because we're gonna get into it. Seems like pretty nasty stuff. Uh, visible moisture, you want anti-ice for engine and wing? No, not wing, just engine. Uh, and then starters at continuous and coming in for final. Starters should be on continuous for takeoff and landing. But yeah, you're right. We have, we should, anytime you have, you know, your engine anti-ice on, you, in the 7.3, you should have continuous ignition. And we're going to do the same thing. All right, so Jordan says the best way to describe it without giving anything away is that it's very complex <laughs> and will be the type of liberty everybody will wonder, how did they do that? That's exactly right. So, folks, if that gives you any indication, it's funny because I approached Jordan you know, a few weeks ago and I'm like, all right, I'm thinking of this to celebrate this. And he's like, okay. He's thinking about it. And then we actually had a meeting of, you know, a meeting on Discord to, to kind of to show the vision. I'm like, okay, this is what it is. And he's like, what? <laughs> he's like, you want to do what? Um, it's it's going to be cool. It's going to be, there's nothing. I'll tell you right now, there's nothing out there like this. Nothing. This livery is going to be wild. Uh, I'm I am super excited to see what he comes up with, but it is like he said, it's very complex. So there is a lot, a lot going on with it. That's for sure. That was a, a good, a good thing, a good way to describe that, Jordan. It's definitely complex. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. It's going to be on a 737-800 ETOPS aircraft. So, well, all of our 737-800s are ETOPS. Which is cool. So who's sticking around? We're going to um, we're going to after this leg. We're going to where are we going? Somebody tell me. We're going to Nova Scotia. So I got to tell you, Monday. I forgot. Monday I have the day off. So we're gonna fly the whole entire schedule on Monday, just like we're doing now. We're fly. This is day two. So I'm flying. I'm giving you what an airline pilot schedule looks like. Did I have time to go to the bathroom? Nope. You know, it would help with two people. It would help getting the dispatch released to me quicker. Um, 
fractals. <laughs> Sean says, I'm looking forward to it. Andy says, I'm, I'm imagining fractals on a plane. I don't even know what a fractal is. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, we got a 30 knot tailwind. I love that. That's good. We're going to hit Kevin. Once we're at Kevin, it's Sea Dog. And we'll start our descent shortly. Uh, looks like top of descent coming in 136 miles. I don't trust that. So let's see what we've got. How about Sea Dog 11,000? So we're going to make sure. That sea dog is set at 11,000, and it sure is. Okay, so uh, we'll do the math because, like I said, oh, a good pilot always is not just going to take the autopilot's word for it. So let's do this. We're at 29,000. We need to get to 11,000. We're looking at 18 times 3, rough numbers, 54 miles away from sea dog, and that puts us from Cambridge. Uh, Google it. They are cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, you're going to Canada? Cool. Was it, was at Calgary a few days ago? Yeah, we're going to Canada. We're going to uh, Nova Scotia. This is the last Nova Scotia flight of the year. And then at Coastal, it'll shut down for the winter. And then day two transition. So day two uh, on a normal you know, in the winter schedule, we go from Raleigh to Islip and then overnight at Islip. And then instead of going to Nantucket, we go Islip to Indianapolis. And then you hook up uh, our 737-800 with lands within 15 minutes of you landing. So uh, when you get into Indianapolis, it lands and you connect. So the passengers get off of that. They get on the aircraft and that aircraft, that 800 does a turn and goes down to Miami. And there's another 800 that turns and goes to Utah, goes out west, Salt Lake City. So, you know, that's what this is about. We, we, we made the schedule so it all connects into our schedule. Our, you know, that's what airlines do, right? You want to make sure you've got good connections and plenty of time. There's a nice little layover there in, uh, in Indianapolis if you're taking that westbound route. It's like a two-hour layover. If you're doing the Miami trip, you're getting, you're literally getting off the airplane, going right into a, you know, within the 40 minutes, you're, you're turning. So, yeah. Anyway, this, so this um, route right now, this day two is going to end the end of October. You won't see it anymore. Uh, we'll be done flying this this leg until the summer. Um, but like I said. So day two in the winter, it goes Indianapolis back to Islip and then over to Portland and then you're overnighting. So that's going to be the winter schedule. All right, there we go. We just hit um, Kevin and we're turning into direct to Sea Dog. And we're looking at um, Kevin to Sea Dog. How many miles we got, bud? Um, we're looking at Sea Dog at uh, 64 nautical miles. And I said 50. Let's go ahead and start a descent now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pull. And we're going to come down to the altitude of 11,000 feet. Now I'm just doing a little bit early. We need to get 11,000 feet over at Sea Dog. So let's bring this down to 11. I'll show you kind of how we can get better at it by doing a few things. And the aircraft is hunting right now. It's it's hunting for the route. So there's 11,000. What we'll do is set our vertical speed to the banana. Now I'm coming down on the thrust levers a little bit because we don't want to go too fast because you will never make it. So we're going to bring it down about 2,000 feet a minute. Let's see how we do. Yeah, we're going to be a little on the high side. So power's coming way back. And we're really going to start our descent. Seatbelts are on. We kept them on. All right, let me look up these fractals. And I'll tell you what that is. And I'll tell you if you're warm or cold. Fractal design, I guess? That ain't right. 
fractals. Oh yeah, that's intricate for sure. I will tell you this. Um, it's very complex. <laughs> Poor Jordan. <laughs> All right, look at that. All right, folks, you see this? We are dead on the money right now. It's at 2,200 2, feet. Good descent. We got to keep the speed right here where we are. And good. Oh, shoot. Hold on. What did I do there? Okay. Uh, it's heading. No. Sean, do you want to get a METAR for me if you're still on? I don't know if you are. Or somebody. Anybody can get me a METAR, I guess. All right. Right there. We don't want to push it below 260. Looks like you're getting close to Boston's center's airspace. Are they on? No, they're not. Boston is not online. So I'll tell you where we are. I'll show you where we are. How's that? We'll click this. We are right here, guys. We're going to Sea Dog. I'll give you an update on that. The Sea Dog right now is. De -de 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 -de. Where are we going? Portland. Charts. Star. Sea Dog. Okay. So we're basically on this direction, headed right to Sea Dog at 11,000. Once we hit that, we'll go to uh, Buckstow, and then we're going to be in on the ILS 11. And we've got to get the weather update. Error connecting to remote server. Ooh, that sucks. Yeah. How are we doing on our speed? We're going to bump that speed up just a little bit. There we go. TAF PWM. All right. So we're going to try to get the TAF. It looks like we might have an issue. I'll need to see if I can pull it up on this one. Airports weather. ATIS. Airports PWM weather. ATIS. VTAR. 55 minutes ago, five miles and missed. Yeah, it's, it's jacked up. For some reason, it's not letting us connect to the server, huh? That's a bummer. Well, who's staying with us to Nova Scotia? Anybody? i got to get the seatbelts on here coming up, and then I'm going to try to go to the bathroom. I mean, come on. Sean, do you have a schedule for me? When are we supposed to go to Nova Scotia on the turn here? <sighs> Like, you guys, I had a bubbly. I haven't even opened my bubbly yet. This is how busy you are flying. <laughs> it's no joke. I haven't had a bubbly. <laughs> Normally, I have bubblies and... Nope. Nothing. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hopefully, you get some value at what we're doing here. And I'm showing you a little bit about... You know, if you want to ever fly, this is what an airline pilot goes through kind of thing. Uh... You're busy. You don't have time to eat. <laughs> you know, built in the schedule. I hope we have time here coming out of the gate. Uh, because there is no time, you know, from Nantucket to back. So I hope we have some time out of this. There usually is. Usually. I say that very... At least in Coastal's day. You know, in our schedule. Did I do this right? Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, let's make sure I get this up here and I'll show you what's going on. We got winds 140 at 5. Very light. We got 5 miles of mist. Broken at 600. And we got another layer at 32. Uh, temperature 17, 2.17. Altimeter is coming in at 30. Zero 04, runway 11 is the runway of choice. No auto break today, landing distance. Uh, I'll let you know. How about 7,200 feet for the landing distance? Probably going to be 35, probably less than that. Okay, uh, flaps 45 today and probably going to be 138 right around there. Okay, I've got 138 knots. We'll set that right there. 138 on the ref, folks. 
good. Okay, I'll give you a briefing. Harbor visual is the opposite direction and sounds like IMC conditions. He says, yep, I'm here packing my house, <clears throat> so I'm here all night. Yeah, ILS-11 seems to be the good choice. I think so. Yes, we're going to Halifax. Out at 12.10. Thank you. So, right now, it's 11.17. Oh, my gosh. Give me a break. <laughs> I'm not going to get a break, aren't I? Nope. Who made this schedule? I got a beef. Okay, what I'm going to try to do is that. All right, uh, 3004. Let's go ahead and plug that in there. 3004, we'll get ready for the landing. Okay, runway 11 it is. Let's go in the overhead. Let's do our flows. I was, Like I said, I was getting a little on the loose side. I'm going to kind of throw off the cows. Uh, that's on, that's on, that's on, that's on, that's on. One, two, three. Wing and specs coming on and off. That's on. Good. Okay. Whew. All right, 12.10. That's, I'm looking at the clock going, man, I'm not going to even have a break, are we, folks? I mean, I got to hit the restroom regardless. The lav is calling. All right, runway 1-1. Let's do a quick brief on that. I'll brief you folks up on what we're going to do. Shoot the ILS here. Runway 11, let me pull it up so you can see what we're going to do. We are going to go to the approaches and throw that in there, taxi. We're going to throw that in there as well. Okay, so there's runway 11. We're going to actually go right to this uh, Buckstow, and we're going to fly pretty much straight in. Buckstow will be 2,300 feet, looking like the MSA, about 3,100. Uh, missed approach. If we had to do a mist, we're going to do climb 600, the climbing right turn at 3,000. We'll bug out and go to the right. All right. Looks like ILS straight in 200 feet. I didn't see anything on the notums that would be an issue. So take a look at that here right now. Just look at the notums right now. Not standard tower. We've got some obstructions tower and that's it. All right, pretty simple. Okay, coming to 11,000 feet. I love it when a plan works. Right from there, you guys ready for the chat? Harbor visuals the opposite direction. It sounds like an IMC. Yes, we are in IMC. We couldn't fly the visual approach. Ready? Shoots on. In the chat, here we go. Getting ready for the landing. Speed's coming up. Speed needs to be at 250 cap. There we go, 250. We're going to push up the throttles. Right when we get to Buckstow, what we'll start doing is um, starting our descent a little bit down to 2300. So let's go ahead and set that 230, 230. Here we go. Boston is on, but that's it. 230. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves, you folks are watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this uh, stream. We're going to go vertical speed on the descent. We're going to do a nice shallow descent. All right, let's see where it takes us. About there. All right, I got 109.9. Let me go ahead and make sure I've set that in my... Yes, it is. I just want to make sure that the FMC is set. By the way, I haven't even eaten dinner. So no dinner for me. I had no drinks. Maybe maybe I can drink my bubbly for a minute. Okay, we're going to push it down just a little bit more. See where we do further. I'm looking at the banana. This magenta banana. I want it before Buckstow because I want to actually intercept it before I get there. Alright folks, what are we looking at now? Okay, air temperature right now is 17 degrees. We don't have to worry about any icing. 
110 on the course. I got 128, 122.8 on the radio. And I show approximately six, about six minutes until we're there. I think it's a little generous, though. Here we go. What? Descent checklist. Pressurization. Okay, we're going to check the pressurization. How we do that? Let's just, we come over here, we look. We're about 76 touch on zone, so that's about right. Take a look at your delta P here. We're at 3.2 pressure differential, so that's perfect. Altimeters verify 3004 and 3004. Looks like we already got the blue needles hooked up. Approach briefing is complete. And CAS is checked. Any questions before we go into the soup? I would probably let the flight attendants know, prepare the cabin for the arrival, and have them secure the cabin a little earlier because it's probably going to be bumpy. Yeah, no ATIS, huh? Bummer. Yeah, we should have an update, too, on that ATIS report. I don't know what's going on with it. It's giving us an error on the on the code. All right, I am going to record this dang landing, but we will do the replay when we get to Canada. By the way, we stayed at a really nice hotel in Canada. I forgot what it was called, but uh, it's a good it's a good hotel. Um, just to just to talk to you about Monday, really quick. I know we're at sterile cockpit, and I got to be quiet. But Monday, we are going to simulate day three. So we're going to start in Canada, where we left off today. This day, this is ends day two. When we're up in Canada, we're done, and then we go from we go we go Nova Scotia, Portland, Islip, Raleigh. Myrtle Beach, Miami. It's a busy day. And I'm going to be tired. All right. I'm going to go sterile cockpit now, folks. So I'll see you on the ground here. I'll bring our speed down just about 220. Start slowing down. I'm going to come up. Portland uh, traffic, Riptide 5203. Setting up for the ILS-11 in Portland, just to the south, uh, heading to Buxton. 3,000. Okay. Here we go. Thousand ago. That's what it is. The Marriott Harbor front. Go ahead and look that up. That's where we're staying tonight. Yep, getting to the bumps. I'm feeling them. Okay, approach. Coming armed. Out two caps. Let's get down. Let's get slow. Let's get going. 180 on the speed. We'll go flaps eight. Okay, here we go. Flaps eight. One, two notches. DH coming in at two hundred. We're hooked up. ILS is captured. One one half dot. Gear down. One sixty on the speed. Flap coming in twenty. All right. 
right now. One thirty eight. Okay, hooking up one three eight. Lap thirty. Three thousand if we had to. Set. Get ready for flap forty five. 2,000, flap 45, 1,900. Checklist. Okay, before landing, thrust reversers. Ooh, that's why we do checklist. Armed. Landing gear. Down three green. Flaps 45. Transponder and radar are off. Portland traffic, Riptide 5203 on final runway 11, Portland. Okay, all the way down to uh, 200 feet. Coming on the speed, correcting speed. Wow, look at that. Runway's in sight. I got it. We're going to go visual here in just a minute. I got a wind check coming in 13 knots on the right. And our lights are on. 1,000. My plane. And a nice little right side. Light director off. Thank you. Got an airplane on the ground, looks like. Okay, when we taxi off the runway here, we're going to go ahead and, uh, if we're fortunate enough to land, that is. Okay, it looks like the wind's shifting us just a little bit on profile. Ooh, little sink. Correcting. Turbulence. <clears throat> we're getting a little bit. Pretty cool, you got an airplane on here. Feel free if you guys want to fly with me. You're more than welcome. 200 feet. Oh, cool, it's a Dash 8? No, it's an ATR. I gotta stop, stop looking at that airplane. Saddle. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. There we go. Okay, two in reverse. Cross correcting on the on the uh, arrow lines. Uh, keep those reversers in. Hopefully we can get off. I will just get off on Alpha. I don't want to jam on the brakes right now. Stowing them. Welcome. You know what? We'll taxi on the on the runway here. All right, welcome to Portland. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Maine. The local time is 11:31 a.m. and it's currently about 63 degrees Fahrenheit. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft is comfortably Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bin, as items may have shifted during the flight. We thank you for flying with us. Oh, I can't even reach my tiller. Well, welcome to Portland, folks. That was quite cool. This is a really cool airport if you've never seen Portland. Let me call them up. Portland traffic, Riptide 5203, clear of the runway 11. All right, let's go and fire up the APU. We do have ground services here, so that's good. Cool, Power field coming 70, in. Uh, departing 11 Portland. Uh, that's FYI, it's just a little choppy up there. Roger, 
Roger. Thanks, Thanks for the update. That's cool. Look at that. That's an ATR. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to go to gate... Um, crap. Not that gate. There's no such thing. <laughs> I've got to get the right gate. I was just here. Oh, it was, there it is. All right, gate two or one? It's one Bravo. All right, guys, gate 1B, that's where we're going. Throw probes off. We'll throw that off. Nope. That's off. Off, off. Okay, let's go to 1 Bravo on the gate. I'll do a good spool down for you. How's that? So you can see the spool down, and then I'm going to run to the restroom. We got the APU lit. That's good. We're going to shut off our lights now. We don't want to get anybody blind here. Where are you, Holmes? What are you doing? What are you doing? No. I care what you tell me. <laughs> That's good enough for government work right there. Okay, brakes coming set. I'm going to go ahead and spool down both engines. Two's coming off now. One's going to come off on the spool. All right, we made it. Whew. I love that view. Do you guys love that view? That's a pretty view, isn't it? Real nice view right there. How was that landing? Was that okay? What was the touchdown rate? Oh, look at it now. LAX. <laughs> It's pretty warm here in LAX. Sure it is. First rate. I wish everybody, every airport scenery had that gate clear label like this. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Look at that spool down. Okay. Cool. Enough of that. Let's get back to work because we got to go to work. We're almost done. That's set. That's set. Coming on the overhead here. Okay. Beacon light is off. Boost pump, I'll throw one of them off. Hydraulics coming off. We'll get the passengers out of here. Off, 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 off. Coming across. Those are on. Everything else is good to go. Seatbelts off on that. Everything's off there. Let's go open the doors and get them out. Aircraft. Open the doors. Open, open. Shocked. Connect. And I'm going to shut the APU down. Okay, that is available. APU is now off. You want to make sure you push that again. Make sure that's in. And then we're going to go ahead and close it. I'm just going to keep the door on. That's coming off. We don't even need any AC because it's 63 degrees outside. Well, folks, sweet. Let me get a time in here. 1137. We are due when? 12? Man. 11.37. Woo! Good stuff. All right, let's call for deep planning. Request deep planning. So what they'll do is they're just going to walk out of here, and they're going to go right into this door right there on one Bravo. This is our gate here at Coastal. Very nice. Okay. What I'm going to do is hit the lab, come back, and uh, we will start getting ready for the next run. We're the last 
last haul. How's that? Oop, I had that right. Stand by. All right. I wish every airport. Yeah, I got that. Okay, folks, you want to stick around. We got one more leg to go into uh, Nova Scotia. It's an, that's another quick flight. It's probably about an hour and 30 minutes right around there, maybe even quicker. Uh, anyway, we'll do that and stick with us. I'll be back in five minutes. I'm just going to run to the terminal. 40 minutes of luxurious rest, not care in the world. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. I'll give you an outside view. So this is a pretty airport. You should see the D planning. You are I malformed. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll be right back. Stand by. I mean, I only have five minutes, so I really will be back quick.
All right, folks, so check this out. We've got um, <laughs> right now quarter mile visibility in, uh, in Halifax, Nova Scotia, four miles missed. Well, half quarter mile right now, it's really tough uh, to get that done, but it's supposed to come up, right? So I'm looking over here, 0, 03. 07 right around here four statue miles in this we're talking about from uh, 07 1200 Zulu right now time is approximately 519 so we're looking at six seven ish time frame right in this range four statue miles missed so we're gonna go just because it's forecasted to come up and not down which I like that's good, but it's going to be ugly. I mean, if it stays at quarter mile visibility, we probably, probably can't shoot the approach. So we'll have to see what we could do. We are definitely picking up an uh, alternate somewhere over here. I don't know, probably in St. Jean. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's just plan on that. We'll plan on St. John going into, I've never been to that airport. Looks like 62 passengers on this one, and we've got uh, definitely going to add some fuel here we're gonna go alternate airports let's take a look at that and we do need to take off alternate boston that's fine and then we are definitely going to pull an, uh, an alternate out of this airport and i'm going to click find it's probably going to be saint george or saint jean um where are they calling cyzx why don't we pull it to St. John? Let's go there. I know there's an airport close to here. Um, analyze that. What are they saying, though? What's that going to be? 15 miles broken. That's beautiful. That's a VFR. That's because on this side of Halifax, you've got the sea. The ocean comes out. That Atlantic Ocean just comes in and just coats it. Welcome to coastal weather, folks. I love it. Good stuff. Scrub? No, we're not scrubbing. This is not a scrub flight. We're going. Um, auto, we're just going to get it going, and then we'll hop out. It might take a turn for the worse. We'll, we'll check it out. Uh, I do want weather, so I want a couple minutes of weather fuel here, just 20 minutes to, to mess around. Hold if we needed to, all that good stuff. Good route so far. Uh, let's take a look at our weather radar here. And on our charts, you could see nothing, just a bunch of sea fog, nothing to worry about. It. All right, typical, typical for the fall, typical coastal weather. Okay. I uh, like what we got going on here. Let's click, click generate the flight. Bring it in. And we're go. We are go. Go for launch. Go flight. That's right. So minimum fuel 9.8. Maximum fuel 10.6. We're going to take 10.6 outbound. Jet A in on the fuel. And we're going to be... Let me show you. I'll do it again here. There you go. And then we're looking at uh, zero fuel weight of 60.1 with a takeoff weight roughly 70.2. Landing weight going to bring in about 67 after it's all said and done. And uh, fuel 10.6. So we're going to have that planned on 10.6. So that's 5.3, correct? 5.3, 5.3, this late at night, my brain, I'm surprised it's even working. Or this many legs. I'm doing a three leg. This is a, this is what you expect. Okay. Airport uh, YH. I think it's YHZ. Okay. Good. All that looks good, folks. Weights are looking good. I uh, like what we've got so far. How's that? Good plan. We'll click export. All right, that's good to go. We'll close that down. And one last thing we're going to do, we're just going to click Update, File It, and we will file our flight plan on the VATSIM network. Pull that in. We are going to be same route, 5203, and we're going from Portland to 
Halifax, Nova Scotia. Uh, the time, folks, if you were wondering, how about 50 minutes? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. These flights are so short. 50 minutes, I'll give you an update, and then we get all that stuff going. Uh, import the flight, import from Simbrief. We're going to pull that in. And I'm going to go ahead and close this down. And I think we've already planned it. Good deal. All right, we already planned it. We're all set there, ready to go. Uh, file the flight plan. Fetch it from the server. Okay, file it up 33,000 feet on the climb. That's pretty darn high. Coming over here, click that, click load. Start the flight. Boop. Nice. Okay. All set. Let's go back in the flight deck and let's get this thing on the road. Let's get this show on the road. How's that? Uh, time check, 11.53. Good night. All right, I'm going to take it five minutes back <clears throat> because I'm messing around with the dispatch release and it wouldn't have happened. So, yes, I'm going to roll back just a little bit. There we go. How's that? All right, boredom. Request boarding. Yes. Same thing here. Start flight. Career mode coming in. Flight time, 50 minutes. We're going to say an hour and 10, even though it's not. We're going to give ourselves a little bit of pad, and we're taking off in about 24 minutes. We are hustling. And not Wi-Fi equipped. We are going to try to serve snacks. Customs is required. Here we go. 2,200. You'll need 26 to shoot 14. Okay. Yeah, we'll get there when we get there. I haven't even thought about that yet. We'll see it when, if we're legal. I say we dispatch, though. I say, I really, really, I do. I think we dispatch because it's forecasted to go up. That's what's giving me a little bit of a, okay, I think we're good. It's forecasted to get better. All right, let's go over here. Wait right under the index page. Position initial. You've seen this done a thousand times now. <laughs> Kilo. P W M. Okay, I get that done. Hide that. Let me look at the uh, approach here. We're looking at one north forty three thirty eight. Got that. West seventy eighteen five. Got that. Pick any one, buddy. They're all good to go. Okay, flight plan coming in. Kilo PWM, Portland, Maine, to CYH. I have to make sure it's right. <coughs> YHZ. YH Zulu. And we're going to plug that route in there. There it goes. We'll execute. Looks like runway 18. We'll see how that goes. Routes well, loaded. Perf page coming in. All right, I've got uh, 62 passengers, cargo of 28.92, fuel 10,600. I've got to write down the fuel load right now. Get all that paperwork done. All right, what are we looking at? 3775. Over 37300 three, zero, zero there and 7505. Zero, Plenty of fuel. Okay. PWM. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. <clears throat> By the way, do you folks want to see this? I'm going to keep the defaults the way they are. One thing, let's go to flights. Just make sure that our sim brief is coinciding with what we're doing here. 0.74, it's perfect. Okay, we're good. We're good. Flight plan looks good. Copy the active. Okay. Thanks, Paige. We've got um, 
flying into parts right here. Anchor, Alex, sync those up. And then we're flying the arrival into the airport at um, Fundy 5. Just make sure that we are set here. Arrivals. Fundy 5, we're going to do the star right now. Axe transition, I believe. Yep. Now it's set. Click execute. We're going to have to sync it all up. Anchor, Alex, Baffy. Let's make sure that's right. <laughs> That'd be not the worst thing we could do. Anchor, Alex, and then we're done. Pretty much. Now we're looking at uh, Baffy, Movox, Aliota, Runway 1 4. Okay. Good with that. Click legs page. We're all set. Perf coming in. Vina, we already set that fuel management coming in. We've got that as well to predictive. Nothing changes on that. That's good. <clears throat> Let's get the fuel. Let's get the packs loaded and the fuel and all that good stuff. So we're going to come in at uh, 62. <clears throat> do you guys want to see on Monday, do you want to see the return flight, the return day on this is what I'm saying. I guess I should ask you that. I'm surprised we weren't weight restricted here. Um... We could have been, but I didn't see it. Oh, I know why we're not. We only had 62 passengers on. That's why. So, do you want to do the return trip? Do you want to see the return day on this? It'll be a full schedule. Again. 29, 20. Please be sure to place your larger carry-on items in the overhead bins and smaller items underneath the seat in front of you. Unless you're in the front row, please place all your items in the overhead bins. If you have any trouble finding a location for your carry-on item, please let us know. Uh, 10,600. If the overhead bin is full after you put your carry-on inside of it, please close the bin as a courtesy to other passengers. Once all your items are put away, please clear the aisle and sit down in your seat to allow other passengers to find their seats as well. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, please leave the exit seat to the passenger. 5.7 on the trim. We're taking off uh, 34, 34, 43. Perform the actions required. If you are not able or prefer not to perform these actions, please let a flight attendant know. Flaps are 8, cell temp 32. Now is the time to get out at any last-minute text messages if you need to, but we ask that once you depart, please right. put away any laptops or tablets. Thank you, and welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. That is exactly right. Dang it. You guys ready to go? Let's get this done. Okay, coming in on the pumps. Pumps are good. Coming over. Okay, beacon lights are off. That's off. That's off. That's off. Those are off. Power fuel. We're going to go ahead and start the APU. Two faults are on. That's good. What's our uh, our altitude? 76. Oh, right there. We're just going to crank it down a couple times. One. I think that'll do it. All right. That's good. That's good. Cal, it's off. Wind shield coming on. Window heat. Probes are on. That's good to go. Auto on. Auto, auto. We're just reheating someone. We'll be ready shortly. Yep. All right, we're going to go uh, click nav source. White needles. Anytime we're ready. There we go. We got white needles on the FMC. Good to go. Hey, okay, coming across, looks like there is no sit out of here. We're going to climb to 5,000. How's that? Gives us enough altitude. Kind of get get to where we need to go. I'm going to go 5,000 feet here. All right, 5,000 feet is set. All that's good to go. That's set as well. 2,200 on the radio. Oh, excuse me, 2,000. That's basically that squat code. is just basically we're an IFR flight. All right, we're ready programmed, we're ready to go. Uh, we'll run the checklist and be on. We'll be on it. Okay, before I start, logbook is set crew O2s. Let's just go ahead and check that. Coming down here, set the crews. And then as we do that, we look right here, 1840, that's set. Okay, we've got uh, park brake is on, fuel quantity is verified at uh, 10.6. We've got it. Departure briefing is complete. CAS is checked. Okay, I've got uh, before start checklist is complete. Let's go ahead and move our chairs. Buckle up. Let's get the heck out of here. 
Once they load up, we're done. All right, do you have any questions, comments, concerns, cheap shots? Now is the time. I'm a little tired, so fatigue could be an issue today. You know, my background, um, when we talk about threats, we should be talking about threats. It's one of the threats we're going to talk about is fatigue. How do you combat that? Uh, you got to stay mentally ahead of the aircraft. So we've got to stay mentally ahead of the aircraft. And I need you, you watching the stream to help me out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It helps us out big time. If you're just watching this on a repeat, you wonder what the, we're about. Hopefully you've already got some value out of this where we do it right. We learn something and we have fun at this channel. That's what we are about. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and right into the briefing. And I'll show you what we got going on. We're going to be taking off out of this airport. So I'm going to click flights. We're going to go ahead and dump this. As our last flight, we're going to click import, import from Simbrief, and click that. Delta 1441, we hanging out still. It says, are. yes, looking forward to Monday. Love of the real world ops. Yes, good that's good. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome uh, aboard. She's flight yapping. Two, oh, uh, what we're going to do? Our flight time will be roughly one hour and ten minutes. Basically, we're going to taxi out. We'll go ahead and turn the nose. Probably fire both engines today, and we'll just taxi down Alpha, and then we're out of there. Okay, uh, pretty pretty straightforward departure. There is no SID on this one. It's just going to be straight, right? This 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 has you going south. Uh, basically, it'll be a Portland six, pretty much straight out. All right. Any questions on this? If we have a problem before V1, I mean, excuse me, if we have a problem before 80 knots, we'll stop the aircraft. Anything from 80 knots to V1, we're only going to stop fire, failure, fear, shear. Anything above V1, the only time we're going to stop this aircraft is if it's coming apart. All right. That is it. And we'll do that with throttles to idle, full reversers, on the brakes, manually. Do you have any questions? We do have a takeoff alternate in Boston if we had to. We could, uh, if we have an engine failure or something like that, we would definitely go to Boston. All right. Flight directors are coming on. I wish you were flying because I'd say it is your aircraft. <laughs> I'm a little tired. I got to tell you. All right. Why do we still have the, the stupid thing here? Are we done? Are we done loading bags? What are we doing? We're not done loading bags. All right. Let me do a walk around while they're doing that. Man, see this dumb mouse? It's up, it's down, it's very annoying. I guess it works, but I don't like it. All right, we would start here. You'd come down, whoop, see what I mean? Very annoying. All right, so you come down from the stairs. We'll start here. Pedo tube looks good. Those gears looking good. Windshield wipers are looking good. Radome is great. Again, pedo tube and the TAT probe AOA is good. Look at it. Your nose gear. Come up to your nose gear and just make sure, you know, there's nothing out of the ordinary. Doors are closed. That's good. We got a door open there. Fuel panel is shut. Coming across the wing looks great. No problems there. Oh yeah, it's full of echoes because uh, the I have the alerts on. That's why. You're gonna get echoes with that when I have the alerts on. I'll have to turn them off. All right, engine looking good there too. You wanna again look at the cowling, make sure there's no leaks, it's not damaged or anything like that. We do have the APU door open. You can see it there, and our trim is set with the stabilizer. Position light is on, and their boarding bag still. And we'll one whole cart to go here. Now again, I'm going to just come over here, look at the gear, then we'll flip around, look at the uh, engine. Gear looks good. Turn around, look at that engine. That's looking good. All right, leaning edge, trailing edge of the wing looks great. We've got one, two, three, four static wicks plus three. All right, good to go. Duck your head. That hurts when you get hit with that. Uh, leaning edge looks good on the wing. They're loading bags in the front, even though we have all the bags in the back. Who's counting? Excuse me. All right. Let's jump back on the aircraft and let's get settled. If I could figure, figure out how to do this. 
man, this is so annoying to control this thing. It's very annoying. It's giving me a headache. All right, I'm done. All right, we got full of echoes because of the, uh, I told you, it's because of the headset. So I've got to find a way to get the alerts to you. How's that? All right, folks, we're ready to rock and roll. Hang with me. We're almost there. 5,300 over 5,300. I'm just getting the paperwork done, like always. If you guys like this and you want to fly for us, do me a favor. Go ahead and apply. Because we'd love to have you. Overcast. Uh, probably going to be bumpy on the low. Uh, anybody with... Oh, you idiot. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I'm, I'm, I hit that button twice. It's the unload button twice. It is very annoying. Airports coming in. Weather. And we got an ATIS. Nope. We have a METAR. Uh, right now, Portland is showing 150 at 5. Visibility is 10. Broken clouds at 8. And another layer at 44. Temperature is 17. 2.17 altimeter. 3002 runway 11. Okay. I will be right back with the PA. All right, folks. What was that about? Folks, welcome aboard Flight 5203, nonstop service over to Halifax in Nova Scotia. Right now, the weather in Halifax, we're looking at um, temperatures reported just about... Uh, 14, about 57 degrees Fahrenheit, 14 degrees Celsius. It looks like we've got overcast clouds at 200 feet. Visibility is a little low. we got some fog in the area. We'll let you know as we get a little closer. Once we push back from the gate, I show a 50-minute flight. Uh, should be, it might be a little bit bumpy on the climb out and the in descent into Halifax. Right now, we want to thank you for flying with Coastal Airways. Yeah, we do ask you to remain seated. Keep those seatbelts fastened just in case we hit any unexpected rough air. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. All right, we're ready to go, folks. We're out of here.
Let's go ahead and get it done and get her done. GSX coming in. We're going to go ahead and call for a push. As they do that, uh, do you want to request a pushback? Yeah. What do you think I'm doing? Of course I want to. Okay, we're going to kind of start the uh, APU. Boom, that's coming up. Okay, as it does that, I'm going to come over here. We're going to shut down the doors. Closed, closed. We're going to not disconnect yet. Don't do that, my gosh. we got to get the APU ro rolling. Okay, folks, you ready for the last leg? It's a quick one. What are we at, 3002? If you haven't yet liked this, I'm giving you a full day. Turn after turn after turn. And it's on time. Bypass pin inserted. We like that. Okay, on the overhead, we've got an available light. We'll go ahead and kill the external ground power. Disconnect. Disconnect. And click that. And we are on. We're ready to go. Here comes the pink panther. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and push back. We're going to face west. Gear. You're coming locked. Are you on OT yet? No, we're not on overtime. Um, matter of fact, we are well under our Part 117 rules. So Part 117 rules, um, you would have to, you know, we have this schedule built in for this. If our pilots wanted to fly a full day like this, they could and still be legal. That's kind of how we did it. So we fall into part 117 here, Gary, in this one. Okay, I've got a time check, 12.08. I can cheat it a little, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Out of the gate, 12.08. Okay, I am definitely getting approval to push earlier. Our APU is on. We're going to go ahead and uh, push. Let me call them up. Beacon lights coming on. There we go. I'm going to throw that on. Portland Traffic Riptide 5203. Push. One Bravo. Okay, let's go. Brakes off. Bam. You're out of here. Yep. Okay, I want to start number two. Number two coming to ground. Here we go. Look at that rain. Gotta love it. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the front of the aircraft for a safety demonstration. Fuel. When the seatbelt light is on, please make sure that your seatbelt is fastened low and tight across your lap. To fasten, insert the metal fittings into one another. Tighten by There's a light. On the Gotta let off. To release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. In the event that the seatbelt light is not on, we suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened in case of unexpected turbulence. Please take a few moments to now locate one of the several emergency exits on this aircraft. In some cases, your nearest exit may be behind you. In case of an emergency and we need to evacuate the aircraft, there is lighting on the floor that will guide you towards the exit. In the event that the cabin loses pressure, an oxygen mask will drop right in front of you. Start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth and secure the elastic band behind your head. Tighten the straps if necessary and breathe normally. Okay, I want to start number one. The oxygen is flowing to the mask. If you are traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask first and then assist others. Keep your mask on until a member of the crew advises you it's safe to remove it. In the Looks unlikely up. event of a water landing, a light vest is located in a pouch under your feet or between the armrests. Yeah, Gary, comes down to hours, buddy. It's all about hours. Um, I'd have to look again, but it looks like fuel in. Uh, this particular domestic flying like this, you could do a 12-hour duty day, and that's from punch in to punch out, or an 8-hour flight day. So we're not even close to 8 hours. Probably about 6 when we're done. Light off. Make sure your seatbelts are fastened and seat backs and tray tables are in their full upright position. We remind you that this is a non-smoking flight. 
Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the smoke detectors located in the laboratories is ECS prohibited is by looking law. Good. It's All this information and more can be found in the safety card located in the seat back in front of you. We suggest the relics. this and letting a cabin member know if you have any questions. Go straight across. Thank you for flying with us again, and we hope you enjoy your flight. Okay, electric's good. DC bus is good. Fuel, good. Flight controls coming in. Flaps 8. Uh, control track coming in. One, two, up, down, left, and right. Okay, looks good on the flight controls. Cast coming in. Status check. Let's go ahead and on the overhead here. And come on, you stupid. Okay, low, low. That's on. Those are on. Nose light recogs on. Strobe lights are off right now. We fired up two. Let's go ahead and do a checklist. Arming. That's armed. Okay, after start, fuel check is checked. Anti ice is set. Rudder is checked. Nose wheel steering is on. Reversers coming on. They were on. <clears throat> okay, CAS is checked. Okay, we're ready to go here. Let's pull the brake and let's get the heck out of Dodge. I elected to start both engines today just because normally you wouldn't. You would just start the one. Uh, enjoy the wing views as we taxi over to Portland, through Portland here. Okay, members, get ready for the emojis in the chat if you're still with me. We're going to start throwing the parachutes here. The parachutes in the chat. Let's get her done. Monday you'll have a better one. Ready to go. Thank you. There you go, 80 quarts. <laughs> Sean, I <coughs> love it. Good stuff. This is a pretty well done airport, folks. This beautiful scenery. They did a fan phenomenal job. I was just here a couple of years ago. It's absolutely pretty, pretty stunning what it what it looks like. Good stuff. And I'm off the taxiway here. Okay, look at that. That's good. By the way, if you're wondering. How is everybody doing this with the emojis? you got to become a member. We have four memberships, I believe. And they're different different stats. You could spend as low as two bucks, I think. Like three dollars or something like that for the first tier membership. And that'll get you, man, that first tier will get you really any, you know. You get um, the streams that we do. And you'll see all the content that we post. And there's a whole other video sneak peek already that's coming out on sunday i wonder if i could move my dang seat up i always do this Ugh, i don't think i can all right there we go once you strap in it's really hard to move in this thing maybe i went too far forward cannot see the menu in this plane the menu what does that mean <laughs> All right, here we go. I'll light it up. Here we go. Okay, we're going to go taxi pretty much. Go straight out on 2 Niner. And that's going to help us get right past where we need to go. Okay, taxi flaps are set. Takeoff data is complete. Trim is set. Before takeoff, takeoff config is set. We got flaps at 8. We'll throw our lights on. Fuel quantity is set at 10.4. I will update the runway update. You can see on the FMC, you got to do a runway update, which I'll do here in a minute. 
Oh, food or drink? Yeah. Um, it's standard coastal food or drink, folks. By the way, I really would love... I've got to do this. To, i got to sit down and, and like make a like a menu, a coastal menu on drinks. <laughs> all right, looks good. We'll take the whole runway, use it all. We're paid for it. Let's tap the brakes. Portland traffic, Riptide 5203, tag, taking runway 11, departure west, excuse me, departure east, Portland. I got to move the seat back one notch. There we go. Okay, lights are coming on. Bam, bam, bam. Wing and spec lights on. Logos are off. Let's give you a good lineup here. We'll get a good lineup. A little bit over. All right, 1-1 one, one on the pavement, 1-1 one, one on the ND. I'm going to stop the aircraft really quick, make sure we're good to go. I don't want to rush it like I did the last time. That's all set, ready to go. You guys ready? Here we go. Parachute's on, by the way. Bring it up to 50. There we go, and thrust is coming. Set. Click 1, and toka set. A little bit of a crosswind, so I'm just going to throw a little bit of airline correction. Not a lot. V1, set. 80 knots, check. Okay, there's V1. VR. Kicking that rudder in there, there's V2. Positive rate of climb, gear up. I got nothing on the radar, but folks, I'm just, I'm not painting anything on radar right now, so. Just to let you know, 2,700 feet, here we go. I'll speed it up. Turn in. Okay, flaps up one. Climb thrust set. 2,000 flaps up. Turn outbound. Okay, where is this air? Where is this? I'm sorry I'm doing this, but uh, I can't. I'm going to the soup right now. Dang! I wanted to show you there's an island here, and I fished off of it for striped bass. I fly fished. <laughs> there was hours, spent hours doing that. It was a lot of fun. All right, speed check coming up. <clears throat> speed hold. Speed check, altitude off, speed, all right, altitude is acquired, push this thing down, <clears throat> go to 10 degrees, nose up please, and navigation is coming on, okay, nav on, climbing through 5,000, let's go ahead and do the speed, go go down the speed altitude autopilot is on there we go and altitude we're going to climb to our final altitude of two what are we going three crap i forgot what it was okay look at the outside air temperature is 14 degrees so we're good we're going to go ahead and speed up Okay, we're going to push it up to about uh, 250 here, 220 now. Kind of got to wait to get it out of the area. You get out of the airspace of so the class Charlie, and then you can pump it. Oh, yeah, we're clear of the clouds right now. Boom, that's the end of that. See ya. You know what I forgot to do, right? I forgot to... Stupid. Oh, well. I forgot the uh, fuel. My bad. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to go increase our speed now to 250. 
set coming up. Range. Good to go. All right. All right, we're through or clear class Charlie airspace going direct to anchor. We're going to go ahead and climb to an altitude. 330 on the final, folks. So climb up to 330. Passing 10,000 feet. Let the flight attendants know. I'll do that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now passing through 10,000 feet. You can now turn on your larger portable electronic devices. As a reminder, please keep your seatbelt fastened while you are seated and do not congregate in the galleys or near the lavatories. Alright, that's the end of that. Cool. Good takeoff. 250 on the speed. Everything looks good. Flaps and slats are up. Let's do a climb check. Gear and flaps are up. Fuel cross feed is off. It's auto. Bleeds. We didn't touch them. But we'll check them. Are on normal. Okay. Thrust is set. And thrust reversers are off. Our takeoff checklist is complete. I'm going to throw the wing inspects off. We'll go outside have a look. That's yeah, pretty. Once we hit, uh, it's pretty smooth. So we're going to go ahead and increase that speed now. Rip all the way up. 270. Okay, let me get to your comments. Uh, does it come down hours? I got that. I cannot see the menu. The plane food or drinks. That's right. It says, hey, Sean, have you flown this aircraft? Sean says, have not yet. Haven't picked it up. I've flown it. I have it, but not flown it yet. Well, hopefully we can inspire you to fly this thing. It's a fun airplane. I happen to love it. All right, Sean, where are we staying? What's our hotel? We're staying at the Marriott. That's what we're talking about right now. Right now, the crew is going to be talking about what hotel we're staying at and what food we're going to get. Where are we going to eat dinner? And it can't be a chain. No chains. Somebody pick out a dinner or something, something to eat. It can't be a chain restaurant, though. All right. While you do that, I'm going to go to the perf page and look at our prog. Uh, right now, 40, I show 41 minutes until we get to top of descent. Well, actually, until we get to the airport. So this is a quick, quicker flight as well. But I'm definitely going to need METAR. So I'm wondering if we can get YZ, what is it, YHZ in the METAR. Let's see if we can get that. I want to see what's doing here. Uh, so we go that, M-E-T-A-R-Y, H, Zulu, enter. Let's see if it works. Okay, we're through 18,000 here. Let's go ahead and turn this. 2992. 2992. And then throw it off. 1, 2. All that's good to go. Okay, climb through 18,000 is complete. Dang it. Watching you like a hawk to fly this plane. <laughs> uh, it's fun. Error connecting to the remote server. What is that about? Okay, guys, I'm going to have a snack. It's cookies. I got nothing else in the terminal. When I went in there, it was just cookies. So, that was a bummer, huh? All right, I'm going to go 280. There we go. 
We're hitting anchor right now. You know, when we hit Alex, we got... Hmm. It's one of the, 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 the Nat tracks. One of the North Atlantic tracks when we hit Alex. Isn't that cool? That's how far north we're going. It's pretty far north. If you ask me. Uh, we have Alpha 90 approach. I don't know what that is. Could somebody verify what Alpha 90 is? You'll have to use the iPad. Okay. So crazy. Why do you think it's doing that, Sean? Any, any ideas? Is it a, um... We got to check the weather for sure. Okay, one hour, four minutes ago. I'm expecting an update on the weather. So, folks, we got to keep our ears to the rails on this one. Um, because the weather could be very much an issue. Right now. We can't even shoot the approach. If we don't have the minimums. So... Hang on tight, because this could be fun. Sorry, I'm eating. I'm waiting for an update. Mm -hmm. All right. Sean said the server might be down. Okay. Well, right now it's a quarter mile, so winds are uh, four, uh, 140, so we said 14. And I'll do this with you up here so we can see what's going on. All right, let me go uh, hide there. Uh, airport's here. We're going to go here, and then click charts. Now, we're flying the Fundy 5. So we hit Alex, we're going to go to Bafty. The move, move ox and looks like one four. So let's look at the uh, a taxi airport information. Uh, five or one four here is at 7,700. Looks like two three gives us the best, but that's not what we'll do. It's a 10,500 foot runway. 1-4. What does 1-4 uh, offer us? 1-4 has got a straight up ILS. Minimums coming in at uh, RVR 26 or half mile. We got a quarter. Okay. That's a problem. Okay, so we, we're not even legal to even shoot the approach. At this point. Having some issues accessing directly, I think it might be offline. Okay. Probably is. Um, 27,000. So, what does 5 offer us? And I don't care about the crosswind, it's not that much. So, runway 23, a half mile. I think everything's going to be a half mile. I'm assuming. I would love to go to Cat 2. The only way I could do that is with the HUD. If we're going to not simulate we have a HUD, then we can't do that, right? We're kind of stuck. Now, if we go to information and click runways, the best runway is either 2, 3, or 1, 4. 1, 4 gives us a 6 knot headwind. Um. Hey, Sean, is the Nightbot working, like, automatic, I wonder? Gary says, where are good places to visit in Portland? Everywhere. It's pretty. It's a cool city. It's not even a city. It's like a town, but it's really neat. I mean, I enjoyed it. 1-4 is the best runway, so we got to keep our eyes peeled for this. Okay. Um... 
You guys might be in for a treat. <laughs> Hopefully we can get in there. We're kind of stuck at this right here. Uh, RBR 2600 or half mile visibility. We just got to keep our eyes peeling on this weather issue. We got an hour 10. I'm waiting for the weather to kick in again to give us, you know, it's low IFR. That's not good. It's limited. Yes, okay, so you're not doing it. It's doing it. Okay, that's good. I'm glad that works. Something's working. 30,000 feet, 0.74 is what we want to hold. DH coming in 200 feet. Nightbot has been promoting the channel memberships and merch store. Sweet. Appreciate that. Speaking of the merch store, it's right there. Check it out. Coastal Airways to shop.com. If it doesn't go and you're like, oh, this website's broken, just type in www.coastalairwaysshop.com. And we got some cool shirts in there. We're going to actually put new merch coming up here in the fall. Okay. Um, just passing Bangor. Ugh. We'll see. Uh, we've got to come up with a, some kind of a game plan. I think we might have to hold. Well, I don't want to hold for another hour, so um, we might bug out and go to St. John if we had to. Uh, I don't, you know, depends on our alternate and all that stuff, so really it just depends. It depends on this next weather update. Because this next weather update is going to be the either we're in a world of hurt or we might be okay <laughs> we'll see it looks like alpha 90 has no bearing on us whatsoever uh, where is alpha 90 i don't even know what that is it, it's it's an approach controller and i don't know where they are like i wouldn't i'm looking all over the place a thousand ago no idea give me something All right, thousand to go. I'm gonna pull the power back. Point seven. I want to kind of get there, so point seven seven is good. Is a good one. Coming out of the detents. Just a little bit. There we go. Airplanes cruising, right along. All right. Uh, this is gonna be. Fun, fun, fun. I'm looking at the weather, folks. As if you're wondering what we're doing. We got 11 minutes, quarter mile visibility. Dang. Okay. We're not legal. And that was 11 minutes ago. So stick. All right, we've got 11, we've got quarter mile visibility, runway 23, RVR 1800, vertical visibility 2400 feet. Eight, wait, 1800 on 23. Just humor me. Okay, you guys with me on that? 1800 on 23. Get rid of this. 1800 on 23 so let's go to airport click here go to here click charts and 1800 on 23 approach on 323 ls cat 2 we could do that 2400 Ooh, we got the rv Ooh, we don't have the rvr dang it we need 26, 2200 vertical, 2600. Uh, broken 200 feet. I wonder if we can shoot a cat too. I'm thinking, we, we have the technology in the aircraft, why not? <laughs> Should we do it? <laughs> We could just shoot a cat too and get in there at uh, 122. 
Who's with me? Who's with me? Our lovely flight attendants will be starting our in-flight service. We'll be serving complimentary drinks and snacks. Premium drinks are available for a small charge. Please note we only um, accept credit cards. <sighs> what are we looking at here? Right in the middle of this cloud deck here. We're negative 13. Dang it. Okay, continuous coming on. We're going to go ahead and throw on the cal as well. Cali's coming on. Antis, I should say. Okay, here comes Alex. So, folks, I'm going to ask you at home, what do you want to do? We could probably shoot the Cat 2 approach with the HUD. I haven't used this HUD, so runway elevation... Um, the length on this airport is pushing at this particular runway 10,500 but that is not correct so what we're going to do is click airports and we're going to go to charts taxi and then we're going to do airport information we'll click on that and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the landing beyond threshold for 2-3 is uh, 8 nine, four. So we're just going to click clear, 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 clear. And we're just going to go clear, clear. And we're going to go 8,900, 8, Enter that, and then elevation on this particular runway is pushing 200 feet, looks like. Uh, nope, how about um, 450? Three degree glide slope, we've got it. Um, A3. <laughs> I mean, we could do it. What the heck? I just set it up. Any any ideas from the peanut gallery over here? What do you guys want to do? Um, we could fly the Cat 3 or Cat 2 approach using the HUD. We could probably get lucky and get in there. Or we could pretend we do not have a HUD on this aircraft. And then we're going to be hoping the visibility comes up. What do we want to do? There's a few of you left here. We got top of descent coming up. <laughs> oh, crap. Let me... Uh... I would, again, I'm not going to buckle it up. Uh, it's because we're 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 getting bumped around pretty good. I'm feeling turbulence here. I'll be right back. And folks from the flight deck, uh, we're looking like uh, arrival here in 22 minutes. The uh, temperature, once again, 14 degrees. Uh, overcast, we have some fog. Uh, right now, I show 32 minutes before we get to the destination. Uh, we're going to actually keep the seatbelts on just because it's a little bit bumpy. Uh, so thanks for flying with us. Thanks for watching the Flight Sim Broadcasting Network. Sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the flight. 
All right, so the we're gonna do the uh, Cat Three approach with the Cat Two approach. We are on the Fundy Five right now. We need a cross. We're gonna come up to uh, Logpo. Let's just make sure I have it right here. Arrivals. We're gonna change this to the Eyeless Two Three. Fundy Five transition. We don't have that. We'll just go ahead and cancel that mod. Vectors. Legs. Okay, I've got to change it to runway 14. So I'm going to do that now. I mean, runway 23. Execute that. And we've got Bafty, which we're headed to now. And then we're going to go Alex. Wait a minute. No, Bafty next, and then Alex, then Movox, correct, and then from there we go Logpo at 5,000. That should be a cap altitude. It is. Then from Logpo we're gonna get vectors to Ttar. We're gonna go two three because it's the only Cat two approach we can shoot. So it looks like I don't even know where that is. Like I don't even know where Teeter is. Freaking weird, man. I'm an O. I'm an O. I'm an O. What the heck? That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Got me going, huh? Runway two three set. Okay. <laughs> I'll guess with you. <laughs> I don't see any of these things on there. I see I see Mit, Mitic, and Dutier. I don't know where they're getting these other ones. Kind of a strange thing when you don't see what you should see. Let's just make sure I've got something going on here. Okay, there it is. Logpo, then Dutier. Then we got a break and then Vector. So from Dutier, it should be Leros. But it isn't. So uh, kind of a strange thing. <laughs> Sean's trying to ping it. <laughs> Sean's trying to get through the server. Um, <laughs> so, we'll take a tailwind. It's going to be a four knot tailwind. That's fine. Uh, we're going to have to just because if we want to get into this runway or this airport, we're going to have to fly the only ILS Cat 2 approach that we can fly, and that's going to be 2-3. All right, let's take a look at just really quick of the weather again. Uh, let's wrap this continuity. It's fine. Bafty is saying 24. We're going to start descending here shortly. Matter of fact, I'm going to start descending right now. We got Bafty coming up. Once we hit Bafty, it looks like uh, 25 miles to Movox. Then we go over to Logpo, Dutier, and then we're going to flip right around into the ILS-23. Okay, sounds like a plan. It looks not bad here, but it is. Folks, I mean, the weather is kind of crappy out there. You're going to have to wait, dog. I'm busy. <laughs> She's like, wait me in, me in. Should have thought of that before. I'm kidding. She's my best friend, that dog. Don't tell her I told you that. But I spoil her rotten. <clears throat> my kids are jealous.
Okay, so that's what we'll do, I guess. Uh, looks like touchdown zone, 450 feet. Let me go ahead and change that really quick. I think we can stop this. Cal coming off. And then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. we got to get it up to 400 feet. Okay. Close enough, 320. You know what's late when I'm getting tired. Is Sean... No, I know you're testing, bud. Yeah, <laughs> it is getting late. Uh-oh. Did, did you guys cut out? Okay. Hold on, Nana. Um... Yeah. All right, let's start down. We're going to go ahead and get down to uh, 5,000 feet. So altitude's coming down. Once you start down that track, we've got Bafty coming up in uh, approximately 38 miles. That wants to be about 24,000 feet. We're going to start down right now, so I'm going to go ahead and click vertical speed. I just want to get the airplane pointed down in the right direction, and then we'll go ahead and get... Speed's coming back. i got to get down to 5,000. To assist with customs at our destination, flight attendants will begin handing out forms momentarily. Please review and complete these forms and keep them with you for presentation upon arrival. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sean. I mean, guys, I wasn't expecting to do this this late. <laughs> but it's late, so... You can watch the rewind if you wanted to take off. You could. All right. So 24,000 over Bafty. I'm going to flip this down. We're going to go ahead and just chop it and drop it just a little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and get this. <clears throat> Descent planning aircraft planning the ILS-23. Logpo not applicable. Excuse me. That's for the Ornav. ILS-23, aircraft planning ILS-23, ILS Cat-2-23, or RNAV, runway Zulu. Okay. Mandatory L2, LOGPO, not applicable. So we don't have to be at LOGPO at 5,000. We're going to, just because we're going to. Okay, vertical speed. I'm going to drop that down a little bit more. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the weather right, data. Let's see if we've got a special or something coming up. Anybody? Weather? Uh, still calling a quarter mile visibility. And uh, 2200 vertical. 2200 RVR vertical. 2600 RVR. In fog. Broken 200. Now. Since we have the HUD. And we have our op specs. We should... I'm going to go ahead and have to retrofit all these air... You know, our two aircraft to, to have HUDs now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to fly this Cat 2 down. And we're going to bring it all the way down to 100 feet. How's that? That's the cool thing about a HUD, right? It brings us down to 100 feet, which we're going to do. We're going to hand fly the approach. It's a hand flown approach, folks. It's not... Okay. All right. There we go. Uh, why did my yoke do that? All right. So... We're going to bring this down to 100 feet. All the way down. Uh, you're going to have to wait. I can't get up. I'm kind of stuck. Okay, uh, 28,000, and we can kind of look. We're a little on the high side, so let's go ahead and drop it even further. I'll go ahead and decrease. Nick says, are you flying Halifax? We are. We're flying Halifax, Nova Scotia, sir. That's where we're headed at the end of this thing. Seatbelts coming on. Ugh. I should say parachutes. 
It's going to be a low visibility approach. And I do not know how this HUD's going to work because I haven't flown with it. So we're going to find out. Guinea pig. Guinea pig on the HUD. That's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer that it's it's not working. All right, throttles are to idle. Let's go ahead and get it down. Let's kind of see where we're at. Nick says, I'm in Montreal. The weather is pretty bad, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's you got this fog, a real bad fog bank coming through. And um, it's just typical. It's typical. You know, you've got the fall weather, coastal weather here uh, off of Canada. You know, and even the whole across the whole entire northeast, it's been shot like that. You're going to have to wait, dog. I can't open the door because I, I don't know what you want. Uh, maybe I should get her. All right, let me take a look here. We're looking at um, increase our range just a little bit. We're descending at a pretty good click, clip because we have to. Should I try to let my dog in before we get lower altitudes? Let's see. Let's see if she wants to come in first. I don't even know what she does. I'll be right back. I'm just going to let her in.
All right. Sorry, folks. I'm back. Sorry, I had to let the dog out and stuff. All right. Where are we? We're going. Ooh, shoot. We're going way too fast. Gotta slow this thing down. Through 10,000. Let me do my checks. We have begun our final descent into Halifax. Flight attendants will be passing through the cabin to collect any trash. Any cogs on. Time. That's all Please good to go. Tables are stowed and seats are in the full upright position. Any weather Please changes? Any carry on items either in the seat back pocket or under the seat in front of you. <laughs> I'm back. Where's the pilot? <laughs> I just got back myself. Any weather changes do we have? Or not. We're going really fast. Let's pull the brakes. No. No, you can't bark at me. That's not going to work. Alright, we're going to go ahead and increase the range. You can see what we're doing here. We're going to come around and then over. Brakes are on. We're going to start slowing this airplane down. Now you can tell why we've got such bad weather. It's just nothing but a fog bank just sitting over the area. Okay, we got 250 now. Descent checks coming in. Pressurization. That's uh, coming down. That's good. Reversers are armed. Speed brakes back in. Altimeters are set. Landing data is complete. Approach briefing. We've already done that. Let's go ahead and uh, check our set all speeds there. And descent checklist is complete. All right. Any changes on weather, folks? I show 36 minutes, quarter miles still. <laughs> the co pilot has a bad cough. <laughs> That's funny. That's right. All right, shoots on. Here we go. Four thousand, and we are at uh, butter, I think. We get to that butter, or whatever it's called. Logpo is at five thousand, so we're good. We're below it, so that's okay. Just want to make sure. Why did I we go to four? I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna slow down on the speed just a little bit. We're gonna get down about to 220. There we go. Okay, after butter or dutter, 210 on the speed. So I'm gonna have to slow that down to one zero. There we go. Push it up. You can see what I'm talking about. It'll set us up for the downwind, and then we can hit Leros and then go in. Yep, shoots on. Folks in the members in the chat, hit it. Shoots. We're going to get a better logo so you can see it next time. I love that. The coal pilot has a bad cough. That made me laugh, too. Looks like we got a quarter mile visibility, but we're going to be flying the uh, HUD in. So, our op specs, uh, we can fly this HUD. I don't like what that's doing. There we go. I'm going to leave it just like that. I I haven't flown with this HUD yet. So this ought to be fun. Unless we can get the weather increase in just a little bit for us. Uh, we're kind of stuck. 210 on the speed. We're slowing down. We're bringing it up. I wish I could sit a little higher. Maybe I can. Let me just go ahead and uh, push my seat up. Maybe. There we go. That's good. All right. There we go. We're setting up for the downwind right now. Halifax traffic. Riptide 5203. Setting up for the downwind. Runway 23. Halifax. 210 on the speed. We're going to see how this goes. Bravo Charlie 24. He says, what's up? Yeah, man, what's going on? Welcome. If you're just checking in, you are 
probably perfect. We've got court mile visibility. If you heard this, uh, we've got fog everywhere. And we're going to see exactly what it brings us. And it's not looking pretty. All right, let's uh, do a briefing on the missed approach because this is a thing. Climb straight up 300, or th excuse me, climb straight up the 3,233 direct to IHZ, which is 12 miles away. That's a, it's a little fixed out there somewhere. All right, folks. You could see after the coast, so we're going, like, we're flying inland right now. You could see how it's it's clear. It's just this sea fog that that really screws it up. Two point four miles to Dutier, uh, and then when we hit that, we're going to actually vector ourselves in from Lee Rose. So we're going to go down to three thousand. So we're going to go ahead and descend down to three thousand right now. And we're going to vector ourselves. Okay. Vertical speed. Here we come. Down the chute. Nav source going to go ahead and change to the green needles. Yep. Set. Here we come. Down the chute. We got Leros. Five miles away, but I want to get this airplane pointed in the right direction before we start our turn. And we're going to go heading... So it's ready. Heading hold right about now. Flaps coming in here, folks. Flaps eight. I'm gonna square it up. Go a nice thirty degree intercept. Speed set one eight zero. Lee Rose, 3,000. Here we go. Altitude capture, 180. Speed's coming in. Okay, it's a little only more of aggressive. Uh, about 30, 30 degrees right there. Let's go. Approach set. Okay, flaps coming in. We're going to slow to 160 on the speed. Okay, we're going to hook up. Good intercept right now. How low can you go? We can go down to 100 feet. A hundred feet. That's our height. All right, we're intercepting, and we're going to go ahead and uh, I should see some Cat 3 here coming up. <laughs> if it doesn't go A3, guys, we're in big trouble. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I got one one half dot gear coming down here. I better see A3. Gear coming down, speeds up. Okay, gear down. Three is green. Flaps 45. Flaps 30. Flap 45. A little slow. Right there. Alright, give me an A3, dang it. It should automatically enter. Alright, I should see A3. When everything captures, I should see A3. Speed's coming in. We're a little too slow. 
Okay, landing checklist. Let's do it right now. Before landing, thrust reversers. On. A landing gear down. Three green. Flaps and Sambra. Flaps are set. I've still got a primary. I don't have an A3 hookup yet. That's just a bummer. Let's go. I'm waiting to my tech. When we get to my tech, I should start to see some movement here. Coming. Okay. We're starting our descent. That's 3,000 set. I still got a primary localizer glide slope capture. It's coming in right now, but I do not see this thing turning to A3. This should automatically go to A3. Oh, you stupid thing. There you go. I got A3. You see it? I don't have my bars, though. <laughs> where, where are my bars? It says A3. I don't have my bars. This is not working. Okay, you stupid thing. Who knows? All right. I'm going to go off auto throttle and hand fly it. Ready? My plane. A3 it is. Whoa. Let's see how uh, crazy this thing is. Looking good on speed. We're down to 100 feet, sir. Talking to myself. 1,500 right now. Oh, we're getting into some bumps, or what are we doing here? Well, we'll do that. It was trimmed. 1,000 set. Got the A3 call. Getting in some turbulence here. Just don't chase it. Go on speed. We're getting in turbulence. Five hundred feet. Whoa. 400. Nice and smooth adjustments. I've got the rabbits. Runway environment is in sight. 200. I got the runway landing. Jamming on it. There we go. Get the nose gear down. Getting on that center line. All right. Here's 80 knots. 60 knots out of reverse. Wow. It is foggy. Whoo. Boy. If I didn't get a like for that. Guys, gotta like that. If you haven't liked that, hit it. It's the first. I mean, I'm I'm current in the HUD with the 737. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Halifax. But this was not exactly what I expected in terms of the HUD. It's currently about 14 degrees Celsius. You can now use your mobile. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete uh, stop and the seatbelt sign is turned off. Remember to use nice. caution when opening the overhead bins as items may have shifted during the flight. Well, good Thank job. You for with us. Wow, that was fun. I'll tell you what, that was, um, it's been a long time since I've been that, uh, I was nervous on that one. I was like, I'm going to have to go around. I, you know, you're thinking that, especially when the A3 didn't light up. And it's very, it's not standard. Like, this HUD is not even accurate. Guarantee it. I've never seen a HUD like that. But hey, it got us down, right? That's the only thing I care about. 
that was spicy. Spicy approach. Hey, thanks, John. John's like, great job. Yeah. That gave me a run for the money, that's for sure. Look at this visibility. Man, it's terrible. We got a long taxi at this airport, folks. We've got to go all the way down to... Um, all the way down. Straight down there. We'll go ahead and turn on the APU. Fire that up. We're going to go power fuel coming in. And then we're going to go ahead and click start. And I will turn off the strobes. I'm going to throw the logo light on and the wind inspects. We'll go ahead and throw both of those off. Keep everything else on. And I tell you what, that was crazy. In the soup. <laughs> In the soup. What was the landing rate? Well, we had a good landing rate on that? It is ugly out here, folks. Holy smokes. <laughs> Look at it out there. Man, that is great. You can't even see the terminal. Yeah, that was cool. I got to tell you, that was a spicy approach. Uh, folks at home, um, definitely hit that like button for that. That was a good one. If that didn't provide value, I don't know. <laughs> Quite fun. We're going to go ahead and taxi up to the apron, north apron. And I think it's going to be like 46, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's a jet right there. All right, so we're going to go over here. We're going to go to the North Apron, I think. Uh, I want to say it's like 46 parking, maybe? Nope, that ain't it. Have to wait till it resets. 300 feet landing rate, man. Touchdown zone and stopped on the runway. Yes, that's right. Little firm, but that's okay. After you know, after you see the runway at 100 feet. I mean, I saw the rabbits, and I'm like, oh, I got the rabbits. But it was interesting because you, I couldn't really see through the, through the HUD. Now, if this was a 737. I mean, at Coastal, we have to stay current in the 7.3, right? So you have to you have to stay current in the 7.37 with the HUD, right? So it's one of those things where when you fly our HUD in the 7.37 that, you know, we know, okay, we've been through this before. You know, all of our pilots, our, our captains, that is, have been through it. So they're like, and multiple times, you have to stay current with it. So it's... You're, you're, you're flying the HUD every 90 days, and you're, you're flying it, you know, you're practicing HUD work. But in this aircraft, and there's a reason why I didn't do it. I mean, if you look at the HUD, it's not standard. That wasn't standard symbology in a HUD. I mean, I didn't even see the A3. You should get a, a cross. I didn't even get that. So I was just flying a stupid little hoop. Probably wasn't legal. <laughs> to tell you the truth, this weather sucks, dude. I'm glad we have OPSPECs because, whoo, can you imagine? Man. All right, want to spool down number one? I could barely see anything here. Jeez. There comes the spool down on that engine. Look at that, huh? Spooling down, folks. Spooling down. It's a cool view. All right, let's go back in the flight deck here and let's look at uh, where we're going to park. I think it's 42, and I can't remember. There it is. All right, on the overhead. GSX. I want to think. It, I want to say it's. 20. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Getting close. 42, I told you. Nope. Wow. 
West Jet sitting there going, we're good. There's an Airbus. Sean says, welcome to Canada. Yep. Boy, we'll be up in Canada all next week, won't we? We got a long flight two weeks from now. Man, it's a long haul. We're going from... Uh, Jeez, we're, we've got to go from HPN, which is White Plains, and we're going all the way to um, Boeing Field <laughs> to Seattle. You want to talk about long haul, man, that is it right there in, a, in an MD-80, folks. And that's going to be live streamed. That'll be on, a, I think it's on a Friday stream. Is that a Friday stream next week? I can't remember. But we start... Uh, for the, our members, our patrons, and our YouTube members, we will do a private live stream with the MD-80 all through the hockey season. Pretty much every away game that doesn't fall on a Friday, you guys are going to get it. So Monday, we're going to do an all-day stream. We're going to fly it back here. We're going to go to the hotel right now. We are done for the day. I showed you a full schedule here on a regional route here at Coastal Airways. All right, here we go. Here comes 42. Lights coming off. Bam. Bam. How did you do it yesterday? That's 42 right there. We're going to do a nice turn here. We'll let the nose kind of roll over it, and then we'll roll it in. This scenery is beautiful, by the way. If you've never seen Halifax, this is gorgeous. My kind of weather. <laughs> you know winter's coming. Next week you're in Columbus. Oh, yeah, that's right. Next week we're, we go to Buffalo. So next week we go Buffalo, Columbus. It's the following week that we go and do the Can Canadian run. We do away games. We start at BFI, then we go to Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton. And all the good, the goods. All right, we are here at the gate. Let's throw the parking brake to the on. Uh, why is it getting stuck? My arm. Something's getting stuck. Yeah, I know. Cut it off. All right, off of the throttles here. Wing inspects off. Beacons off. Good job. Holy smokes. All right, seatbelt signs off. Let's go ahead and uh, get them off the aircraft. Chalk's coming in. Door's coming open. And then we're going to click uh, request your boarding. That was awesome. You guys, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Holy cow, I can't believe we made it up here. Uh, that's off. I knew I had to. How's that? These are coming off. That's off. That's off. That's off. I had to set this aircraft up for next week. I mean, for m Monday. Probes are off. 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 And we are going to do a shutdown. So this is a Terminator. <clears throat> Let's go and get uh, ground power on the airplane. This is a Terminator. So what I'm going to do... Throw that off. That's coming in up. There we go. Let's go outside. It's just enough time to hear that spool down. Welcome to Nova Scotia. Halifax. You can't see the airport, but it's really nice. <laughs> really foggy day. Foggy day in London town. Uh, I'm trying to get a good look for you. All right, there you go. All right, time check coming in. Uh, Nick says, go to the stories and define dining to eat now. That's what I'm going to do. I'm definitely going into the hotel. We've got the uh, Marriott Hotel. I think it's like a 30-minute drive from here, if I'm not mistaken. So that's good. That was a lot of fun. I mean... 
the um, the HUD was a little worrisome. I mean, especially when you when you haven't flown it. All right, that's good. We're going to go power fuel coming off. We're going to shut the airplane down here. Beacons are off. I'm going to go ahead and throw. Um, we got to go ahead and program this. And there's a couple of uh, housekeeping duties we got to do. I don't think they've left that fast. I just don't think that's the case. Throw it to standby. That's good. These are coming off. All right. Gray, what's going on, man? How are you? Hopefully you're well. We ju you just missed a. You missed that. I don't know if you uh, popped in. Didn't think you'd be on this late. <laughs> no, I. We just full. We just flew a full flight, buddy. A full full schedule. So a full day, I should say. We finished day two. Started all the way in Islip, New York. Went from Islip uh, to uh, Nantucket, back to Islip, up to Portland, then here. And then Monday, we're taking this aircraft down pretty much all the way down to Miami from here. So it's like that, the span of the entire the entire coast. It's crazy. Okay, uh, let's go to file the flight plan. And we're going to call this night done. I've got the hotel bus going to take me out of here. The crew bus going to take us out of here. We'll file the flight, get the duties done. The company gives us 15 minutes to get to shut this thing down. So we've got to be punched out in 15 minutes. How's that? We're in at 1424. Probably right on time, maybe. Pretty cool. Yeah, Gary, this is a fun airplane. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's a fun airplane. All right, let's do this shutdown. Park your brakes are set. Electrics are set. Fuel pump is off. Anti-ice is off. Windshield heat is off. Transponder's off. Now, transponder's on standby. So let's go ahead and actually turn the thing off. Boop, boop. Okay. And that's on standby. We're good there. Uh, thrust levers are shut off. Passenger signs are off. Hydraulic off. Lights coming off. Nose wheel steering is off. And I'm going to throw the nav lights to the off position. And let's go ahead and do a sh uh, like a terminator. If I can. Securing. Okay. Chocks and brakes are set. Thrust reversers are off. Emergency exit lights, which is down here. Emer lights are going to come off. Okay, windshield heat is off, cargo fan off, hydraulic oxygen quantity checked, cargo fan is off, that restart fan's coming off, hydraulic pumps are off, we've done that, external lights except nav, oh, we'll keep the nav on, uh, APU's off, power fuel off, DC service bus is coming off, which is right up here, it was off, okay, DC service bus is off, Master off, dome light off. That's the end of that. <laughs> Guys, it's crazy. Uh, it's awesome. All right. Dome light. I'm going to throw that dome light to the off position if I can get it to work. There we go. What's going on over here? Dome light off, external power switch off. Last thing we do, come up, the, it's going to get dark. Passengers are going to be like, what happened? <laughs> how does how good does that feel? Pilot, <laughs> he says, how do you fly seven hours a day and not get tired? Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Don't. Don't worry, I'm tired. After a landing like that, though, man, uh, the adrenaline's pumping, man. So, you know why? It's because you guys, you guys are here on the stream, and you keep me entertained. If I didn't have you to talk to, I wouldn't be able to do this, you know. And and the reason why I'm doing this, and normally we don't take it this long uh, for this many hours, but the reason why we're doing that is because Monday I have the day off, right? So. Monday, we're going to take this thing and we're going to fly. I'm going to show you 
because I want to get this this I want to get this done right so I want to get this um, I want to get this trip or yeah I want to get this trip finished and the only way I can do that is I got to fly this back down to Miami because next Thursday I start NHL charters in the MD-80 and it's it's a full on full tilt schedule uh, I won't have time to fly anything else. I mean, maybe if we can get a week in there edgewise, maybe we can squeak one in. Uh, but this is a full trip. And I, I wanted to show you, you folks at home, if you wanted to be an airline pilot and you want to see what it's like, I just showed you what a full day looks like. There is no time really on this schedule to do really a lot of stuff. I mean, the two of you, it's a little easier, but it's full tilt. Uh, you can see it's a full, what? six and a half seven hours of just hauling the mustard man and that was a uh, was a full that was day two wait till day three wait till tomorrow on monday you want to talk about tired we're gonna have five legs to do all right we've got to go from halifax to portland islip raleigh uh where are we going after raleigh we're going to myrtle beach and then miami you want to I mean, that's five legs and it's all day we are pushing complete max crew time it's fun though. Um, Sean says, "How does the type rating for all the CRJ variants work?" It's just differences. You know, one you, you if you're typed to fly one, you can fly them all. It's just that you got to go through differences, different training. Yeah, pilot says, uh, "I did one five-hour flight today. Uh, wasn't even there for most of it. And was burnt out after it." <laughs> I can't have tomorrow off. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's good. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, definitely. Yes. Gray Aviation says, all right, well, I wished I could have watched more. And that's the best part about this. You can always watch the rewind. I'll try to put some uh, chapters on there so, to break up the flight so you can see the legs. But uh, that's what's so cool about having chapters. You guys can go back and, and watch the rewind. If you wanted to see it but yeah monday is a full full day and i wanted to give you some value at home so if you're watching this you're saying okay if you're new to us and you're just like okay what's this channel about we do it right we learn something and we have fun uh those three things and i'm a former ntsb and uh 737 instructor so i want to teach the proper way of 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 stuff and we screw up all the time you saw i mean i i, I lost a couple of flows uh but this is what a schedule looks like. You're on day two. You're going to the hotel. I'm shot. I'm tired. Um, and Monday morning, we're going to start at the scheduled day. So whatever the scheduled time it is on Monday, that's when we're going to start real time. So if it's a 6 a.m. push, we're going to get up at 530 in the morning and push. So uh, be prepared for that one. It should be a lot of fun. Okay, AD course, and I appreciate you guys just hanging out. Uh... Well, PC, 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 PC specs. There you go. Thank you. It's right there. Uh, let's see here. Be running real well. That's good stuff. So, but since I feel like it's more intriguing in real life because you're actually there, you know, I do know. <laughs> it is. You're 100% right. In real life, it's a little easier because not only that, you get to talk to somebody next to you. Uh, and it goes faster because the conversation is there. You're busy working. You're always handling radios and stuff like that. And in the sim, you don't have that. You, you, you know, you're just flying a route. Um, good stuff, though, folks. Excellent. Thank you for, for staying. Let's see what uh, this gave us. Let's end the flight and see. They said passengers reseating very slightly had a schedule. They were 94% satisfied. Landing rate was hard. That's okay. I don't care. I got it on the ground and then we're done. Good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and close the packs. We are finished. That's released. Gary says 6 p.m. here, so you could do more flying. <laughs> nope. Uh, I just take off, go. I just take off and then go out and come back before landing. <laughs> it can't, you can't do that with a CRJ, buddy. You can't. There's no way. If you did that with an RJ. <laughs> This thing will, will eat your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes. Do you want a deboard crew? Yes, I do. Everyone, both. Let's get out. Let's go to the. Let's go to the hotel. I've got a hotel 
at the Marriott. Tomorrow we would be flying. We guess what? We'd be flying. It's uh, what was local time? Fourteen hundred local uh, in the sim. So it would be fourteen hundred. So it's like one o'clock. We have a good thirteen, fourteen hour uh, rest. A little bit more, so plenty of time to get some rest and sleep and hang out, get a good bite, and then tomorrow we do it all over again. In this case, we'll simulate it on Monday. All right. Thank you, folks, for watching the channel. I appreciate you. If you haven't yet, just smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. Hopefully, I've given you some good value here. All right. We'll see you Monday. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, you'll see the schedule come out. I'll probably put it out tomorrow on when we fly. Okay, until next time, keep the blue side up and the brown side down. Get, get some sleep, because that's what I'm about to do. Peace. Okay, sorry, Gary, what would you say? This was the 700. Yes, this was the 700, Gary. We'll see you, folks. Thank you.